she's burning up. The uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning septic. Mm. How you doing, mm. little sister? So stupid. It was this little, this little kid. This, this goddamn little kid. The big goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Come mm. on. Mm. Come on. Oh, shit. Mm. Hey, Mom. You don't want to be here when they come through? We gotta get to the roof. Flag down one of those choppers. All right. Mm. Wait, we need help. She's been wounded. What's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay. Listen, O'Brien. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. <laughs> oh, come on, no more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteered for this. I'm not even supposed to be out oh, here. Ryan. Okay, <coughs> shit. Uh, I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. Why you got room for two of you? We're overweight, are... okay? I can only take two of you, two. <laughs> Come on, help me, come on. All right, sweetheart. That's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. I'm gonna be right back. <coughs> okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta hold get on, on that. Hold on. We gotta get on that chopper. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. I've been to worse shit than this before. You know? Yeah, we have. Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never gonna make it without me. We lost him. He can't be far. Wait, hold on. Cut your engine. <coughs> Shit, she's alive. Alvarez. Alvarez, hey. Alvarez. What happened here? I mean, who did this? Was it... Was it Rippers?
Bugs got ammo! No shit, he can't have much! Cover me right behind you. and shit out of here but a bunch of freaks well, maybe i was wrong about him having to deal with copeland no leon's been fencing shit to copeland for a long time finally caught up with him hey hey wait wait hold up hold up shit wait 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 here down this way Tracks are fresh. So where the hell did you learn to track shit anyway? I used to go elk hunting with my old man when I was a kid. Ended up tracking shit for miles. Holy shit! Get down! You okay, brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a graze. Son of a bitch can't aim worth a damn. Son of a bitch. I'm fine, Boozer. He must be heading down there, toward the falls. He's losing a lot of blood. He's not getting far. Come on. Search him. <laughs> Bleeding out. Well, that's a hell of a way to go. It's slow. A lot of pain, but I suppose you'd know about that. She was still breathing when we found her, you piece of shit. I wasn't gonna waste a pull it, not on her. Oh, hold on for a second, hold on for a second now. Where's the stash, Leon? If you tell us, well, unlike you, I can promise you we'll make it quick. Don't look like you'd be suffering for too long. Leon, you got a little problem here. See, they can smell your blood from all the way down there. What do you suppose that feels like? Huh? Torn apart? Eating alive? Guess he's gonna find out. Fuck you. Goodbye, Leon. No, wait. All right, all right, no, no, wait. I got it right here, take it. Where? In the cemetery. It's in that old cemetery. Thank you. No, you said! Do it. Don't leave me out here, man. Do it. Do it! You goddamn liar! Do it.
Tuck's gonna need something for the bounty. You did the right thing, bro. We don't want to leave anyone to the freaks. Not even a piece of shit like Leon. Hey, hold up. I want to search this camp, see if I can't find something to fix up this scratch. Something out of this. No, I just gotta put them together and there. Yeah, that ought to do it. Guess I won't be losing the arm anytime soon. Thought we were going hunting tonight. Take some bounty sin to Tucker. Well, not if it's pissing down rain. Nah, man, we need the camp credits. Gotta stock up on supplies. Yeah, okay. I don't want to be out all night, though. Jesus, I gotta get in shape. I'm gonna see if there's anything we can salvage on Leon's bike. No. God damn it. What? Son of a bitch. Guessing that's a fuel line, unless you just pissed yourself. It's the fuel pump. Leon. Yeah, shot out my damn fuel pump. Can we get anything off Leon's bike? Nah, it's done. <sighs> Look. Let's just go back to O'Leary Mountain. We'll head out in the morning, find some parts, and come back and get your bike. No, I think I got a better idea. Why don't we just get it while we're out here? What? Well, uh, Crazy Willie's isn't far from here. Let's just head over there. What are you thinking? We were going out hunting tonight anyway. Crazy Willie's as good a place as any. Yeah, okay. Hey, what did Leon give you? Map of some kind. Once we get my bike back, let's head up to the cemetery, look around. Yeah, okay. So, tomorrow. Get the drugs, take them to Tucker, collect on Leon's bounty. Then I say we head north. And you think shit's any different up north? Don't matter, I think you do us good. Get the hell away from here. Hold on, something's blocking the road. Careful. Saw a setup like this a couple days ago. A bunch of rippers blocked the road with an old truck. Come on, help me move it. Ready? Yep. Push! <laughs> <laughs>
Huh? Coming up on the old Nero checkpoint. We're almost there. Shit, how you wanna do this? Blow me your shotgun. I'll walk point. <sighs> Looks like that checkpoint had him backed up pretty good. Yeah, a lot of good it did him. Hell, I'd rather be buried back with the goddamn pioneers. Yeah. Shit. Look at them all. Bunch of goddamn dumbasses, the lot of them. What were they thinking? Hey, Mr. Fed, can we sit here and wait till the goddamn horde comes through and just kills us all? Bad way to go out, trapped in a shithole like this. Smell that? Oh, Jesus. There. Come on, let's go. Wait, hold up. How many Molotovs you got left back here? Let's hit it on the way back. Leave it. Yeah. Leave it my ass. Son of a bitch. You're hoping someone's home. Sounds like you got your wish. Bro. I think he's dead. You're gonna break my shotgun. Yeah. Okay. You're going up there again. What are you talking about? Goddamn refugee camp. You only act like this when you're thinking about going up there. Act like what? It's not your fault that she's dead. Drop it. If you'd gotten on that chopper with Sarah, all that would have changed is you'd be dead too. Oh, just drop it. Bounty. Okay. Finally. Jesus. Heard enough out of you. You're not getting your bike through there. Try that service tunnel. See if you can clear us a path from the other side. I got it. Just keep your headlight pointed that way. Jesus! God damn it! Yeah. 
Another nest. Oh. Yeah, I smell it. Oh. How many Molotovs you got left? Oh. You just used the last one. You got any shit to make more? Yeah, yeah. This'll just take a sec. That'll do it. Yeah. Ready? Shit. Here they come! Hey, come on. Get on. Yeah, okay. Give me a sec. I've been thinking about what you said, about riding north. Just saying, you need to get away from here. Clear your head, you know? In the morning, let's turn in the bounties, and we'll hit the road. Hell yeah, brother. Now you're talking. You wanted a freak show. <sighs> Shit. Place is crawling. Shit, we're gonna need more ammo. What are you thinking? And I already know it's a bad idea. You just ride on through. You pull as many of them off as you can. And I just, I go in through the back, down that hill, find the garage. Shit. All right, you just give me a few minutes to find the part that I need. You ride back, we ride the hell out. After I kill a few of the bastards. I swear to God, you got a death wish. Like I said, not tonight. Come you stinking sons of bitches! Come on! That's right! Here I am! Motherfuckers! Old Bill's right here! Goddamn newts. Go on. Get out of here, you little shits. Down you go! Deke! How's it going, brother? You ready? Not yet. Still gotta find a way in the Willie's garage. Gotta be a fuel pump inside. Well, hurry your ass up. I rode past one of those, uh... How what the hell do you call them? The, the shit that Ripper's put up. Sigils. Yeah. 
And it means they're up here somewhere. That's right. Yeah, that's what I thought. Gotta be a fuel pump in here somewhere. Boozer, you there? I found the part. I'm heading out to the highway. Deep hot rippers! Rippers! No, no, no! Ah, oh. ah shit! <sighs> rippers? Boozer? Booze man? Man, I'm coming. These tax oh, are dead it, symbols of the dead man. Are you dead right? symbols of the lost. <laughs> These tax are dead symbols of a dead man. Dead symbols of the lost. <laughs> Get off me! Sons of bitches! Biker man! You must be brought low, biker man. For you are lost, and we are found. Fuck you. Ah! In the path, brother. The path. We will show you. You are not one of the found. Path. You are the lost. The path. You are lost. Get low. Get low. Get Shadow! <laughs> Boozer. Which is I'm gonna kill them all. Every Boozer. fucking one of them! Oh my god. Oh shit. Uh, let me help you up. No, I got this. No, no, you don't. Come on, get up. Uh, fucking rippers. We gotta go, pal. It's like uh, they were waiting for me or something. Fuck. Uh, I didn't see them and then, then they were on me. Oh, okay. My arm. Don't look at it. My goddamn arm. I'm serious. Don't look My at God. it. My God. Don't look at it. Get on the bike. Oh, shit. Go, go. Fucking Ripper! I thought we'd never make it. Hey, uh... 
Why don't you wait out here? Let me make sure it's all clear. Screw that. There's a bunk calling my name. All right. Pretty much like we left it. What? Not like there's much to steal. I'm just gonna reintroduce myself. <laughs> oh. Ah. oh, thank God. I'm gonna go out, find some shit for your army, get my bike. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'll head over to that neuro checkpoint. They gotta uh, have sterile bandages uh, and painkillers. Don't, don't leave my bike there. No, 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 no. I'm gonna be uh, going out on foot while it's still light out. Hey. I've got some ammo if you need it. In the footlocker by the door. Thanks. Hey. Don't take my shotgun. Uh, Boozer. I... All right. Thank you. Thanks, brother. Just feel kind of naked without it. Damn it, Boozer, your arm's not gonna be fine. Son of a bitch. I gotta find something for his arm. I'm not taking Boozer's bike. I gotta get to mine before it gets dark. Boozer, are you awake? Yeah, Deke. What's up? I just saw someone sneaking around the safe house. What the hell? What's he doing? No idea. I'm gonna follow him, see if there's some more where he came from. Deacon out. So what'd you find? It's just like I said, those drifters we saw riding on the same bike, they're holed up, just up the road. Yeah? No shit. Hell of a setup. Some kind of lookout tower, got a fence and everything. Ours for the ticket. Sounds pretty sweet. I say when it gets dark, we go in, kill the sons of bitches, and then make ourselves at home. Uh, you know they're gonna have guns. Look like one of them was pretty gimped up. We can take them. Yeah? Fuck you guys. Hey! That's the last of them. Must have followed us here. Sons of bitches. Stay the hell off O'Leary Mountain. Oozer, I found the camp. Just a few drifters looking to move in in our safe house. Like we were seeing before, 
It's time to start thinking about heading north. Let's get your arm fixed up, and then worry about hitting the road. I'm gonna be heading to my bike, deacon out. Ah, oh, damn freakers. Oh, move, move. Run, run. Oh, damn rain. If it's not the freaks, it's the goddamn rain. Why is it always raining? Where the hell am I? I gotta be getting close. Closer. <sighs> Gotta get close. Come on, baby. Where the fuck are you? This is it. This is where we left it. My bike's gone. Hey, you're from Copeland's camp? Where the hell is my bike? Hey, stop! Why, God damn it! I didn't take your bike, man. I swear. I'm not gonna kill you! Stop running! Jesus Christ. You gotta ask Copeland. I don't know nothing. Hey! I just want my bike. I didn't do nothing. Oh, God damn it. All right, now I'm gonna kill you. <sighs> Boozer, you there? Yeah, dude. You get your bike? Nope. Copeland's men got to it before I did. I'm heading to his camp. Deacon out. Open up. St. John, Open up. Is that you? It's me. Some Reynolds. son of a bitch stole Open my up. bike. Don't know nothing about that. You gotta go talk to Manny. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's where I'm headed. Deacon St. John. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Jazzy. That was my favorite bounty collector. Hey, Manny. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while lately. Huh. You've been too busy to notice. Nose down. You work hard, they feed you. Yeah, camper's life. Yeah, camper's life. I read a book once. Zen and the Art of Bike Repair. You ever read it? No, I didn't have a lot of time for books back in the day. Yeah, I ran a shop. Farewell. Made all the grease monkeys read it. Being a mechanic requires great peace of mind, it said. Try working on an empty stomach. How to focus your mind. Manny, I'm looking for a bike. Yeah? Oh, oh, oh. You don't want that one. Why not? It, it just came off the truck. I mean, some dumb son of a bitch left it out in the shit. Rusted up good. It rode hard, too. The fool that rode it didn't know shit about bikes. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Shot the hell this one. I mean, we just partied it out. I mean, it didn't even have a fuel pump. We could have used oh, that. Man, fuel pump like this one? O okay. Like this one, Manny. O okay, okay. See, now when I said fool, what I meant was the fools that brought that bike in. See, they didn't tie that shit down properly, so they left it like rattling around back there. Geek, and let's talk. Looks like you had some trouble. Got hit hard last night. Rippers again. Twice now they've been up here. Some say looking for you and Boozer. Out in the shit, folks. 
Saw Leon the other day. Yeah? He was bringing me something. Is that right? Folks here in a lot of pain, Deke. Oh, Leon. Thug said that he took off. No one's seen him. Hmm. <laughs> Tell you what. You find his stash. You bring it to me. To me, Deke. You do that. Well, we'll see what we can do for you. The bike that your men stole, that your men parted out. Salvage, Deke. Salvage. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll try to keep that in mind. By the way, nice hat. What? No, this one. Don't you ever touch Now, hold on. Leon wore a hat like this, didn't he? Oh, Cope, I swear to God. Don't. You want to do business in my camp? You start doing some runs for me. Cope. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I'm here anyway. What do you got? Now that's more like it. A group of drifters has been harassing my supply runs. They've moved into the radio tower west of O'Leary Mountain. Isn't that your backyard? No, it's not, but uh, I'll take care of them. I thought you might. How have you been? Yo, Dick, Dick, uh, hold up. I just want to say how sorry I am. I, I didn't know, I swear. You have any idea how much time I put into that bike? It was a drifter bike, Manny. I know, I know. I I'll make it up to you, I swear. I, I put together a new one. <laughs> you call this piece of shit a bike? I know, it's not. Look, I'll keep an eye out for, for more parts. I'll hook you up. I swear. Okay, and what about my custom gas tank, Manny? You know, the one that I got for my dead wife. You gonna keep an eye out for that one, too? Jesus, Deke, I'm sorry. Just get the fuck out of my way. Man, you've been doing so much... ...much for the camp. Cope asked me to find you some extra bike parts and shit. Ah, hey, hey, you, man. Hold on. Jesus, this isn't a goddamn bike. Booster, you there? Yeah, Deke. Uh, how you doing? How's the arm? Like I said, I'll be fine. Okay, uh, I'm still gonna head to that Nero checkpoint, find some uh, sterile bandages, uh, ointment, something. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm gonna go out and make sure the mountain's clear. Uh, Boozer, no, no, those are third degree burns. You stay there, you rest, okay? I'll, I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay, uh, you were saying? I guess, um, I guess, uh, you know, I could, I could use something for the pain. Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess I'll see what I can find, I guess. This is it, the nearer checkpoint. I gotta find some shit for boozers. <laughs>
Fuel can. Son of a bitch, you better start. Yes. Sterile bandages, sterile bandages. Where the hell would they keep this shit? Yes, sterile bandages. Just what the doctor ordered. Now I just gotta get this back to Boozer. Oh, hello. This Nero tank. Ah, uh, some sort of a injector of some kind. Ah, uh, why the hell not? Boozer, you there? Boozer, goddammit, answer me. He's not picking up. Where the hell is he? St. John, this is Cope. When you get to the tower, my radio uplink has been shut down. I'll pay you to restore it. So these men, you know them? Because shutting down Radio Free Oregon seems kind of personal. God damn right it's personal. They used to be a part of my camp. Seems they didn't like the rules against stealing, raping, and murdering. Now well, maybe they're like me, just tired of listening to your paranoid truth or bullshit. St. John out. Hey, Boozer, I, uh, found some shit for your arm. Boozer? Oh, shit. Boozer! Hey! Whoa, ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, shit! Oh, shit, Deke. Could have blown your goddamn head off. Oh, look, uh, let me, let me see that arm, huh? No, no, I got Come this. Come on, let me see that look, arm. I Come got on. it! All right! Deke. Thanks, brother. Look, I'll, I'll be better, okay? We're gonna be fine. I'm just gonna... Grab some shot eye. <sighs> that should do it.
thing. When they left, it appears they may have stolen some automatic rifles and a few shotguns. Watch yourself. Jesus, Cope, thanks for the heads up. I do what I can. Go back. Do what you can, son of a bitch. Come on, come on, come on. You gotta stop moving something. What the hell's he doing? Uh. Here you are. Covering fire! Covering fire! <laughs> I got you. Pull him back. Pull Move! Bring it down! <sighs> That's the last of them. Jesus, Cope, how many men have you pissed off? This has got to be the generator, but it's been shot to hell. Okay, that should do it. There we go. Drop it! If you had bullets, I wouldn't be breathing now, would I? Please, mister. I don't shoot women if I have a choice. Do I have a choice? I ain't got nothing. I got nowhere to go! All right, let's see if they got an underground bunker around here. There it is, down the hatch. A map, looks like they marked it up good. Crafting, hello. Deke, you there? It's probably nothing. It sounded like bike engines, riding somewhere on the mountain. I just finished clearing the radio tower for Copeland. I'm, I'm gonna climb the tower, see if I can see anything. sound like like yourself it's not, it's nothing you know i just let this drifter get the drop on me lucky for me she was uh out of ammo you let her go didn't you okay yeah fuck yes yes i let her go one of these days deke that coat of yours is gonna get you killed yeah well something's gonna do it right does it matter what deacon out jesus what a climb all right, let's see what the hell Wizard's talking about. You were right. Someone's on the mountain. I see smoke from their campfire. Oh, son of a bitch. I knew I heard something. Where are they? I'm gonna head out there. No, God damn it, Boozer. Gotta get your arm healed up so we can ride the hell out of here. I'll take care of him. Ah, oh, shit. It's just... I'm going a little stir-crazy here, Dick. Try to stay awake in case they head your way. Deacon out.
Almost there. Yeah, come on, keep going. Almost there. Oh, shit's killing me. St. John to Copeland's camp. It's done. The radio tower's locked down, and I've restored your radio uplink. Copy that. You may not see the value in the St. John, but Radio Free Oregon is the only thing keeping us from turning into savages. <laughs> no, Cope, the only thing keeping us from turning into savages is about nine square meals. Try going hungry for three days. There's no such thing as a starving patriot. Well, sir, I hope to God you're about that. Copeland out. Radio Free Oregon. Jesus, what have I done? Booze man, you awake? I'm uh, heading to that camp you spotted north of the mountain. Uh, I heard gunshots. Uh, it might be an ambush camp. I'll find out Men when I. <laughs> yeah, I lost one! I lost someone! Lay into him! They're down! They're down! I'll find out when I get there. Deacon out! Who's man? You were right. They set up along the railroad tracks. Kill every one of those sons of bitches. That was kind of the plan. Deacon out. Here you are. Marauders, come on. Yeah, waiting for me? Uh, that's the last of them. Stay the hell off O'Leary Mountain. Boozer, it's done. Squatter camp. They won't be doing any more killing on O'Leary Mountain. I should have been there to help. I mean, I... Shit. Just rest up, booze man. Rest up. We're riding north as soon as your arm heals. You got that? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Who's your arm? Yeah, I'm gonna ride up to the cemetery and see if I can find Leon's stash. Sorry. What was that? Rest up, loser. We're heading north as soon as you can ride. North. Yeah.
tired of drifters coming in my camp, killing folk like we were out in the shit. What's going on, Cope? A man come in, drugged out of his mind, shot the place up, then he just took off. Lanny said his bike's got a red tank on it, and he was wearing some kind of motocross helmet, silver. Okay, if I go now, I might be able to catch up to him. I want him alive, Deke. Alive? Alive. You catch this man, then radio me. Fetch him and hang the bastard right from that limb. It's time we start showing these drifter sons of bitches that we have law and order in this camp. No offense meant to yourself. I'm taken. I'll find them. Hey, Dig, you there? I was thinking about heading down to that logging camp. Clear out those nests. Let's see more freaks up here. Boozer, no, no, you're gonna get yourself killed. Uh, you gotta wait till you're whole, brother. Uh, I'm over here anyway, so I'll take care of the mess, okay? Yeah, okay. Thanks, Dick. <coughs> I gotta burn him out. I gotta make it safer to ride. Dick, wait till tonight. Be fewer freaks inside those nests. Or take them out while it's still light out. There'll be more of them, but they won't be as strong. Weeping Angel. This has got to be it. Now, where'd you hide the stash, Leon? Huh, maybe in one of these. Got it. Now I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. Boozer! Booze man, are you listening? Uh, oh, you're not gonna believe this. I just saw a goddamn chopper! A, a chopper? What, what are you talking about? A Nero chopper! It, it just buzzed right over me. It acted like I wasn't even there. Well, all this time and a fat chopper shows up out of nowhere? Yeah, I'm gonna chase them down and I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna see what the hell they're doing. Hey, Deke. Be careful. Don't get too close till you know what the hell they're doing. And don't do anything stupid. Hell no, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. Hold on, hold on, they're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. Researcher, what the hell are they doing out here? Gotta go check them out, see what they're doing. All right, gotta go in quiet. 
throw a rock. That ought to just hear that. that. What the hell are we if doing? They see me, I'm dead. You the least of our problems when we're on the ground. Just stay focused. Stay in the shrubs. They can't see me in there. Got everything you need? I don't know. Shit, it's cold. Yeah, you don't go check your it out. Good boy. You getting hungry? I'm now. Wonder how long this will take. Too damn long. What are you doing? Field note 2000. Zero, zero, zero. After tracking a large moving group, estimated size of 5 to 600, we have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at. Hey, Doc, I see Site 23 on the roster for tomorrow. That us? No, that's O'Brien. Got it. O'Brien? Oh, shit, where was I? We have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at the High Desert okay, Grotto, at the designated Site 15. Trampling of grasses and plants at the entrance, and the presence of footprints, see attached photos, indicate the site has been used for some time. Must be nice and cozy in there. According to the motion sensor planted by Lieutenant O'Brien, approximately 447 subjects have entered the cave this morning. Recommend sending a follow-up team sometime after 1900 hours to assess the cave's interior and further assess conditions. Note to Dr. Anderson. Your theory about the subjects devolving to a primitive state of nocturnal behavior is seeming more appealing all the time. End report. Not going inside. Fucking O'Brien. Didn't you hear me? Over He's 400 subjects. Bad. And these aren't just your if regular run-of-the-mill freaks. These are camp. stage three. <sighs> Sleeping like hell, babies, sir. And I asked if you were going in. Can't, can't be. Didn't say I was. And these subjects are not sleeping. They're hibernating. Ever woken up a hibernating bear? No. Ever woken up a hibernating freak? Yeah, actually. I was one of the survivors at the White King Mine. Jesus. Someone tear my buddy apart like he was peeling a banana. These suits protect you from a lot of shit. But not them. Holy shit, Corporal. Jesus, I'm, I'm sorry. That mission was FUBAR from the start. Which is why we are not going inside there. Think if I sealed up this cave, we'd, I don't know, knock down their population? I don't know, Corporal. A lot of caves out here. Come on, let's get out of here. See all the caves. Yeah, right, like anyone gives a damn. Something's out there. Boozer, you there? Booze man, come back. Deke, hey, uh, I'm here. When we rode on a farewell, the Nero guy, the soldier, or whatever the hell he was, who took Sarah. Wait, what, what are you? 
He had an ID badge. What was the name? Oh, God. O'Brien. He wouldn't shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. Okay, he's alive, Boozer. He's alive. What are you talking about? We were there. The whole camp was wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard... Okay, look. I went into their LZ, and they... Wait, wait. You, you went into their LZ? What the... Just listen to me. I heard them over the radio. They were talking about a man named O'Brien. Dick, don't. I'm not, Boozer. I'm not. I'm just... Please! Hey, uh, get some sleep. Deacon out. Who's man? No. You know, I wouldn't ride you north without you. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just kind of out of it. Well, third degree burns will do that to you. Yeah. So, take care of Alvarez, you know. Deke, it means a lot to me. I'll take care of her, Boozer. Just get some rest. Deacon out. How's it going? I got bored. Figured I'd see if I remembered how to make anything. Stop by when you can. I think you'll like it. Boozer, thank you. Yeah, I'll stop by later. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Who remembers the skid rows in this great country? People living on the streets in boxes and tents because they couldn't afford the American dream. Some of those good people fought for this very country. Only to have the feds forget about them as soon as they were done with them. PTSD? Doesn't stand for post-traumatic stress disorder. It stands for put them soldiers down. Well, we're all homeless now. Living in the wilderness in the way of our forebearers. The Feds used to think we needed their welfare and handouts to survive. We showed them how wrong they were. What we need now is a strong will, determination, and trust in each other. The Feds were never gonna give us that. And you? You want our trust? You gotta earn it. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Another Nero site. Well, wonder if there's anything in that MMU. Oh, God damn it. Fuse blown. Where the hell am I gonna get a fuse? <sighs> Gotta take a closer look. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? Back on track.
<laughs> feels, yes. Jenny's out of gas. Jenny's always out of gas. Oh, here we go. That's it. And we got green lights. Green lights are good. Okay. Let's see. Yes. Neuro injector. Another nest zone. I gotta burn this shit down and make it safer. Guess I'll come back later, burn out these nests. Sniper on the road. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> like that asshole, I guess you won't be ambushing anyone else today. You've been up here, huh? Setting up ambushes here in the supply rounds. Martyrs. Those who sought to call out the bullshit and the lies when they saw it. I know. Because they came after me. I started Radio Free Oregon in the last weeks before the feds fell. Broadcast from an unmarked van, moving from town to town. In the days before the roads came choked with cars and the bridges destroyed. Another Don't infestation zone. No, Cope, the cemeteries are filled with freakers, not martyrs. And you had to keep moving, because if anyone had found your unmarked van, they would have blown it to hell. Just so I wouldn't have to listen to your bullshit Radio Free Oregon. Someone's here! Sorry, Deke. Didn't see who it was. Where's Tucker, Alki? Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? The north one. Back there. 
If anybody touches this bike or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus. I keep telling you, everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. 25 feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to. I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry, even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit! We're all hungry, Al. But this job's gotta get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. I'm not finished. We'll make it quick, we get Al. I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them? How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al! Are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I... I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you oh. up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Alki. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You're the one me here, running your dig? Or you want me out there in the shit? Chasing the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? Oh, I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't! Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. How long's it been since you found someone, brought him in? The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? Because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. They keep the shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here, with men like you doing your jobs. Damn right we keep it burning. Try using more gasoline. It burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you gonna put in that bike of yours, spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise? It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Cause that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here. Hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm, so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You! Get your ass back to work. Don't make me go get Cyrus. Lazy sons of bitches can screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember what you said. You were, you were what? You were a warden or something? <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. 
I was matron of the women's ward. Seems like the camp's you look like the sort who might have spent some time in the pen back in the day. Time you ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Fork, said he saw someone. Young woman looked like. But he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing this long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. Get back to work. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. But look, Tuck, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. I gotta go find Wheeler. Someone's looking at a night in the shack. Alkai. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men uh, escaped to Ripper Camp over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time, they kept asking me if he knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking me if he'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. If you ask me, you got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? Why don't you just show me what you got, because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke. Thanks. Need anything else? Good choice. Good piece. Should help out in the shit. Can I get anything else for you? What else can I do for you? Thanks. Okay, sure. I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. We can't head north until they get better gear. Tucker it is. Hey, Tuck. You get my drugs from Leon? Yeah. Yeah, Cope wanted me to sell to him, but uh, I know who my friends are. Huh, you got that right. Go see Alki. I heard Larson brought in a stash of shotguns and rifles. Maybe he's got something you can use. What can I get for you? Hey, Zanny. We're gonna run out of this someday, you know. I got you covered. Come back soon. Hey, always good to see you, Deke. Here, I kill them there. Bounties are all the same to me. Then what are the tools for? I saw them, Deke. Here on the table. This morning. The same one. 
fun she had at the wedding. I remember. I'm mucking up. Listen, loser. I'll get some rest. I gotta go. Deacon out. Tulip's boozer, there's still crap. Get it right. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Black helicopters have been spotted in the skies. You might have seen them. Heard them. Thought you were losing your mind. But you're not. Right. We thought Nero died out here like the rest of them. Caving under their own stupidity. Oh, shit, that's right. I gotta finish burning out no. these nests. Like I said, they've been lying and wait all this time. To they can crawl I'll come out of the river and finish burning out these nests. Reclaim this world. But it ain't happening. Not on my watch. And don't go running towards them thinking they're gonna save your ass. Any man wearing a uniform worth a damn died more than two years ago. These men will shoot you on sight. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Jesus, Cope, they're not trying to reclaim shit! You don't have a damn clue what you're talking about. Well, except, uh... Hey, Cope, this man I'm tracking down, who'd he kill? Why do you care? It's just another bounty job, isn't it? Now look, I don't care. I just want to know their names. Who, Cope? One of them is a man named Randall. Been with the camp almost a year. I didn't know the other two. You want me to ask? No, I guess not. You find that son of a bitch. You radio me. Copeland out. What do we got? <sighs> You're mine now. There he is! Silver helmet. Red gas tank. That's him. Oh, shit! The hell? So you thought you'd ride into Copeland's camp, shoot the place up, that about right? Kill a few folks, take some shit, and just ride out like you were just going shopping at the mall. You do, you son of a bitch. Hey, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, well, Cope kind of frowns on that. Not a fan of it myself, if you want to know the truth. Give Drifters a bad name. But what if you'd shot Manny? You know, who'd fix my bike then? Stupid piece of shit. <laughs> Screw you! You are a cope with stories, you little bitch! <laughs> That's what you are, you little bitch! Cope, it's done. I got him. Mark down these coordinates and send your man out here. Is he alive? Yeah, he's alive. But I won't promise you how long he's gonna stay that way. Deacon out. Here? Yep. Hmm, I that blows up real good. Okay, this is it. Yeah, oh, this camp is gonna be crawling. God, you like that? Huh? Come on, you sons of bitches, come on! Uh, yeah, going on foot. Nice and quiet. Boozer, you there? I was just calling to check up on you. Yeah, D, come here. You hang in there, buddy. As soon as we get that arm patched up, we're riding north, just like you said. Ah, I hope so. God, I miss you, open road. You just work on getting better. I still got some work to do on the bike, and we gotta stock up on some gear. But once you're patched up, we're out of here. Deacon out.
Okay, one nest done. How many more you got? Oh yeah, a nest. Okay, you boys just keep right on sleeping. Don't pay no attention to me. All right. Fire in the hole. Come on, boys and girls. Let's do this. Tucker to Deacon St. John, come in. Deke, you out there? Hey, Tuck, uh, you got a job for me? Okay, I'll swing by. Deacon out. Deacon St. John, this is Deacon. I just wanted you to know that the Hot Springs appreciates all that you've been doing for us. Life ain't never gonna be easy again, but you're making a difference to a lot of folks. Oh, warehouse. Yeah, it looks like the kind of place you want to call home, yeah. Deacon St. John, this is Ada Tucker. Alki wanted me to tell you that the camp is thankful for all the runs you've been doing. We need all the help we can get. God damn it, what you all shit yourself at once? Jesus Christ. Oh, goddamn freaks. What the hell are you doing in here? Huh? Oh, this place is a death trap. Okay, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Getting kinda cold out here. Thought I'd help you out. It'll warm you up. Tucker to Deacon St. John. Are you listening? I talked to Alki the other day, some of the other men. I know you've been doing runs for the camp. I just wanted to say thank you. St. John, this is Tucker. Like I said before, I haven't seen Loser Sweet Face around these last few days. You sure he's all right? Yes, Deacon. Boozer's fine. Like I said, he's just been busy. Doing runs for that son of a bitch Mark Copeland, no doubt. I get the feeling he doesn't like me much. Boozer, I mean. Like I said, I ain't his old lady. Deacon out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Back during the American Revolution, when we were fighting for our freedoms, we gained the beautiful right to keep and bear arms. A right we used to protect ourselves, our families, our property. That is, until the ever-growing federal government got scared of the people they swore to protect. Over the years, they stripped us of every gun right they could using a few mass shootings as an excuse to curtail the God-given rights of us, American citizens. Gun control. And there went the Second Amendment, ladies and gentlemen. Let me ask you Come this. Come on, fellas. When all this shit went down, if every American was packing heat, do you think we'd be in this mess? Hell no. But this is how the feds wanted it. Not the last of them. It was just the first step toward getting rid of us all. So who did those gun laws really protect? Sure as hell wasn't us, the American taxpayers. Someday, we ever dig out of this? I want to take a poll. I bet those who survived were those who had guns. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Okay, Cope, this time you got me. 
I'll take all the guns I can get my hands on. Ain't no one taking them away. Loser, it's done. I cleared those nests. Should be less freaks on the mountain from now on. Hey, Deke. How'd it go with her? Were there a lot of them? Nah, it wasn't too bad. That's why I wanted to take them on while it's dark out. Some of them were strong as hell, though. Yeah, cold makes them stronger. I'm not thinking of that. Yeah, yeah, Boozer. I knew that. Anyway, well, thanks for... Thanks for doing that, Deke. Get some shut eye, Boozer. Deacon out. Where is it? God damn, this has got to be close. is it gonna take before all of this is finally gone? Nice refugee camp. Yeah, you all would have been better off out in the shit. Nero couldn't protect you from a goddamn thing. Yep. Where did I go? It's a 
And I gotta tell you something. Hey, it's okay. It's just my arm. You told me that we shouldn't come back, and I didn't listen to you. I mean, I knew that it was getting worse, but I... None of us knew it was gonna blow up like this. Not this fast. You don't understand. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. This is my fault. Hey. I wasn't losing anyone. I made a promise. Remember? Deacon, wait! Sarah, come on. There's a kid here. Wait. Hey. Oh, shit. Hey, are you okay? Come on, we gotta find your parents, okay? We really hey. gotta go. Come on. Oh, she stabbed me. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. Uh, how bad is it? Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's that bad. Okay, look. Okay. Just hold this here as soon as you can. Can you run? I don't think so. I think I can walk. Okay, good enough. We're almost there. Okay. Two hours ago, this place was calling the feds. Yeah, they must have evacuated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They must have bugged the hell out. Yeah, she's burning up. The uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning septic. Mm. How you doing, mm. little sister? So stupid. It was this little, this little kid. This. This goddamn little kid. With the big goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Shit. Hey, Mom. You don't want to be here when they come through? We gotta get to the roof. Flag down one of those choppers. All right. Mm. All right see if you can rest over here. Hey. Mm. Easy, easy. <sighs> So much my little sister, you know. Mm. So we used to play that hide and seek game all the time. And she would just, just uh, hide her head in her coat just like that. Um. I've been cutting my name, but nothing like that. She's burning up. Jesus. Look at him. We gotta move. We ain't going that way. Okay. Uh, come on. All right. Hey, sweetheart, can you move? Okay. Who's her? Uh, yeah, I got her. Go find us a way out. Uh, Shit. Just get out! You killed her! You killed her. Okay, okay, everyone, hold up. Hold on. Easy. What are you thinking? Uh, okay. You get his attention. I'm gonna try to sneak around behind him, okay? It's nothing. It's nothing, Coco. I got this. Go. <clears throat> Hold on. Don't shoot. Just fuck you. Oh! Yeah, we see you got guns, goddammit. Stop shooting. Sir? Just to get hey, 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 hey. I'm unarmed. I'm unarmed. Get out. Now listen to me. Listen to me. My girl's out there. She's been stabbed. We're just trying to get to the roof. Get out there's here. a helicopter. You killed her. So listen. You killed just... my wife. Oh, no, no, no. Look, I, I didn't know anything about your wife being killed. I'm sorry, sir. No, sir. I didn't do anything. We didn't do it, okay? Listen, just... Wait, we need help. She's been wounded. Well, what's wrong with her? Well, she's not whatever the hell's going on out there. She's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay, listen now, Brian. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. Oh, come on, no more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteered for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? Brian. Okay. Shit. I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. We only got room for two of you. We're overweight, okay? I can only take two of you, two. <laughs> come on, help me, come on. Come on, sweetheart. That's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. I'm gonna be right back.
Okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta hold get on, on that. Hold on. We gotta get oh, on that chopper. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. Look, I've been to worse shit than this before. You know? Yeah, we have. Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never gonna make it without me. I want this back. You coming? Easy, okay. I'll uh, I'll be back to check on you. And I know, yeah, you would want me to, but I guess Boozer's right. I can't, I can't help myself. It's uh, it's like I said. I'll be back. Boozer, another Nero chopper. I wonder what the hell they're up to. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Today, I was thinking about where it all began. The roots go deep. Back to the big WW2. 1947, the feds passed a, what they call it, the National Security Act. Now, what this did was give the feds the right to take over our roads, railroads, and radio. Anything they damn well pleased. Without a warrant. Today, the feds are gone, but we're still here. Shine the spotlight of truth on the world. Truth is, I seen it coming. Years ago, we had photos. Nero death camps built to hold us American citizens. No one believed me. If more of us had spoken up, none of this would have happened. Tell you one thing, it won't happen again. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Well, you were right about one thing, Cope. All these Nero refugee camps, they did turn out to be death camps, just not the way you were expecting.
up there again, didn't you? After I told you not to... Look! I... Would you just leave it? Right? I'm just out hunting, freaks, boozer. You got that? Bounty! That's the only reason that I go up there. Ah, shit. Almost out. Shit. Hold on, hold on, they're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. I think they were just, uh, warning shots. I mean, if they were trying to hit me, I would be dead. Deke, remember me telling you about that death wish of yours? Yeah, 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 I got this. Deke it out. Isn't working. No, it's working. Or this little shit would have torn your head off by now. Come on, Doc, hurry it up. Son of a bitch, calm the hell down. They're coming. Give me a minute. What are you doing? Back it up, we're out. Shit, let's go, go. Abort mission, abort. Go, go, go. Shut up, what up? God damn it, let's go. Let's go. Is a radio all right? Hey, God damn it, get back here with that! Shit, that's mine! Ah, uh, finally! Jesus Christ, those shits can run fast. So, what the hell are they doing? 
Looked like they were out here, shit, wrangling freaks, I don't know. They had a newt and some kind of noose, like they were putting a tracking device on it or something. What? Wrangling? What do you mean? You know, like tying it up, taking samples from it or something, like those guys used to do on that wildlife show. Pretty fucked up. They got chased off by swarmers, bugged the hell out. They left some gear behind, a radio. Wait, you don't, you don't think that Sarah... No, no, not, I, I, I don't know. I'm just, and he's alive, Boozer, he's alive. O'Brien, one of them, Nero. I'm gonna track him down, if I can, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some answers. Damn it. Okay. Look, I'll be able to ride soon. I'll help you, Deke. If he's alive, we'll find the bastard. You're goddamn right. I'm gonna check in later. Deacon out. Okay, O'Brien. Where the hell are you? Hey. Hey. So I'm sort of lost. I was hoping you could help me out. I'm sorry, you're lost? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for the old Belknap Road and there's not a lot of signs around here. <laughs> Come on, you gotta be kidding me. Nope. What? What is it? What? Oh. Great. That is just perfect. <laughs> that is great. That is great. So about those directions? I'm really sorry. I, I don't know where Belknap, Belknap, Belknee, Belknap? Belknap, that's the one. And I don't know where it is. I really can't help you. I'm sorry. So no then? <sighs> nope. Okay. Well, thanks anyway. Hey! Could you use a ride? Yes, I could. Thank you for finally offering. I'm Sarah. I'm Deacon. Oh, well, sorry about the mess. Um, I don't know, how do I, uh, this contraption? Pretty much what you think, you just throw your I just, leg over, yeah. Okay, um, there. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> Ready. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hold on tight. Thank you so much. No problem. It's just, there are no bars out here, so... Well, sure there is. There's a place called Crazy Willie's up the road. There's, uh... No, I meant cell phone reception. I knew what you meant. Right, of course. Anyway. So what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> you know, I ask myself that all the time. I do research. Um, you know, I study things. Thanks. Had no idea what research was. Sorry, um, I do plants. You study plants? Yeah. Hey, hey, look out! Shit, hold on! Assholes! <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Are you okay? I'm just... Oh, Lordy, that was close. Hey. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just... Oh my god. Hey. Hey. I've got cell phone reception. Hey. Yeah, I'm fine. I just... 
The car you gave me, it's a real piece of shit. I need a tow. I'm on, um, I don't know, some, I don't know where Road I am. Road 42. Road 42? Yeah, I'm, I'm about a mile up. Okay, I'll see you when you get here. Come on, I'll take you back to your car. We can wait for the tow truck. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, all right. I'm sure when those boys come back, they'd be happy to give you a ride, so. <laughs> okay, all right. <clears throat> all right, I just... <sighs> just give me a second. <sighs> There'll be any minute now, All right, so... all right, all right. Screw it, let's go. Just drive a little careful this time, okay? <laughs> You weren't really lost, were you? Well, that all depends on who you ask. My ex would say I've been lost for years. Well, you certainly know your way around here. So you're not from around here? No, I'm from Seattle. The company that I work for, they just, they opened this lab here, so... Here I came to the middle of nowhere. To research plants. That's right, I already told you I forgot. Um, yeah, so... The company that I work for, they, they do work for this bioengineering firm, and um, some of the plants that I, I look at are pretty rare, and they just happen to grow here. That has got to be the best thing I've ever heard. Oh, what the hell? Clay, we got company. All right, gentlemen. Smart so now, huh? Out here, That's big he bad biker, huh? Yeah. Uh, yes, hit him again. How you like that, bike boy? Come on, hit him. Not so tough now, him. Uh, <laughs> You don't learn, do you, bike boy? Oh yes, oh. yes. Oh, dude. I'll teach him good. Yeah, you like that? Come How about on. that? Oh, shit. Oh, screw this. I'm out. Hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on, hold up. Roll, goddammit. Roll. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Uh, oh, my God. Hey. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I, I don't even know. I just was looking in your bag and no, it's I, I right. saw that and I. No. Oh, my God. I could have killed somebody. Well. Oh, shit. Yeah, but you, you gotta kind of aim it at them first. I've never done anything like that before. Hey, I saw, it's okay. It's okay. I They're saw going. it in They're your going. bag and I just I tried to call you the police, good. but there were no You know what we're gonna no do? Bars. We're gonna, gonna do no reception. I'm gonna wait right here until your guy comes. Okay. Thank you. I've never done anything like that. Huh. Could have fooled me. Yeah? Tucker, Hot Springs Camp, you there? I'm gonna need more info on that survivor Larson spotted in Marion Forks. Deacon, I already told you everything I know. Young, a woman. Wait, he mentioned Hungry Jim's. That old pancake house by the East Bridge. Lumberjack, big stack of pancakes. Yeah, I know the one. Okay, I'll start there. You do that. And remember, bring her to me. A group of drifters came through the other day, traded us a few guns. Maybe something you could use. OK. 
Keep that in mind. Deacon out. somewhere. I would need water. Maybe, maybe down by the creek. Gotta look around. Gotta be hers. This must be where she comes to get water. Yeah, you come here for water every day, don't you? But you move cautiously. You don't stick around long. Good for you. Smart girl. Stay off the street. Only come out at night. The freakers are out, but she'd be harder to see. I'm here! I'm here! There's no need to get out here alive!
house is sealed up. How she get in and out? Ladder. This is it. Come on. Just gotta set it here. All right, kid. Where are you hiding? Don't be afraid. Uh, I'm not gonna hurt you. Are you alone? Is there uh, anyone else with you? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, is, is this your room? It's, it's really great. Uh, are, are these yours? No. So, uh, Lisa. Right. Oh, That's oh. mine. This one's for gymnastics. I should have won first place, but Missy King, she cheated. Lisa! Lisa, you hear the gunshots outside? It's not safe here. I was now, at we... school. And my mom called me and told me to come home right away and not stop, and they would be here waiting for me, and we would leave together, and... I got here and there was a note that said they left with some men and I didn't know what to do. So, so I hid. I, I, I didn't know uh, what to do. Uh, uh, it's all right, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, Lisa, not far from here, there's a camp. And you really ought to let me take you there. Uh, no. There are people there. There are people. I know them. It's, I'm not going to lie to you, it's a work camp. And to eat, you have to work. Life is going to be hard. No. But at least you ain't going to starve. No. Uh, no, my mom's coming here is, for okay, me. Okay, is this your mommy? Well, you said she didn't come home, right? So maybe she's at the camp. Mom is at the camp? I know she is. Okay. Stay close. The men with the guns. Are they still out there? No, we don't gotta worry about them. Did you kill them? They're gone. Okay. No. Lots of sick people. Bounties.
Get on, we have to move. I don't know about this. Come on, kid, we gotta go. Okay. We should go. What's your name? Uh, Deacon. My name's Deacon. Uh, Lisa... Lisa, how did you live out here alone for all this time? <sighs> you don't talk much, do you? My dad's a rock hound. He used to take me out here looking for thunder eggs. Thunder eggs? Uh, what is... That? They're rocks, but when you cut them open, they're really pretty inside. Okay. That, that sounds great. We used to go all over. Belknap Crater, the lava flow and Black Crater, everywhere. Do you think he's at the camp too? Uh, I don't know, kid. Shit, someone's in the tunnel. What? Listen to me, the gunshots that you heard, those were really bad men. Do you understand? Yes. Someone's uh, falling back. Pull it back. Pulling back. Hello. All right, you sons of bitches, let's get this started. Lisa, kid. Come on out, it's safe! Come on, hop on. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I want to go home. Nah, kid, the camp. You'll be safe there, you'll see. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna ask you a question, Lisa, and I need you to think real hard. Did any of your neighbors, did they own any firearms? You know, like uh, pistols, rifles, things like that? No. Men came and took everything. Men! Were they like the men in the tunnel, or, or did they wear uniforms like, uh, like in the army? Like the army. But they were really dirty, and they carried flags they made themselves. Um, Deschutes County Militia, I think. I don't remember. Did they have anyone with them? Women? Children? I don't remember. Okay. Tommy would remember. Tommy? Tommy Strickland. My best friend. But he's gone. He left with his dad to hide. Hide? I, I don't... His dad built a fallout shelter and put all kinds of stuff in it. Maps, food, water, guns, you know, stuff like that. Okay, okay, do you know where that is? No. They wanted me to come with them, but I knew my mom and dad would come back for me. Someone's at the gate. All right, this is it. We're here, Glad so just still stay with me. Okay. Well, who do we have here? Mrs. Tucker. Oh, my God. <gasps> Lisa, honey. Oh, it's okay. You're safe now. Mom and Dad, and everyone got sick, and I didn't know what to do, and men came, and people got sh sick, and... It's okay. You're safe now. It's a miracle. It's a goddamn miracle. We were neighbors, weren't we, Lisa? I lived just down the block. I knew her parents. Are they here, Mrs. Tucker? Honey, you know the answer to that. 
No. They're not here. Let's go in. Get you cleaned up. Something to eat, and then, then I'll find a place for you to sleep. Take her in. Give her some food. Go see Alkai. I'll update your credits tonight. Hey, hey, listen, listen. She's she's been through a lot. Can we just let me worry about how? No, listen to me, okay? Seriously, don't work her like you do everyone else. Don't tell me how to run my camp. You want to move here? You want to help us run this? Then maybe you get some say. <laughs> don't get soft on me, Dee. So, you want to learn how to hunt? Is that what I'm hearing? I don't want to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain Cope. Don't give me any Marine Corps bullshit. Killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. The best way to hunt an animal is to track it. You gotta focus. And see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, you'll see the signs. Okay, then. Look hard. See this pile of deer scat? It's fresh. Yeah, I see it. They lead this way. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Well, come on, then. Quick, there's your buck. <sighs> I see him. Now here, use my rifle. If you were in the 10th Mountain, you know how to use a scope. Yeah, Cope, I know how to use a scope. Easy, easy. I got this. You got him. Nice shot. Oh, God damn it! it wasn't a kill shot. He got away. No, no, that's okay. You wounded him. He'll bleed out soon enough. We just gotta track him. Okay. See the blood spots? Look close. Yeah, I see him. Then follow him. On it. He'll be slowing down about now. Losing too much blood. We should be coming across his carcass any time now. Okay. Yeah, look. Cope, Boozer and I have been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting with his old man, and yeah, he uh, he showed me how to gut it, dear. Well, let's just say no disrespect to Boozer, but you got a lot to learn. You're wasting a lot of meat there. Overall, not bad for a beginner. Yeah, thanks. Now, I'll take back that rifle. Here, thanks. Like I said, Deke, we can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. How's it going, booze man? I'm fine, goddammit. Hey, Deke, we're getting low on 
got supplies. Could use some more meat if you get a chance. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I guess it's been a while since we did any hunting. I'll see if I can scare up some meat while I'm out. You, uh, you remember what you're doing? <sighs> yeah, I had Cope give me a few pointers, believe it or not. Oh, shit. I don't believe it. Thanks, Dean. See you, Blue Man. Uh, fresh meat. That ought to do it. Okay, I just gotta get this back to Blue this is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. I grew up in these here woods. My grandfather told me all about hunting. O'Brien, how much longer are we going to be out here? We're just getting started, so pull your jets, okay? Let me get back to work. O'Brien, this is going to be it. Sarge, how about we make an unscheduled stop on our way back? A couple of sample traps I want to check. Hey, Doc, how long before your job's done? I'm not a doctor. I keep telling you that. Sorry, Lieutenant O'Brien. How long are we going to be here? As long as it takes, Corporal. As long as it takes. I thought I saw something on our approach. I'm going to check it out. Yeah? It's probably nothing. Fresh carrying, maybe. Okay, Doc. Lieutenant. Don't become carrion yourself. Only animals can become carrion, Corporal, not humans. You guys checked the perimeter, right? Yeah, it's clear. Damn it, so close. I heard something. O'Brien, field note 2006. On approach to the landing site, I observed a large swarm of insects, probably Dimonocitratus or Diptera, in a clearing well away from our designated target. From that distance, I cannot discern what was attracting the insects, but from the size of the swarm, recent carrion is indicated. Should be just over here. Damn it, where is it? Ah! Speculation as to Tabanocitratus is confirmed. Lots of horse flies here. I'm about to have the suit on. Let me tell you. Carrion is still mostly intact. Perimeter alert. And appears to be Odocoileus minus or mule deer. I guess if anybody could check that. Striation of the. Well, leave it this way, you poor son of a bitch. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, what would that been something? Uh-uh. Uh, what do you want? Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly that uh, if conducting operations in quarantine zones, that if I encounter any civilians or sub... sub civilians! That I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like... Um, making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive, What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. The next it's night, refugee Nero camp. Protocol 2 the 7 were states. I, Everyone was dead. Two they were slaughtered. Seven. Torn limb Nero from goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell is you're doing out here. The hard way. Crack open that little spacesuit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So what's it gonna be, O'Brien? Yes. Okay. Okay. You remember the rooftop of the old brewery? I put a woman on your chopper. She was wounded. Yes. I remember, uh, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. 
everyone was dead. So I'm gonna ask you again, how did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... I, I can't promise anything, but I'll, I'll check. Uh huh. And I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. Hey, you don't understand. I'll fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look. If you're gonna fucking kill me, do it. Okay? I did my job. Did the woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen. I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic. She wasn't gonna make it, but I got her the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. I have to go. Please, I, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Ryan, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to track you down. And I'm going to do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. alive they were diverted south he said that he put her on oxygen he gave her an iv he kept her alive she was septic so she wasn't gonna make it but he got into a mash unit he saved her life he said it he said he saved your life she, she can still be she no 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 but o'brien is alive and if he is then maybe Man, um, a few days ago, I asked you if you remembered that Nero asshole. Uh, yeah, I think it's, it's all uh, kind of a blur. Yeah, yeah, okay. Get some shut eye booze, man. I'll, I'll tell you about it later. What are we riding out of here, Deke? Soon, these are real soon. Look, <clears throat> as soon as your arm heals, we're gonna be riding the hell out of here. Yeah, Deke. O'Brien, are you out there? O'Brien, oh, you son of a bitch, you better radio me. You hear me, O'Brien? I know you're on this channel. God damn it. Hey, you better get back to me or I'm going to track you down. You got that? Oh, God damn it. Oh, come on. Ryan, get back to me. Could make something out of this. Hey, what's up? Hey, booze man. It's getting dark soon. Hey, booze man. I brought in some meat. Should keep us stocked up for a while. Hey, Deke, thanks, man. I'm not real hungry right now. I'll salt it up in a bit.
there. Did you track down the chopper? Was it the same guy, the one we saw on the roof that night? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it was him. And did he remember us? Sarah, what happened? I don't know. They got diverted south. He, he remembered her, but he doesn't know what happened to her. You know, I... But you don't think she's still alive? Wait, no. No, I'm, look, I'm not stupid, loser. I just want to find out, you know, what happened to her. Where she died. I don't need to find any peace. Jesus. I, I gotta go, all right? Deacon out. And I smell it. <clears throat> it's gotta be getting close. Come on, come on, come on. Got you. <clears throat> Finally. Jesus. Good night.
How you doing, kid? They won't let me leave. <laughs> Why would you want to leave? It's safe here. I have to work. Okay. Deke, you have a ride with a drifter, scars all over his face, carries a tire iron, goes by the name of Limbo? Don't know him. He came into camp yesterday to turn in some bounties, have a few drinks. Seems like he didn't leave until early this morning. Well, Tuck, I don't run security here, so why don't you just tell Al Kai about that? He beat a man, Deke, and a woman, to death, Bowman and Hewitt. Her face was so smashed in you couldn't tell it was her. Hewitt... Maria, right? Oh, Jesus. Sasshole, Limbo. He's a local. Alki says they've set up shop at the old Forest Service watchtower on the east slope of Three Finger Jack. Yep, I know where it is, and uh, I'll handle it. I thought you might. Hey, a deacon, right? Hey, Zanny. Keeping your hands clean. I got you covered. Check back. <laughs> See ya. Hey, D, let me get the game. Hey, uh, I haven't seen Boozer around much lately. Yeah, he's around. I guess he's just been doing more work for Cope. Hey, kill him, Deke. Kill him all. Deke, how's it going? I got bored. Figured I'd see if I remembered how to make anything. Stop by when you can. I think you'll like it. Boozer, thank you. Yeah, I'll stop by when I can. Deacon out. I never did finish burning out this nesting zone. After who, Tuck? Slow down. It's Roach. It's Roach. You know him. He used to ride with Leon and Alvarez. But I trusted him. Oh, God damn it, Tuck. You shouldn't have. No, he's taking the rest of our drugs and headed north. My boys lost him somewhere around Marion Forks. 
All right, I'll see if I can track it down. Killing drifters, is that it? How do you like it now? Gotta move! Come on! Fire! Fire! I'm reloading! No! Get the bastard and kill them! the last of them. Uh, guess your days of setting ambushes around here are over. All right, let's see if they got an underground bunker around here. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It's the Wild West again. And some men are acting like law and order are a thing of the past. But, last I checked, this is still the United States of America. And in America, the right of property shall not be infringed. We have the right to claim territory, to hold it, and to defend it. Sure, we took this land from the Indians. No point in rewriting history. But we took it by force. And force is the only thing that will move us now. Not nope, not in the mood. Oh, good. Use this. Ah, uh, yeah, here it is. Wow. 
What's this? A map? Notes? Yeah, okay. What do we got here? How to craft the... Okay, yeah, okay. I spotted him and it looks like he was, uh, like he was waiting for someone. Deke. Don't let him get away. Oh, come on, Rose. Where do you think you're going, huh? Go back here, you son of a bitch. Fine. All right, let's do this the hard way. Rose, slow down. I just want to talk. Yeah? Now what Tucker sent you to talk? Woo! I got you, son of a bitch! Hey, Roach. How's it going, buddy? See? Told you I wasn't gonna kill you. Uh, oh, Deke, no. No, oh, I, I didn't do nothing. Uh, nah, that's not what Tucker says. I guess when Leon and Alvarez took off with the camp's drugs, they forgot to cut you in. Is that about it? Uh, uh, Deke, no. Uh, uh. No, no, no. Clue me in on what you're thinking, man. I, I want to understand. You you took what was left while the old woman wasn't looking? Oh, Deke. Uh, I got nothing on me, okay? Search me. Uh. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's not my job. I'm going to leave that up to Alki. Hey, uh, Tuck. I got Deke, him. Mark uh, down these coordinates don't leave me and have Alki sent heard what you did to Leon, okay, Deke? I, I, please, He's man. Alive. Come on, please. Did he have my drugs? Deke, no. Uh, Oh yeah, he's alive. But if you want him to stay that way, Alki, you better hurry up and get off his ass. St. John out. Hey, booze man, you there? Yeah, the Crazy question. Any idea where I could find a thunder egg? What the hell for? The kid I brought in, just trying to find a way to cheer her up. She mentioned having one. Shit, I don't know. Check the gift shop at Belknap Crater. I don't know, maybe Miriam Forks. Yeah, okay, thanks.
traitor camp. Bunch of mean sons of bitches, aren't you? How many ambushes you set this week, huh? Lisa, I go away. Brush or something. It's beautiful. Will you take me with you? Take me back to Marion Forks. Look, I, I can't because it's not safe. I gotta turn in. They make us get up really early for work. Copeland, yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm uh, guessing you uh, got another job for me. Okay, I'll swing by. Deacon up. Hey, uh, you're not answering the radio. Yep. I oh, know, I was... Well, hold on, hold on. No, I'm alright, I'm alright. Just... Trying to get clear, you know? You're burning no. up. Ugh, my head's pounding like a mother. You're burning up. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just tired. Okay, stay here, rest. I'll think of something. Look, I don't need a goddamn babysitter, I'm fine. Here, come here, I'll show you what you're looking for. Uh, yep, found it. <laughs> All right, come on, focus. I am focused. All right, so this one is called Lavandula Angustifolia. Lavender? 
Yes, well, I'm still paying off my student loans, so I will stick with Latin, mm -hmm. but you could call it that. Yeah, get your money's worth. Go for it. <laughs> okay, come on, give me your hand. <laughs> All right, so you want to put one hand around the flower. All right. And then put the other hand at the stem. Okay. Just like that, and then you pull nice and slow. You know, I pulled weeds before. Uh, excuse me, sir, this is not a weed. You have to be gentle. And but apply pressure. Oh, yeah, but not too hard. <laughs> get ready? Mm-hmm. Go. There you go, that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't smell very good. Okay, you hold on to those and I'm gonna collect more. <laughs> so, uh, why lavender? Well, the guys at the lab are pretty excited. They, they think they have this subspecies, which might have mutated monoterpenoids, which produce a modified linalool that that is so, oh my, thank you, Einstein, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It has a chemical that we can use to synthesize a new medicine for burn patients. Where I'm from, the only weed used for medicine is the kind that you smoke. You know, Boozer knows a guy with a farm it's about three miles up the road. Oh, that's great. Boozer's gonna wind up in prison and take you with him. <laughs> so what else do you guys make, like chemical weapons, WMDs, shit like that? No, 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 no. At least not me. Yeah? It's in my contract. None of my research can be used for military purposes. Hey, there's more over here. Wait, stop. Oh, come on, the water's yeah. gonna be great. Hold, hold on, hold on. What's wrong? Well, I, I didn't mean stop that. <laughs> come on, what is it? It's a long story. Well, that's okay. We can just walk. I like walking. So, why don't you tell me about your plants? Really? Okay. Well, this particular genus is adventitious. You want me to ask? It means not native to this area. You can thank Ogden for that. Who? Oh, shit, I asked. Peter Skeen Ogden, first explorer to come through this part of Oregon. He and some of the other early explorers brought all their medicinal herbs and plants with them. Some got away, and now they're growing here. Mostly along the shores of small lakes and ponds. First white explorer. Wow, look at you. Being all politically correct. Don't buy into all the biker stereotypes you see on TV. We are actually quite charming. I bet. The MC's got a couple of brothers. One fully patched. I don't think I've seen one person of color since I arrived in your strange little backwater paradise. Yeah, Jack actually had some guys bust in from Sacramento just to piss off our skinhead rivals. He did not. <laughs> no, he did not. I'm kidding. Jersey Jim's an old buddy of mine. Patched him and myself. We served in the same unit. Come by the clubhouse Sunday. I'll show you around. You'd like the guy. He's funny as shit. He makes a mean margarita. Well... I have to be in the lab early on Monday, so... I'll have us back in your bed by 10, I promise. How can I refuse an offer like that? <sighs> okay, you try picking some now. Lavender, you, you want me to pick lavender? Yep, and bring me three plants and don't crush them. Oh, I'm gonna crush them. <laughs> Come on. Uh, got one. Good for you. This one? Yep, keep going. Last one. Great, bring him here. <sighs> oh. <laughs> for you. Wow, gallantry is alive and farewell after all. No, oh, if he <laughs> is not, then I didn't kill him. <laughs> hey, oh, 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 oh. Aww, poor guys. Hey, is that the one we're gonna smoke later? No, but this is the one we're gonna drink. I make this killer herbal tea with it. I'll bet. <laughs> 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 All right, if you come over, then I will make it for you, as long as you give me a ride home. All right, great. Well, you're going to be a believer. And we'll grab a beer from myself on the way over.
I should top off the tank. Oh, here we go. Sorry, uh, I'm a little out of it. What, you said something? It's, uh, it's something Sarah showed me a few summers ago before... Yeah, anyway, uh, there's a plant that grows out here called lavender. It grows in the shade, along rivers, lake shores. I'm gonna see if I can find some. Shit, brother. The way my arm's feeling, I'll try anything, but... Fuck the lavender, bring something I can smoke. Whatever, I'm gonna find some of this shit, I'm gonna make a burn sap out of it, and you're gonna shut the hell up about it. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, brother. Just going stir crazy up here, you know? Uh, don't worry, booze man. We're riding north, I swear to God, not too much longer. You hear me? Yeah, out. Idea, digging mass graves and hauling all these corpses out of here. Way onto the roof.
hell do I get in there? Power's off. Figures. Out of gas. Of course. Locked. Should be it. <laughs> green lights, green lights are good. Green lights are always good. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Yes, Nero injector. Hey, Boozer. Uh, God damn it! Uh, it's a funny thing. I, I was remembering how uh, a few summers back, Sarah took me out to Bear Creek. We were picking lavender, and uh, she Pussy. taught <laughs> she taught me how to make this set for Burns. And uh, look, I got out today. Okay, I actually had a look around the mound. I cleared some traps. The arm's almost as good as new. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it right here. Hey, hey, just give me a couple days, okay? Just we'll ride up north like you said and get out of this shithole. Sure. Yeah. I'm just gonna close my eyes for a bit. All right, okay, let's go.
Deke, you there? Yeah, I'm here. What's up? We got hit, and hard. Rippers. A couple of dozen, maybe more. Goddamn rippers. That little gal you were so worried about? Yeah, Lisa. Wait, hold on. What happened? Where's Lisa? Gone. They took her and three others. Alki followed him as far as he could. But they're holed up at Belknap Crater. Mm, he came back to round up more men, but... That's it. God damn it! Okay, look, I've seen what those sons of bitches do to hostages. I'm not waiting. Where the hell is the girl? If you've hurt her, I swear to God. Who am I kidding? I'm gonna fucking kill you all whether you hurt her or not. Hang on, Lisa. I'm coming. What's this? Lisa's? Sure as hell don't belong to a goddamn ripper. Small footprints. Girl's size. It's gotta be Lisa. She was dragged through here. If you've hurt her, you sons of bitches, I'm gonna kill every last one of you. Dragged her up here. Lisa's gotta be up there. Huh, 
What's this? I'm coming, kid. Lisa. All right, Lisa. Oh, Jesus, what have they done to you? Lisa. Lisa? Hey. Sweetheart. No! Hey, hey, no! hey, hey. Shut up, shut up! Lisa, it's me. It's Deacon. Remember? Deacon? Okay. All right. That's all right. It's all right. Come on. You okay? Oh, damn it. Can you run? Do you know where the visitor center is? All right, that's where my bike is. I need you to run air as fast as you can. Don't stop. Don't stop. All right, don't stop, no matter what. You ready? Huh? Go. Get to my bike. Run. We're safe now. Are you okay? No. Listen to me. To the south of here, there's a camp at Lost Lake. It's nothing like the Hot Springs. Iron Mike, he's not like Mrs. Tucker. I hated Mrs. Tucker. <laughs> you wouldn't be alone there. 
This is a nice camp, and it's a safe place. Okay. Hold on. Ricky! Ricky, come back! Ricky, are you still on this channel? Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deacon? Ugh, long time no here. What do you want? Just meet me, okay? On the Cascade Highway where it intersects with the old Belknap Road. I'm heading there now. You know what Iron Mike said? The night you and Boozer rode out of here? Uh, <clears throat> oh yeah, that. Uh, listen, that's why I radioed you and not Schizo. Iron Mike doesn't even have to know about this. I got a kid here. What? Well, I mean, not a kid, uh, a survivor. She's been out here a long time. A, a, you've got a survivor, and you're bringing her to Lost Lake. No, you're bringing her to Lost Lake. I'm bringing her to you. Ricky, you there? Yeah, okay. I'm on my way. Lost Lake out. Ricky? Uh, yeah, okay. You're welcome. You're gonna like it there, kid. It's like I said, Iron Mike, he's, um, uh, he likes to yell a lot. Look, don't let him bother you. You got that? Uh, anyway, there's this guy named Schizo. If he bothers you at all, well, just tell Ricky. Or, uh, tell Addie. She's the camp's doctor. You tell her. Hey, Ricky. Hey, Deke. I'm surprised. What, did Tucker give up the slave trade? Uh, Lisa, this is, uh, Ricky. She's gonna, uh, take you to a safe place. Nothing has changed, Deke. Iron Mike is not gonna pay you for this. Pay me for, oh, come on. That's not, excuse me. That's not what this is about. It's not about collecting a bounty or anything. Can you mm -hmm. just, please just take her? Huh? What's wrong with her, Deke? What's wrong with her? She was, had a run in with some rippers. I had to... Hey, Lisa. Hi, I'm Ricky. Listen, do you like to go fishing? I love fishing. It's, it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Would you want to go fishing with me? Yeah? Come on, I'm going to tell you about Lost Lake. It has the clearest water you have ever seen. And the fish, oh my god. The fish in the morning, they jump this high. I'll show you. When we go, we're gonna have such a good time. Make sure you hold on tight, okay? Ready? I really appreciate it. Springs to Deacon St. John. Tucker, I'm here. I expected you back by now. Did you find the girl, Lisa? No. They're coming. Oh, they're gonna. They won't know. 
I mean, they're on me. Oh, they're gonna... Blizzard, what's going on? No! How'd you get in here? Whoa, 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 whoa. You stay right there! Blizzard, it's me. Stay there. It's Deke. Let's just Don't calm down. Don't you come any closer. Let's just I will talk. kill you. It's all right. Oh, come on! Give me the gun! Oh, give me the gun, buddy! No, come I will come not! On. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Boozer, what the fuck? I... I heard... I heard him. I heard oh, voices. Shit. Oh, shit. I mean, you, you, you heard him, right? No, I didn't hear shit, Boozer. You no, got blood poisoning. I, I do not. Yes, you do, Boozer. Just take a look. I don't need to take a look. Come on, I'm... we gotta get you some help. Look, I don't need some. Come on. Damn, I don't need help. <sighs> I'm sorry about that. About trying to blow your head off. I mean, no, I thought I saw something, you know? Easy. Hey, watch the steps. I got this. But it was it was in my head, you know? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I could hear him, Deke. I I could hear him, Deke. Footsteps just pounded in my head. Boots. Just a few more steps. I don't need any help. I can goddamn walk. I can walk. Okay. Okay. I, I just... Yeah, now come on, come on. Get on, we gotta go. Wait, 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 what? Where are we going? I, I don't... It's just a short ride, Boozer. It'll help clear your head, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. That'd be good. There, okay. Where are we going? Deke! You remember when we first rode out of Farewell? What that was like? Yeah, I remember. The highways were, they were all choked up with cars. There were so many people, all on the move, thinking that if they could only go fast enough, that they'd outrun what was coming. Yeah. No one could move fast enough, Boozer. No one saw it coming the way I did. So by the time they said, fuck it, you know, and started walking and then running, too late. Too late. And I remember watching the freaks, watching them all come, thousands of them. And all those, all those dumb shits just got swallowed up. Yeah, I remember. When you see a thing like that, you know it's only a matter of time before it's our turn. Nothing's gonna stop it, Boozer. Not a goddamn thing, but... Wait, do you know why we keep going? No. Because what the hell else are we gonna do? Yeah.
<laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. Uh, figured you'd get all purdied up before heading in. Oh, uh, you know. Yeah, I figured I'd stop in the lodge, have a few beers, and then just stroll into the infirmary. No, 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 man. I'm just, just sick of it. Uh, no. I don't care. I'm just fucking with you. Hey, Deke. Mm -hmm. Mike said he'd kill you if he ever saw you again. Uh, and if he said that it... That old man doesn't remember his name half the time. No, no, no. Hey, He'll hey, remember. You gotta stay awake. We're off the open road, but if a freaker wanders oh, yeah, back... Yeah, 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 I know. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, Deke. Yeah? Don't you kill anyone in the camp, okay? I'm not gonna kill anyone. You good? Never better. What's up? <laughs> the hell? What? I saw something. Someone's here. What'd you find? Oh, shit. Iron Mike. Schizo. Son of a bitch. Joe's got scars all along his head. Like they were trying to scalp him. Raymond? And the men we buried, they were butchered, Mike. Butchered. Christ, it took us three hours to rake up all the body parts. Oh, I didn't want to leave him there. Raymond? It's Carlos, and you know it. What? I hit him back, or the Rippers are gonna... Schizo, leave it be. Just leave it be. Something's not right next? here. What's the matter? In the next. Hell, Carlos is already pushing into rogue camp. Camp Pioneer. Where's going? There's no proof of that. They're moving up north. I heard one of those radio free organ broadcasts. Claims they got hit by rippers. Yeah. So now you're listening to that nut job, Cope. Well, he may be a nut huh? job, but I think he'd know a ripper if one was coming at him with a butcher. Something's out here. Hey! What the? Wait, what? You can go real rock? You can come back. You know, Addy, don't like it. You're snooping around in your business. Hey, Someone's you. here. Me. I'm not laughing. Now, come on. Come back later when Addy's here. I want to talk to the men myself. <laughs> Was that a rock? <sighs> Someone's here. What about the next? There it is. Just gotta find a way inside. Why? You trying to get with them? Or is this going in your bank? Oh, man. I'm just curious. Got it. I was on kitchen duty and I saw Ricky looking. It's fine. Just, just great. She came in. <laughs> ah, damn it. <laughs> Hi, Ricky. Hi, Addy. Uh... I don't want any trouble, so if you ladies just step aside, I'll show you. No, no, my way what, the what the hell are you, hell are you doing, doing in my no, infirmary? Uh. Oh, are you gonna shoot me now? <gasps> oh, wait, 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 there's a code, right? You can't shoot a woman unless you have to. Well, now you have to. Ah, shit. Okay, look, why don't you just let me explain? Check what's in the cooler. <sighs> What are you, selling narcotics for Tucker now? You know, when you brought me that girl, I thought you had changed. But clearly you haven't. No, it's not narcotics. What? It's antibiotics. Boozer's sick. He's got blood poisoning. Like, had no place else to go. Blood poisoning? What happened? Does it matter? I fucked up. Bring him in. 
Go and get him. Bring him here. No, we can't do that. Yes, we can. Look, I don't care who he is, and I don't care what Iron Mike thinks. When a man is sick, a man is sick. We have to look out for each other. Baby is all we got. Come on, I'll give you a ride. Which way we headed? You remember there was a small camp when we first rode into the valley? Yeah, I remember. You call this a bike? It may not be a fancy drifter bike, but it gets the job done. Get on. Me and a couple of guys burned out a nest a few weeks back. You know, a freaker nest. So, how's she doing? The girl that I brought in, Lisa. Are you, are you gonna take me to see her? No. Oh, God damn it, Ricky. What, what the hell? Why not? I can't. She's not here. Wait, wait, hold on for a second. Where is she? A few days ago, Schizo assigned her to a scavenge run. She and three others headed over to the rogue camp to look for supplies. They came back without her. You're telling me they left her? They left her out in the shit? They didn't leave anyone. They said she ran off. Jesus! It could have been anything. Wolves, freaks, rippers. Choose your poison. And what, what, what was Schizo thinking, sending her out on a supply run? Everyone's gotta work, Deke. That's the deal, and you know it. I don't believe this shit. What? She'd been surviving in Marion Forks for years when I found her. Yeah, then maybe you should have left her there. Who's there? Hey. Get back, don't make me blow your goddamn Who's head there? off. It's me. No, get back! Oh. Hey. Hey, it's, uh, it's Ricky. <laughs> you remember me? I rode with you guys a year ago. Ricky, what? Tumalo? Yeah. That's the Tumalo to Toss Lake? Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. That's right. How, how you doing there, loser? You doing uh, all right? Just PG. It still didn't give you the right to steal our shit. Are you kidding me? Look at his arm. What was I supposed to do? Huh? I don't know. Maybe ask. Jesus. Look at you guys, the biker boys. The most badass drifters in this shit, right? And now you come back crawling to Iron Mike. Oh, wait, if he'll let you. <laughs> come on, just help me get him back to Addy. Let's go. Come on, pal. I still need your help. <clears throat> Ricky. Yeah, Boozer Ricky. Wait, where, where are we going? Addie said she's agreed to, to take a look at your arm and, and see what she can do. What? No. No, you're not taking me to some goddamn camp. I can ride, damn it. We're not sa Damn it. Boozer, it's just for a few days. Get some shit for your arm and then... No. You know what it's like there, Deke. No, you're not thinking straight. This isn't the Hot Springs. This is Lost Lake. Iron Mike. Remember him? Iron Mike? He's gonna get us killed. You said. That was a long time ago. They built the place up. They, they got more people. We're all gonna fucking die. We'll be long gone before anything like that happens. Camp's got the only dock in a hundred miles well, uh, now. Addie, just, look, she'll ago, take we care of it. Crazy, just, just a couple yeah, of days. You know. Yeah, then we ride the hell out of here. Ride north, like you said. Get the hell away from all this. Yeah. Yeah, we ride north. Leave all this shit behind.
Okay, so I'm gonna go back and check on him and make sure he's okay. Coward. Yeah, you got that right. Well, how long? And until he can ride, I mean. You mean how long do you have to be here? Look, we have antibiotics, but it's not enough. If Iron Mike lets you stay, your friend will have a chance. So what happened? How'd he burn his arm like that? We ran into some rippers south of Belknap. Guess they didn't like his tattoos. Jesus. I've heard about him doing shit like that to themselves, but not to people they're trying to recruit. <sighs> Boozer wasn't any goddamn recruit. Well, uh, guess Tucker should have made a deal with him like Iron Mike. Come on, Ricky. He just, he doesn't get it. Carlos isn't going to honor any deal with Lost Lake, not for long anyway, and Mike, he just doesn't see it. <laughs> he sees more Funny. than you think. You've I always had your good side, Dee. You've just been doing your best to kill it. My husband and I would bring their kids <sighs> Thanks every for the summer, vote of confidence. So camping, fishing, stuff like that. You know, get away from the city. Can't do a lot of camping on the east side of Portland, you know? We were out here. You cannot believe a word he is going to say. Addie is soft. Mike, we do not have enough for those that pull their own weight, let alone a goddamn cripple. He's oh, not a cripple. On. He can work. He... I say we throw them out on their asses. Mike, that is not who we are. Jesus, listen to you. And you, you tired of being Tucker's little bitch, finally? Raymond, huh? stop it. Don't call me that. I'm pretty tired, all right. All right, See? enough! See? You know who the fuck this guy is, and you know what he- You hold on! And you, you put that shit away. Mike, Deacon was I one know. that brought me the good. I know. And I know what kind of man he is, what he's done. He done any worse than you? Ricky, how about me? We've all been out in this shit, Schizo. We've all done things we're not proud of. We need another rider. Oh, now, wait a minute. I just need a few days and some antibiotics. I'll do whatever it takes. Sure, Mike. Whatever you say, I'm on board. Walk with me. I don't trust don't you. Don't start with me. So you're the one who brought them in. I didn't bring them in, Schizo. Boozer needed help. But he broke into the infirmary. The tackle shop isn't exactly. Ricky secure. told me you stopped running for Tucker. Now go on. Leave me be. I got some thinking to do. Sure, Mike. Yeah, whatever you say. Just have Ricky radio me if you need something. Deacon, hey, is everything okay? What's wrong? Uh, actually, that's not why I'm here. Okay. Came by to see if there's anything you need for the uh, infirmary. Actually, we're running low on everything. I mean, we could always use more meds, sterile bandages, instruments. Uh, here. Hmm. 
Liston knife. Yeah, it was used by doctors in the Civil War to perform operations in the field. Operations? Yeah, you know, when they didn't have any anesthesia or laudanum. I wrote down where you might be able to find one. <laughs> it's the brochure for the visitor center at Sherman Sherman's camp. camp. Yeah, yeah, the plate's crawling with all the freakers. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, uh, Deacon. Thank you. Head to Sherman's camp. Place is gonna be crawling. You here to buy something? Buzz, how you doing? <laughs> Come back if you remember what you want. Stop by anytime. Hey, D, let me get the gate. Brian, is that you? Yes, yeah, it's, it's O'Brien. You still have one of our radios, good. Okay, look, I'm gonna try and help you. Find out about the woman. Sarah Whitaker. Put her on your chopper that night. Yeah, 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 I know, okay, but first, you gotta do something for me. Wait, what? You need something from me? Look, there's a digital display on your radio. I'm going to send you a coded message, coordinates. Meet me at that location. O'Brien, what the hell is this all about? Just meet me there. There will be Nero soldiers all around me like before. Just don't let them see you. O'Brien, out. You? Where did... Shit, he's over there! No! Here it is. Visitor's center. Gotta find a way inside. Oh, I smell a nest. Gotta be right here. Down you go! Okay. Gotta be close to a nest. Whew, I can smell it. <laughs>
Fire escape. Down here. Not much left. This place has been picked over clean. Liston knife. This is it. Gotta get it back to Addy. Thank you, Deacon. You have no idea how badly we need this. Somebody no problem. Hey. Glad to help. Hey, Adik. I worked at the Humane oh. Society. Had a small office and a dog pen outside of Sisters. Had maybe a hundred dogs. Hey. Oh, here's that knife you were looking for. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Murderers and thieves, the Hey, it's not safe out here in the shit. I know where there's a camp that... Camp? Yeah, where? Yeah, yeah. I'll go. I'll, I'll go. Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. Uh, thank you. Yeah, let them know it was Deacon St. John. They know me. Don't stop. Just keep out of sight. Here. Jesus, don't, don't sneak up on me like that. Did you find anything out about Sarah, about the woman that I put on your chopper? Nothing. Nothing? Hey, hey, wait, 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 it's gonna take some time, okay? I'm risking my neck here. If anyone the, the back at HQ finds out, uh, those guys with the guns over there, You're they'll all order the without same question. Team, look, it just looks that way. Look, I don't have time to explain it right now, but it's why I need your help. 
my help. Just, look, just take it. It's a, it's a wavelength recorder and some GPS trackers. I just need you to... We're out of time. Look, I... Shit, I don't even know your name. Deacon, Deacon St. John. Well, look, Deacon St. John, if you want me to risk my neck helping you find whatever her name... Uh, Sarah? Then, yeah, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Okay, keep the radio close. I'll contact you in a couple of minutes. You don't even know my name? Well, you're gonna know it before we're done, O'Brien. And keep the radio close. It's been right here the whole time, you son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, how long do I have to wait now? Hello? Are you there, Deacon? Yeah, I'm here. Now, what's this all about? What do you want? All right, I put a blocker on this channel. It's secure. What do you want? I've sent a series of coordinates to your radio. I need you to go to those locations. What? Why? Just listen to me. There are several Nero task groups doing work in the field. I need to know what they're doing. Then why don't you ask them? I can't. Look, I said it's a long story, and I don't have time to get into it right now. Let's just say the men above me, way above me, are running a lot of field missions, all separate from each other. Nobody knows what anyone else is doing. So the world ends, and you assholes carry on like nothing's changed. Where? I sent you the coordinates. Okay, Jesus, O'Brien. All right, I will see what I can do. Just get to as many of them as you can. There are active LZs, landing sites, sample drop-off locations. Yeah, yeah, I got it, but you better have something for me, O'Brien. Yeah, yeah, I got it, too. Hold on. Brian! Yeah, I'm here. What do you, uh... One of our helos is heading towards your position now. You have to follow it. Follow it? Why? Just, just go! Don't lose it! Jesus, okay. All right. What's going on, O'Brien? Why am I out here in the shit chasing choppers down for you? Their destination's classified. I'm locked out of their files. So I can't give you the coordinates to their LZ. You have to follow them in. Jesus, don't you guys have uh, spy satellites? Shit like that? And not that I have access to, no. I told you I'm... Locked out. Yeah, I heard you. Don't lose them. O'Brien, they're landing. Good. I have the coordinates now via your radio. You better go in on foot. On foot? Remember, you can't let them see you. Well, Brian, I'm here. What do you want me to do? Hey, you know the Each of these research units have a science guide, like me, guarded by a bunch tight. of goons. I need you to get close to the clear. researcher. The wavelength recorder is set to the channel we use to record data. You record everything they're doing. Okay, so you want me to sneak into an LZ filled with heavily armed Kevlar-wearing soldiers who shoot on sight so that you can spy on some asshole wearing a pocket protector? Pocket protector? Really? I have a fucking PhD, asshole. Yeah, which stands for piled high and deep. Do you still have the tracking devices I gave you? Well, I was gonna sell them, but most of us don't have access to shit like, you know, satellites. Place one of them on their helo. Almost all of these filed missions include stops that aren't on the books. I'm gonna find out where they're going next. Next. O'Brien. You don't need to ask. I'm already looking into what records we have about where evacuees were taken. O'Brien out. <sighs> this just gotta be it. I really hate these what the hell are you guys doing out here? Yeah, I hear ya. Let me guess. I heard you. would rather be in the Belknap Caves? Need even freaker shit? What the hell are we doing?
someone here anyway. Who's there? Got plenty of fuel. I double checked. Yeah. Farewell. <laughs> that was a lot of goddamn freakers. Yeah. A few dozen at least. Hey, we're losing the light. It's fine. We'll be gone before it gets dark. Hey, it's getting late. I can see that. Keep your eyes open. Like ran to you? Shit. I never notice. Anyone else hear that? Yeah. How much longer do you think we got? No Field idea. Two, zero, we're seven, done when the doc says we're done. Checking the traps inside 14 Alpha. I've confirmed a large male subject with a confirmed albinism mutation. Subject has expected lack of skin pigmentation and reddish eyes. Muscle mass appears to be 40% greater than normal infected subjects. What was it you called them? Bleachers. Well, they're real. Well, this is only the third subject we've been able to study. As noted, their strength and ability to absorb damage make them extremely dangerous to approach. We've noted in other field reports that over a thousand have been spotted in this area. Whatever is causing the mutation, it's spread rapidly. Hey, it's getting dark. I'm almost done. What's with the goddamn clouds? It's Oregon. There's always clouds. How you doing? Something's out there. What the hell, O'Brien? What's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. Your boys Sun's were carving out down. the guts of a freak while it was you still alive. They're not my boys. And what do you care? Aren't you a... What do you guys like to call yourselves? Drifters? Don't you kill the infected for money or down. whatever shit you bought? Yes, it was. Yeah, I kill freaks, but I don't carve them open while they're still alive and listen to them scream. Did you get my data? It looks like it might rain. Yeah, I got uh, your data. Yeah. Okay, like I'm uploading it now. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Brian, O'Brien. Oh, ah, God damn it, he did it again. O'Brien, oh, talk to me. Ah, shit, you better be in touch, O'Brien. Oh, Camp full of squ- Waters, you're the assholes who tried to ambush me. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It's a very heavy heart. I report six deaths and two injuries from my camp this week. Not from the usual shit. No. It was those damn black choppers. Let me tell you, everything I've been warning you about is absolutely coming true. Heard those choppers touch down. Wiped out an entire group of men and women who were screaming and begging for mercy. Citizens of this country. And they cut them down. My men returned fire, but... Shit! This Where is it? This won't be the last of them either. Goddamn has got to go. us down. Those of us who dared to survive and mess with their plans. They're killing uh, how the hell us get in? off, so they can finally emerge from their gopher holes. Stay vigilant, people, and keep your eyes on the sky. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies.
Got it. There's another nest. Yeah, let's burn it up. Hey, I came by to see how the lazy bastard's doing. How you doing, mm. booze man? Are you are you tired of laying around yet, boozer? Hey, you can't be in come here, on, Deacon. Come on, hey, come what's on, going Deacon. on? How's he doing? He needs his rest. Don't mess around with me, Addy. I asked you, how is he doing? 
I'm good. I'm good. Not good. Damn, it's cold. The They're not enough. They're never enough. Oh, wait a second. You said that I, I said that we would try. Look, all we can do is wait. Okay. All right. Deacon. No, Deacon. there's. Uh, you Deacon. know what? There's Deacon. something I can do Deacon. about this. Stop. I can get. Stop! What? I know you want to smash something. I see that look yes. in your eyes, but you know what? You go right ahead, but you do it out there. Daddy, go. I can... Look. <sighs> there is nothing else you can do. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Please. Just go home. Go home, Deacon. Deacon, Deacon. So, you gonna make it? Yeah, Schizo, he'll be fine. I just, he needs a few days. So, you gonna make it? Yeah, Schizo, he'll be fine. I just, he needs a few days. Come with me to the lodge. I wanna show you something. I got shit to do. I'm sticking my neck out here. Trust me, you're gonna wanna see this. Just, just listen. A couple of months back, this drifter comes into camp, telling all kind of crazy stories. Said he worked at the airport, was on the ground back in Farewell when shit went down. One night, they were expecting a flight in from Portland, only it never shows up. The plane huh. is doing a haul for the Funny. Red Cross. Yeah. The Red Still Cross? Love it out here. Yeah. You getting it? My husband and I would Medicine, bring the kids every doctor summer. shit, cargo hold Can't full of it. Fish. Maybe even some of those uh, anti uh, whatever the fucks. You know, get Antibiotics. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like that. Can't do it. Just like that. On the east side Where? So this drifter, he's working in the control tower when the plane disappears off the radar. Poof. Now you see it. Now you don't. Right about here. South of Mount Washington. That's what he said. It came down intact. A controlled crash or whatever. The guys got to listen to the pilot bleeding out from a broken pelvis on the ground. Okay, so you haven't sent anyone to find this? Nope. Why not? Because the old man won't have it. Iron Mike, what's... Oh, right. Rippers. <laughs> you catch on quick. Everything west of the Iron Ridge here belongs to Carlos and his merry band of bald-headed freak-alikes. Oh, shit. So you go over there and you get caught? You head north, brother. Otherwise, Iron Mike's treaty with rest and peace goes <laughs> okay, no, no, like no, I get it, I get it. Let me ask you a question. Why are you telling me this? Oh, wait a minute. First off, I'm not telling you shit. You remember that? Second off, you're a goddamn drifter. What am I supposed to do? Follow you around like I'm your little bitch? Keep your ass out of trouble? All right. I have things to do. I get it. You're just a regular stand-up guy, right, Schizo? Just trying to stay alive. Like everybody else. Hey. You do what you gotta do. At the end of the day, that's all we got. Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, Schizo. Keep your radio close. I'll be in touch. Yeah, Schizo, we can always count on you. Shit, now what? Anything's better than standing around this shithole. Uh, what was I doing when the world got sick? <laughs> you wanna know the truth? <laughs> I was doing it, you know, with uh, John. Hey, Deke. Hi. Hey, uh, I gotta ask you. I heard you riding in last night with Ricky, and uh, who's that guy? 
Boozer, or his name is William, or Bill. Uh, I've always just called him Boozer. Don't ask why. I wasn't, I mean, is he gonna be okay? Uh, hey, Deke, be safe. Yo, hey, I saw Boozer the other day. Your friend, right? See you later, man. Good to see you, Deke. Buzz. Okay, okay. I'll top you off. <sighs> this is gonna be Stop bad. by any time. I got this. St. John, you there? Yes, yeah, Schizo, I'm here. Yeah, that business we were talking about, it's gonna take me a bit. I gotta go check on security at the border with Iron Butte. Check on the Rippers there, if you know what I mean. Uh, no, Schizo, I don't got a clue. Why don't you spell it out for me? Nice no, choice. That's... Don't let me regret it. Don't, don't, me. don't make me regret it. No! Help me! Help me, please! Oh. Please! Please help me! Please! Uh, you were saying something? Hey, 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 it's okay. Hey, hey, it's not safe out here in the shit. I know where there's a camp that... Yeah, shit, camp. Oh, yeah, nice bunch what of camp? rapists, Show thieves, me. and murderers. Where? What you doing out here, huh? You looking for your next easy time? Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. I was a goner. Thank you. Thank you, man. I, th I thought it was over. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <gasps> Tell him it was St. John, Deacon. They know who I am. Stay off the main roads. Don't stop. Hey, St. John, you there? Yes, yeah, Schizo, I'm here. Now that business we were talking about, it's gonna take me a bit. I gotta go check on security at the border with Iron Butte. Check on the Rippers there, if you know what I mean. Uh, no, Schizo, I don't got a clue. Why don't you spell it out for me? Nice try, smartass. Remember, I'm going out on a limb here. Don't make me regret it. Anyway, I'll be in touch real soon. In the meantime, make yourself useful around camp. Prove Iron Mike was right for a change. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. Whatever you say, St. John, out. Hey, St. John, where you at, brother? I'm here, Schizo, but I'm not your... God damn brother. Hey, no skin off my nose. Just doing what I can to help you grow. That business we discussed? Let's just say, uh, you should head out that way now. Well, oh, you mean the border with the rivers? Very funny. I meant no such thing. Hmm. <laughs> All I said was, if you were thinking about taking a ride, or what do you drifters like to call it? Ride in the open road? Now would be a good time to do it. You got me? Yeah, Schizo. Like always, I got you. St. John out.
They're hit! Oh. Oh. Moving, huh? Ah. I can use this. Schizo, it's St. John. I'm at the border. You see any of my men around? No, Schizo, it's clear. Look, how much time do I got? Time? Time for what? All I know is I got a card game going on with a few of my guys. A couple of them maybe they should be out on guard duty, but I'm letting that slide. If I had to guess, I'd say we'd be playing all night. So until morning. Got it, Deacon out.
stretch. Slow it down. Jesus Christ. One tough son of a bitch. Antibiotics. You gotta find me some antibiotics. Let's see. Yes, this will work. I gotta get him back to my bike. These will fix him up, and then we ride out of here, head north, like he said. Deacon St. John, you there? Deke, this is Ricky. Over. Damn it, I can't let her know I'm out here. Uh, hey, Ricky, this is Deke. Uh, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Deke, where are you? I need to get... Oh, yeah, sorry, Ricky. I don't have time for this right now. Wait! That's Deacon! Behind him! You! You! Right up the road. Make sure they don't come back. Now! Find it? What was left of it, yeah. What was left of it? Hey, I heard gunshots. What's going on? We had a run-in with a few rippers, but I handled it. You handled it. What is it? Wow. I should have known. You should have known what? Jesus, Ricky, who's running security here? You know, I ask myself that shit every single day. I'm done here. Good. So what are you doing out here? What am I doing, Dick? Addy told me to come and get you. Why? What? Hold on for a second. Is Boozer okay? I don't know. We gotta go. What's wrong with Boozer? All I know is Addy told me to find you. When I asked around, I found out you and Schizo were heading up here. Now I know why. I don't know what you're talking about. The crash site? The medical supplies? It's no big secret, Deke. Iron Mike was negotiating with Carlos, making a deal so our camp would split it with the Rippers. Oh, bullshit! What do you mean? I mean bullshit! I was there. At that cargo hold's already been looted. Tracks from the crash site all head south. Now, I've been dealing with the fucking Rippers for months. You can't trust a goddamn thing they say. Now you're sounding like Schizo. Schizo, he put you up to this. He told you about the crash site. <laughs> yeah, great! Now you're calling me Schizo's errand boy. No? Then how'd you find out about it? A drifter up at Copeland's camp. Like you said, it ain't no big secret. Yeah, right. Well, Schizo's been trying to pick a fight with the Rippers for months. Guess it's lucky you came along to do it for him. So let me ask you something. Can I stop you? Last time I saw you, before last winter, you told Iron Mike to go fuck himself because he wouldn't pay you to bring in survivors. It's not exactly what happened. I remember it pretty clearly. 
Iron Mike said he'd have nothing to do with slavers. Okay, we never forced anyone to come in against their will. How about Tucker? Same thing true for her? I don't know. You ever think when you roll up on someone, starving out in the shit maybe hasn't slept in days, reach the point where they stop running from men like you, you ever think they don't have a choice? But you took them to the hot springs just to say, earn a few camp credits. Everybody's got a choice, Deacon. It takes us a lot, too, bringing in someone who can't work, can't earn their way. You know, you just be glad that Iron Mike isn't like you. William. William, if you can hear me, I need you to stop. Addie, what's going on? Loser. Go and hold him. What the hell are you doing? Listen, what are you doing? Listen, do we need to do arm. this and we need to do this right you now. What? No. Don't you, oh, don't no. you take Deacon. it. No, no, De no, you're not, no way. No, you're not gonna Deacon, do this to him. Deacon, listen to me. The antibiotics will save his life, but nothing on God's earth is gonna save the arm. Now listen, I need you to help me right now, or you can just watch your friend die. Okay. we're losing him. Stay away. Deacon. All right. All right, all right. Come on. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. All right, hey, I just need you to stay Hold with him. me. Hold him there. Okay. Hold him. Deek. Deek. Okay. Hold him down right there. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Ah! Oh, my goodness. Ah! I can it. We're losing No, no, no. He's losing too much blood. You gotta stop. He's losing too much blood. Hand me the gold. Ah! Ah! Oh! No, no, no. Boozer, come on, man. Come on. Hold him! You're okay, pal. Where? Where do I hold him? Just hold him right there. Stop panicking I'm and hold crying. him. <sighs> hey. You did good in there. When I was in high school, I thought, hmm, maybe I should be a mechanical engineer, or should I be a surgeon? I guess I should have been a surgeon. <laughs> oh. And you. Hey, hey, okay. You know, you saved your friend's life today. I don't think he's gonna see it that way. Yeah, well, I think he will. I gotta go and give him his IV drip. And you know what, I don't know where you got all this, and I don't want to know, but it's gonna save a lot of lives, Deacon St. John. A lot of lives. I gotta go help Addie. Mike, just settle down, okay? Deacon! Get out here! <laughs> I heard what you did. I wasn't about to let him die. Mike, let it go. It's done. I know that, God damn it. Boozer gonna live? I don't know. But the Ripper saw you, followed you back. When Carlos finds out about this, there's gonna be the devil to pay. Carlos can go fuck himself. You are writing checks with other men's blood. I hope you're good with that. You did what had to be done. Mike, wait up. Me and a couple of guys burned out a nest a few weeks back. You know, uh, a freaker nest. What do you call them? A female came out. What do you call him? Say, John, I got the gate. A screamer? Deacon, you there? Yeah, 
Yeah, Ricky, what's up? I just wanted to say I, I'm sorry about what happened to Boozer. Yeah, probably not as sorry as he is. Look, Addy wanted you to know... Brian, I'm at one of your beacons. Which one? What do you mean, which one? This Nero radio has a GPS, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. I, uh, okay. Uh, you're at Olali Falls. Okay, good. Uh, keep an eye out. A field op is gonna be there any minute. Oh, Brian out. Oh, Brian! Oh, God damn it. Oh, Brian. Come in. Your friends are here. O'Brien. Oh, I told you, they're not my friends. Okay, head in on foot. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, use one of these tracking devices? The now. No, let's don't lock this down. Time. I'm already tracking this one. Okay, let's get this done. Follow the researcher. She's there to investigate an infected subject, the, the freak, that was tagged in a nearby cave. A cave? You... <laughs> You want me to follow armed Nero goons into a cave? Just stay close to her. While you're in range, I can intercept her data. Well, Brian... I'm still working on the info you want. Don't ask. Then why the hell am I talking to you? Oh, Brian out. Sound off. All good. All good here. Looks good to me. How's the site look? We clear? Yep. Doc, you're good to go. <laughs> Anyone else hear that? Yeah, dark. <laughs> Almost done. Stay close to her. Right, O'Brien. Hey, yeah. I never got that. Easier said than done. What? The whole stage one, stage two, stage three thing. What do you mean? I mean the virus is what it is, right? No, it's more complicated than that. Now let me. Okay. I know I'm a grunt, but before the freak show, I was a biology major. Just give me the gist. Really? Try me. Okay. We don't really know, but blood tests show. The current evidence suggests that the virus spreads through the lymph system, reproducing and attacking cells on a catastrophic scale. Attacking? More precisely, <sighs> expressing a series of normally dormant proto oncogenes into an active doing? state. Cancer? Look at him. Look at all of them. That look like cancer to you? Maybe you're really bad. No. No, no, this is something far worse. What do you mean? This virus is on a mission. The freaks are what they are because the virus wants them that way. What are you saying? I'm saying... Jesus, what am I saying? Terrorism? You're saying this was deliberate? I don't know. Is that it? Is she done? Yeah, okay. Time to get the hell out of Dodge. Brian, come in. I've got the data. Receiving it now. Thank you, Drifter. What the hell is she talking about, O'Brien? About this virus, whatever the hell it is, or what, what it's doing? I want to know what the hell's going on, O'Brien. Why are they out here? What the fuck are you doing? O'Brien! Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. This is gonna get old fast.
Lost Lake to Deacon St. John. Are you there? Uh, yeah, Ricky, what's up? Iron Mike says you volunteered to stick around, do some runs for the camp, but that you refused to work for Schizo. <sighs> yeah, something like that. Well, I can't say I blame you. Okay, well, I guess I'm stuck with you. So stop by the mechanic shop. Uh, we've got a job for you. Yeah, okay. Deacon up. So, uh, a couple months ago, we were up by Crazy Blue. Yeah. Hey, Ricky, you said you had a job for me? Hey, Deke. Yeah. You remember Shane Riley? Everyone called him Red? Red Riley. Yeah, never heard of him, but let me guess. Ginger? What? Red hair? No. It was his boots. He wore these rattlesnake boots dyed with god-awful red color. He made quite the impression. <laughs> no, I bet. Anyway, he used to do runs for us back in the day until one day he decides he didn't like the camp credits we were paying. So he up and kills Lindsay Fuller. Who? Lindsay. Worked supply before Blair. Wait a second, so he killed an unarmed woman? Oh, she was armed. She just wasn't expecting him to shoot her in the face. Will you listen? So Red murders her, cleans out her supply hut, and then takes off before anyone knows what's happened. Got away clean. Oh, that son of a bitch. Until now. He and his men have been spotted up at Camp Pioneer. You don't gotta ask. I, uh, I got this thing about, um... About killing unarmed women. I know. So I knew you'd want to handle it. Yeah, like I said, I got this covered. Um, what else can you tell me about him? Not much. Oh, wait. He chews tobacco. I heard he was such an addict that he rounds up cigarette butts... Takes out the tobacco and chews that. Well, that's disgusting. So now I got two reasons to kill him. Yeah, but be careful, Deke. Deacon St. John, how have you been? Hey, Buzz. Don't beat her up too bad. I'm here if you need me, man. Dick and St. John, the Lost Lake Infirmary. Come back. Dick. Hey. Uh, feeling a little out of it, you know. You okay? What's going on? Boozer. Hey. Uh, nothing. I, uh, got tired of listening to the radio free Oregon. Generally takes so much of his truth or bullshit, you know? Dick, uh, Ad Addie told me how I'd be dead if it weren't for you. Hey, Ricky, I'm a camp pioneer, and it is a goddamn war zone. What's going on? Are any of our guys there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Sounds like they're clearing freaks. Uh, don't worry. I'll find this guy. Deacon out. Uh, how'd we do? <laughs> We're okay. <laughs> yeah!
All right, Red, where the hell are you? <clears throat> newts. Oh, wow, well, they're killing newts. Bounties. Okay, what's this? Okay, yes, yes, cigarette butts, yes. Boot prints. Freaks! Freaks! Ah, uh, these oh, look like uh, the kind of freaks that some fancy cowboy oh. was We didn't lose too many. Good. Good. Motherfucker. More boot prints. Yeah, this way. Oh, good. You're in. Jesus. Well, if you gotta go, you gotta go. Something's wrong. I saw something. What are you talking about? Gotcha, stupid. <laughs>
got someone at the gate. Hey, it's Deacon. Hey, hey, Ricky, I got him. Deacon, what a relief. Lindsay has some folks she was close to. I'll let him know. Yeah, okay. I'll see you around, Ricky. Deke, I've been uh, thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been out to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on, see if you can keep up. Okay, let's go. I got marsh duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? Been a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. My old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Sounds like we got a couple. Freaks stuck in the mud, I mean. work. I think Schizo's just found a new man for the job. You know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, we spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there. And there's way more than that. Riddled all over these parts. Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway. We gotta be quiet. All right, get down, get down. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <clears throat> this is why you brought me out here? I smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> okay. Come on, follow me. Wait, wait, wait. Follow him. Where the hell are we going? You'll see. Come on. Don't get too close. Stay down. Just what the hell are we doing, Deke? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah, in July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Boozer, too. Ricky, and Schizo, a few others. How many freaks you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these hordes. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. You think they're coming up from California? 
Highway's closed off. No one's been south of the Sentium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. Well, you got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. <clears throat> yeah, we don't, you don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through, maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? This is how. I'll be goddamn. Yeah. They stay in there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So what are you thinking that we... Yep. We blow it the hell up. Stick a dynamite there, there, and there. We bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and others stop coming. All right. All right. You got my attention. Okay. Come on. Let's head back. All right. My knees are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. Yeah, okay. Tell me. When does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? Not exactly. And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do, where they sleep? A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. And you saw one, still flying. I followed them. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive, you know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that, while we're out here starving, fighting to stay alive. I followed them up to the Grotto Caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They have motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks use the cave during the day, and, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all use these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blow up those caves, maybe we have a few less to deal with.
Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but... A job like that, it's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. You said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer? This is how we do it. <sighs> All right. All right, look. There's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. St. John. You were supposed to be up at the farm an hour ago. My guy said he's got a shovel waiting for you. Yeah, Schizo, about that, I'm busy. See, Iron Mike and I, we're just heading out on a run. You and Iron Mike? You'll get your ass up that way today. Or you and your gimp boyfriend are gonna find yourselves out in the shit. You hear me? Without a goddamn battle. Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. St. John out. You need something, Dick? Sorry, just wandering around. My first one. You ready? Where are we headed? This time you're gonna have to trust me. Okay, where are we going? You know what they used to mine all around these parts? Yeah, uh, mercury or something. That's right, cinnabar. The extracted mercury from cinnabar. Folks back east think it was gold mines out here and silver. Not so. Back in the early 1900s, cinnabar was worth more than gold. To operate the mine, you need TNT for expansion, blowing out new tunnels, clearing cave-ins, that sort of shit. And to own TNT, you had to register with the county, keep copies of the keys to all your lockboxes with the commissioner. Wait, the county courthouse? Where the hell is that? Thought you knew. It's in the old federal building. The old federal building? The one in Sherman's camp? Jesus, Mike. What the hell? You told me... You, you told me that you were never setting foot in that place again. Did I? I don't recall. You were drunk right after Joe was killed. Did I tell you why? Here! Turn no. right here! This is it! Mike, the place is gonna be crawling. I don't, I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, weather holds will be safe enough. All right. That there? It's the old federal building. That's where we're headed. Let's not go looking for trouble. Stay out of the buildings. Come on, we gotta head over this way. Where are we headed? Just follow me. Key will be on the commissioner. And, and you know where he is? <laughs> where his body is? Yeah, I think I do. You heard what happened here? Yeah. Everybody got wiped out, man, woman, and child. Only a few got out, and, and uh, you, you were one of them, right? Only two got out. Me and Nora. But it wasn't the freaks that took us out. What do you mean? Here. in. The ammo was gone. Two sides called a truce. A meeting. Right here. Oh, we knew what was coming. We knew what was coming and we were prepared. The fight didn't last long. But it was bad. 
They had ammunition left after all, and... Well, they... Oh, hell, you can see what they did. Like I said... Two people walked out of this town after all was said and done. And some days... I wish to hell one of them wasn't me. Commissioner's over there in the bean counter suit. Go get the key so we can get the hell out of here. You didn't give a damn about sealing the caves. You brought me here be... Because you, you brought me here because you wanted me to see this. Not true. All right, you got the key. We're gonna go get the maps to those mines, just like I said, and we're gonna get more than enough TNT to seal every cave in the valley. Bullshit. You are right about one thing. I'm not sorry you've seen it. Not following you, Mike. I am talking about the war that's coming. With the Rippers. The one that Schizo so hot for. You think he cares how many die on either side? Never mind. Come on, tight. let's get this done. Here's the door. Place is locked up tight. Come on. I gotta find a way upstairs. Smells like something died in here. Dudes. Okay. All right, this is it. Now we got maps to every mine in the county showing where they stored their dynamite. Okay, come on. You hear that? Yeah. Were well, you expecting anyone? Nope. Do you have my back here? Hey, I don't like starting trouble, but I'll finish it if I have to. Stay behind me. Hey, I can take care of myself. I'm not saying you can't, but remember the last time that we were out in the shit. Yeah, like I said, I'm staying behind you. Behind you. Ah, reload. Think you're all that? Boy, Stay down. On. I got this. Freaks. They're bringing the whole goddamn town down on us. Freaks. You worry you're all gonna die? Damn it. Kill him now. I got this. They're dead.
Jesus, what a mess. Now you know why no one goes into Sherman's camp. Eddie finds out you're out here risking your ass like this, she's gonna be pissed. Now how would she find out about something like that? Not from me. So about the Rippers, why you wanted me to see that shit? No, Deke. I always saw a bit of myself in you. Back in the day. How's that? You don't give a shit. Oh, you care about your friend. Don't want to see him die, but me? Any other goddamn person on the planet? I don't think so. Caring will just get you killed. Yeah, that's right. The thing is, not caring will get you killed just as easy. The good folks of Sherman Camp did was stop caring about anyone but themselves and their own. Easy to kill a man when he's just some piece of meat standing between you and what you need. Schizo wants to kill Rippers, because he don't think they're human anymore. They don't count. They're standing in the way of what he wants. Well, I don't buy into that shit. You know, Schizo, he, uh, he wonders why I'm a pacifist. That's, you know, that's what he likes to call me. He, uh, he thinks I'm gonna get everybody killed. Well, are you, Mike? Are you gonna get everyone killed? Freaks aren't gonna be around forever. Now, when they're gone, we're gonna need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look. Here's the thing, Deke. I'm not going out of my way to kill any of them. I've had my share of killing. Even if Carlos comes for you? My truce will hold. You can bet on that. truce ain't gonna hold. Yeah, for once I agree with Schizo. The Rippers, they ain't human. Not anymore. Don't beat her up too bad. Start with this thing. No idea how to fix it. See you later, Deke. Boozer's holding up. I guess I should uh, go check on him. Hope he's awake. Marauder Patrol, shit! Mike. Ah. Egan St. John, this is Lost Lake. Come in. Yeah, Mike, this is Deke. Heard you brought in Shane Riley, but when I went to the shack to question him, he wasn't there. Uh, yeah, uh, about that, Mike. I tried to bring him in. I really did, but he, uh, well, put up a hell of a fight. So he didn't leave me much choice, Mike. He didn't. Uh, you remember what I said about how we do things around here? Yeah, yeah, Mike, I remember. Now, where is it? God damn it. It's gotta be close.
O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, uh, St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh. That's why I'm here. St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. Okay, yeah, I get I it. I need the area secured now. And this time, right, I need you to plant some of those trackers on their helo. Their chopper. I know what okay, a helo is, O'Brien. And you better have something for me. I got someone I trust working on it. We'll know soon enough. Oh, okay. Okay, I gotta place a tracker on that chopper. All good here. Come on, guys, just gotta clear out. You're sure we're locked down. Can't let them see me. So what the hell are you boys doing here, huh? Figured you'd stop and fill up at the old Peltro gas well. station. That was a In case you didn't see it, sign says gas yeah. low. A few dozen but no, nah, I'm guessing you guys don't got that problem, do you? Jesus, this is taking forever. It's not so bad. No, 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 they can't. Those at no, 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 Forks, can't hide in here, they Pioneer see Cemetery, The Cascade Highway Lumber Site, the truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What, what was that called huh. again? Oh, crazy willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. The crazy willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. Why do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know... Buildings, structures, cabins, things like that. We have a theory that... I mean, we never see them where wild animals would build them. In trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. Okay, you finished? I'm sorry. The guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus, man. Just asking. I see things too, you know. I wasn't always a grunt, you know. Can I continue? Sure. South of Belknap Crater. Some areas of the Belknap Wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at... Salome Hot Springs. Oh, yes. Salome. On Herod's birthday, she danced before them, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. She said, give me the head of John the Baptist, and the king was struck sad. Quite the name for a resort. Oh, shit. Again, some things about the old world I don't miss. Upload complete? Yeah. The Bible? Now they're reciting Bible verses? That must be nice, flying all over hell and gone and finding time to read. Jesus, O'Brien. Done. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here before one of them spots me. St. John, this is Lost Lake. Come in. Yeah, Mike, this is Deke. Heard you brought in Shane Riley, but when I went to the shack to question him, he wasn't there. Uh, yeah, uh, about that, Mike. I tried to bring him in. I really did, but he, uh, well, he put up a hell of a fight. So he didn't leave me much choice, Mike. He didn't. Uh, remember what I said about how we do things around here? Yeah, yeah, Mike, I remember. Lost Lake out. Thanks, Ron. O'Brien. 
Brian, are you there? I can't talk right now. I'll be on this channel later. Out. Brian, oh, God damn it. I'm getting tired of being your errand boy, O'Brien. A few weeks back, we were riding west along the old Belknap Road. How's it going, brother? No, Deke. I don't know about you, but uh, I could use a hand. Uh, <laughs> you lay down. Yes, ma'am. He can't have visitors uh, just yet, but uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though. Um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny. William, lay down. <laughs> okay. I could play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's going to be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I got to go take care Deacon, of some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. <laughs> Seems like he's uh, getting better. Captain Corey! Get Captain Corey! J just radio him, damn it! The outpost is under attack! Corporal, we gotta move out! We gotta move out! Corporal, and more coming! Corporal! Militia? What the hell? You gotta hurry. Ricky, what's going on? That guy we've been looking for, Eric Lynch, who, who murdered Campbell and Reed at the farm. Lynch, man. Son of a bitch. You know where he is? Yes, uh, yeah. He's on the north shore at the old boat launch. Skizzle wanted to go after him, but Iron Mike said to get you. I'll get to him. Thanks, Deke. Hurry.
Hey, Deke. Can you stop by? Ricky, yeah, I'll bet you got a job for me. Uh, okay. I'll stop by. Deacon up. Deke, we need him alive. Alive? Oh, come on. No, why? Before he ran, he stole two bags of seed. Deke, we need those seeds. Ah, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more complicated, but f okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. Oh, shit, there he is. Lynch man, come on! No, oh, no, you're not gonna get away. You're not taking me alive! You hear me, Shake John? How's it going, Lynch man? What, is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you! Thought you just killed a couple guys right off with our shit? Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <laughs> Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds, maybe they'll just shoot you, you know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about! Okay, man, suit yourself. Hey, Ricky, I got him. And I'll uh, send you his position. Send someone out here to pick him up. Does he have the seeds on his bike? No, no, I didn't see him. All right. We'll bring him in. Lost Lake out. See you, Lynch man. Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah. There's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do. Here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo. He can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. And when you get back, you come find me. You coming? Where? Doesn't matter. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes? Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. <laughs> Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? See, a few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down. Shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God. Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but the Transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, 
check out the hydro dam just to see why it shut down. Oh no, riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. Okay, good. I'm gonna go grab some of the guys nope. that can rut. No, you're not. Now we're going in quiet. If we run into Copeland's men, I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? That means more attention. No, uh-uh, no, we're doing this my way. Shit. Fine, okay, let's go. Look, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, I hit me in infirmary. Would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh. From the look on your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you. Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was 100 miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? Grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. The big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Willamette Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, you and Addy. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. I just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. Me and Addie? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You've never thanked me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where did you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. And to be honest, I, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? Uh, Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is. But we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves, keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's gonna track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. Well, I'm riding with you now, aren't I? Jesus. You just wanted out of marsh duty. Okay, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky, nothing happened. He didn't say anything? Just, no. No, nothing happened. And no, Iron Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy. All right, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. Well, looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. Where are you going? Down here. Uh. 
scrap. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? What? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Oh. What happened there? What? Oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up would keep the hordes from coming in. Uh, hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? Well, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Hmm. All right, come on, I want to check something out. Come here, touch this. What? Come on. Okay. You... Hmm. you feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. Up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the penstock. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad? Brothers? No. Come on, over here. All right, let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. Okay. Oh, it's now or never, let's go. Yeah, it's, it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it though. Run back down to the turbine. Just see if it's vibrating at all. Huh, nothing. Wait a second. There it is. Yep, that did it. Ha <laughs> ha. You feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the transformers. So, uh, y your dad and your brothers, what happened to them? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago.
Hmm. But these are the ones feeding the lines going south. All right, any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? All right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. A few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? God, he's a peeping Tom. I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Addie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use this capital. Here, boost me up. Okay. Okay, got it. Here, I got the gate. Come on, junction room's right around here. Oh, God, what is that smell? Freaker nests. From the smell of it, more than a couple. Stay close. How many Molotovs you got with you? Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. God, it's been a while, but I remember. Light her up. Light her up. Ready? Oh, yeah. You good? Yeah. They really don't like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. Power to the people. <laughs> All right. Let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. OK. Down. <laughs> yes. Houston, we have power. Nice work. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door and I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Deep. Come on. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. You just, um, you never mentioned him before, so, um, you know, I'm sorry if I, if it's, uh, something you didn't want to talk about. Oh, it's fine. In fact, it reminded me of something I wanted to ask you, back when we were riding together. Okay, Ricky. Ricky. Hey, you never asked, uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. <laughs> Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. God, Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together. 
for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> Dee, come on. Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. <clears throat> it was snowing outside, and Boozer was snoring. Remember how he used to snore? I swear I thought <laughs> he was going to bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Yeah, well, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> you thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did, and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, Dee. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here. We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward. Okay, not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Get low! We're on the path! Find them! Are you sure it's them? I saw the mark on his back! We're from Lost Lake We're Camp! Up. Iron Mike has Red a out. treaty! Hey. Well, that was a really good idea. You wanna try that again? Yes. Stay put and keep your head down. Yeah? How long have you been a camper? So shit. Well, you assholes are kind of far from home, aren't you? God damn it. What the hell are they doing? No, no, no. no. Reload! Why don't you drag your asses back to Iron Butte and find the shithole you crawled out from? They are. Listen to me. We're from Lost Lake. We have a tree. What? Lost. Yeah. Far north, aren't you? Huh? You don't want to get too far away from Carlos, do you? Just leave you here to bleed out, huh? Make all the freaks out here happy, yeah? Huh? Isn't that what you want? Show him the path. You can all just go straight to hell. Oh yeah, nice and low down there for you, huh? Show him the path. I think that's the last of them. Oh, Jesus. Maybe you're right. I've seen rippers before, but not like that. What the hell are they amped up on? No idea. Back in the day, dealt with a few tweakers who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other shit is. Oh, uh, bath salts. Remember? That was becoming a thing before everything went down. Right, yeah. Come on, let's see if they messed up our bikes. I think that Iron Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick. Lisa? What? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with, with the rippers before you stole the antibiotics? Well, I... I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did, ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on, let's go. Okay, we have to follow the line south. Check the transformers. Make sure they're all good. Okay, I'm following you. Could I stop you? How'd you end up in the MC? It's a long story. We 
got a long ride. Okay, I, I was a member of the 10th Mountain, part of a forward unit working with the Northern Alliance. Shit, I didn't know you were in the army. Why were... You want to hear this or not? Sorry. We were advancing on Mazari Sharif. We got ambushed by a group of Taliban heading the other way, and they were in flatbed trucks decked out with ZU-23s, modified anti-aircraft guns. Big guns. Yeah, really big fucking guns. Our Humvee exploded, went over a cliff right into the Hari. You know how hard it is to drown in Afghanistan? It's hard. The place is one giant goddamn desert. Anyway, I was thrown clear, and when I came to, the, the Humvee was upside down in the river. I swam out to see if anyone survived. I, uh, I pulled a body back to shore, and I did that seven more times. And by the, by the time I pulled in Tanner, my Sarge, I was done. And when I came home, I don't know, I, uh, I bought a bike, spent a couple of years on the road, just moving from place to place, and, um... To farewell? You grew up around here, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, so... By the time I finally settled down, I got a job at a bike shop run by this by this old guy named Jack. And uh, he ran the club. The, uh, the, well, the press. That's what we used to call him. And he patched me in himself. Wait, Jack. I remember Boozer talking about him. He was in prison or something. Some bad shit went down, and, and he ended up taking the rap for the club. Sounds like you guys were pretty tight. Oh, shit. There had to be one, right? Let's come back in the morning. You can get whatever tools you need, and we'll finish it up then. There will be fewer freaks out. So no hot shower tonight? Okay. But I want to show you something first. Well, Ricky, it's been a long day. Come on, you know a lot about the freaks. I just want to show you something you might not know. Come on, we're out here anyway. Shit, okay. Let's go. Can I ask you something? God, like I said before, could I stop you? Why are you still flying colors? I don't know what you mean. I mean, why do you still wear the cuts? You and Boozer, it's, it's not like you're trying to recruit anymore or, or staking out territory. No. A couple of guys I worked with at the plant wore colors on the weekend. I asked them about it once. They said they wore them as a way of saying, fuck you, to, I don't know, c cops, authority, the government. So what are you rebelling against? Whatever's left. Look, we wear them because we wear them. What do you want? I mean, no idea about Boozer, but I ain't trying to say shit. It's just... Cut. That's who I am. I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life, but joining the MC, well... Ricky. What are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before, and hordes. I know. Not like this. What the fuck? Watch. I've come out here a few times to see them. They stay in those old machine buildings, and they come out every night like someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and what? Hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. One time I got way too close, and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. Okay. Okay, anyway, the other day, I, uh... I saw something you won't believe! Really? You wanna talk? Alright, let's hear it. Wait, let me guess. You saw a Nero helicopter. Wait, uh... How did you know about that? They've been spotted a few times, all over Lost Lake. Shit. Why do you care? It's not like they're here to help us. From the sound of it, they shoot on sight. I don't care. Oh, sounded like you did.
Hey, where the hell have you been all day? Nice to see you too. Yeah, well, Schizo said you and Deacon took off and I was worried. Addy, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Deacon, thank you. Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that transformer. I'll be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no, what is your problem? I just said I'm tired, that's it. Okay, I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it? I worked at the Humane Society, had a small office and a dog pen outside of Sisters. Had maybe a hundred dogs. Hey, Ricky, you there? I'm, uh, I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'm gonna need you to cover for me. Skiz is gonna wonder why I'm not out on marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey, Deke. What's up? Boozer's, uh, hell. I don't know. He's, he's depressed or something. Talk to Addy. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So, what are you gonna do? Well, uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain, get his bike, bring it back. That's a long way to go on foot. I'll figure something out. Are, are you the cover for me or what? Yeah. Deacon out. One down. Oh, no, you How many don't. What do you think now, huh? Somebody shoot them. Send some men to go out and get him. Something under this. So, uh, what, what hey, were you saying? Come on out! Yeah, he's come a lot more than that. No, it over. See if we can. Oh. Uh, you were saying something? Yeah, he's a lot more cooperative all of a sudden. Evidently, our guys got to him just before a swarm. They offered to leave him where he was if you didn't tell him where the seeds were. Ah, oh, so weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I really would have just left him there to rot. Yeah, you know what Iron Mike would say about that? Yeah, 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 I know. See you, Ricky. Well, we look like the type to have an underground bunker. Yeah? There it is. Down the hatch. Deke, heard you tracked down Eric Lynch. Oh, yeah, Mike. I found him. I want to thank you for not killing the man. We're going to have a trial. He'll get a chance to tell his side of it. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, too bad Campbell and Reed aren't allowed to tell their side. Hey, we got folks that'll be there, speaking on their behalf. And we got witnesses. It's the way we do things, Deke. Why don't you give them to me for five minutes? You'll have a confession. Thanks. We got it covered. Iron Mike out. Like Boozer says, I hear a bunk call.
I was ready to go back at it. <clears throat> How's the arm? You know, it's about 50% there. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't like it. Seriously, though, it's like I'm still I think they call that phantom pain. Yeah, yeah, that's what Addy said. It sucks. I feel pain in my finger joints, you know? Like, after a long ride, your hand gets cupped up. O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You know the drill. O'Brien out. Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing. I told you, there are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. I got too close, I almost got caught. You know what? I don't give a shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. Let me know when it's clear. Whitaker, I've got someone working on it. It's... it's gonna take time. I guess you have to be patient. Yeah? Well, not like I got a lot of choice here, do I? This research group isn't part of my unit, so I can't track them after this op. I need you to... Place a tracker on their chopper. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, and you want me to spy on the guy wearing the white spacesuit? Yeah, anything else? Yeah, try not to get your ass shot off. Your, uh, com was still open before. Another subject exhibiting the morphology of stage 2 infection. Tendons in the hands and fingers are less constricted, fingernails less claw-like, as if recently chewed. Additionally, the subject is wearing jewelry and clothing less tattered and worn than... Hey, sorry. Couldn't help overhearing. Ah, the gun-toting biology major. Yeah, something like that. So, it's wearing jewelry. What's the significance of that? These things have been out here for two years, scratching and clawing at us and each other. Yeah. Try putting a gold watch on a baboon for two years. Set it loose in the wild and see what happens to it. Okay, okay, I get your point. This watch looks new. Really? So... So, that means this subject has either been taking care of it, or has recently... Recently put it on. Shit, I thought they were all, you know... That shit crazy? Yeah, they are, but... Just as some late-stage dementia patients could still have moments of lucidity, victims of stage 2 virus infections seem to retain some level of vestigial memory. Oh, shit. 
No shit. Look at its clothes. They're almost clean, right? I mean, not clean, but most freaks are so caked with shit and piss. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah, well, again, put a pair of pants on a baboon for two years. Jesus. You ever wonder why there's so many more freaks in areas where people used to live? I never thought about it. But yeah, I guess they do. Yeah, we think there might still be something buried deep in their massively deformed heads that remembers what they once were. Jesus, you don't think they're aware of it? No, no, we've done the CT scans. They might as well be brain dead in human terms. What's that mean? Well, what it means is that some freaks get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, and then they head out the door for a fun day of eating us and shitting themselves. Why the hell are these guys wasting their time with this shit? <sighs> Hope you got all that, O'Brien. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here. O'Brien, are you there? O'Brien! Hold on. What was that? Yeah, I'm here. I planted your tracking device and I got your data. What you told? The researcher, were they male or female? What? What? Why? Was it a man or a woman? Uh, it was a woman and... No, I didn't catch your name. How's the arm? You know, about 50% there. <laughs> Sorry, a little amputee over there. Seriously though, it's like I can still feel my right hand, you know? Yeah, I think they call that phantom pain. Yeah, yeah, that's what Addy's saying. It fucking sucks. I feel pain in my fucking joints, you know? Like, I don't know if right, I can I want to flex it and... Anyway, I, I gotta get going. Skizzle's got me on farm duty. Gotta see if I can uh, pay off these damn pain meds that Addy has me on. Later. Later. Drifter bike. Someone's here. <laughs> Something's going on. Ah! That charge him! Shit, shit! Booster, are you there? Hey, I brought you something. Wait, what the fuck? You you went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Deke. Hey, I mean, I mostly 
that it, you know, in case I need parts, it's not like your gimp ass is gonna need them. Shit. Thanks, brother. That's the one thing I miss. Riding on the open road. Addie just wanted me to tell you that she paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic shop. Oh, wait, what? You're welcome, Deke. Ricky out. <laughs> Got good shit in stock today. I know him. Let Thank him you. in. You there? Yeah, Addie, what's up? Can you stop by the infirmary when you get a chance? Anything wrong? No, I just need to talk to you. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Hey, how's it going? Hey, you Manny. I'll refuel you nice and good. Okay, man. I was Don't be a stranger, at the Deacon. Hey, school today. Everyone Damon. Sick and died. Hey, you can haven't seen you right. around much lately. I mean, I was teaching Thought maybe you'd gone up north without me. Jesse, no, no, we have. Hey, Deke. Good to nah, see you, Deke. Never mind. Hey, Damon. He just stay home. Look right. right. Hey, welcome back. Deke, a group of men rode in, shot up the gate, and when we wouldn't let them in, they rode off. Ah, shit. Which direction? Uh, they headed west, but they didn't go far. They set up camp just north of Eden Hill. I think they might be planning another attack, so I need you to take a look. <sighs> okay, right. Yeah, I'll handle it. Thanks, Deke. St. John, this is Mark Copeland at Deacon St. John. Hey, Cope, what's up? Just checking in. A couple of my men were up to the top of O'Leary Mountain the other day. Said they found a safe house set up in an old Forest Service watchtower. Is that right? Yes, sir, that's what I'm told. They said it was abandoned, but funny thing. Whoever lived there left behind a bike. In good shape, too, by the sound of it. Really? Indeed. That's not the funny thing. The funny thing is they went back up there today to pick... Okay, Ricky, I'm near Eden Hill. Yeah, Drifter's still here. Can you handle it? Well, I guess we'll know soon enough. Deacon out. Let's 
do this, huh? All right, gentlemen, if I can just swing by, shoot up the place. Nah, I just think it's time for you to move along. Come on, is that all you got? Come on, is that all you got? Oh, come on, you could do better than that. How many you got left? Get in there. You gotta stop moving somewhere. Yeah. Oh, is that it? No. Oh shit, one more. St. John. This is Mark Copeland at Deacon St. John. Hey, Cope. What's up? Just checking in. Uh, a couple of my men were up to the top uh, of Leary Mountain uh, the other day. They said they found a safe house set up in an old Forest Service watchtower. Is that right? Yes, sir. That's what I'm told. They said it was abandoned, but funny thing. Whoever lived there left behind a bike. Good shape, too, by the sound of it. Really? Indeed. That's not the funny thing. The funny thing is they went back up there today to pick it up, but Mike was gone. Now, ain't that a hit scratcher? Look, Cope, this is all really fascinating, but, uh... Now, hold on. Here's the fascinating part. They swear that old bike, well, it looked a lot like the one Boozer used to ride. Okay, so let me get this straight, Cope. You guys went up to O'Leary Mountain. You found what you thought was Boozer's bike. And the first thing you thought of was, hey, why don't we just go back and steal it? Salvage, Deke. Salvage. But no, that was my second thought. My first was, whatever happened to old Boozer? Then he says he hasn't seen him. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Salvage, Deke. Salvage. But no, that was my second thought. My first was, whatever happened to old Boozer? Manny says he hasn't seen him around for some time. I don't know, Cope. Next time I see him, I'll let him know how much you miss him. St. John out! Hey, Deacon, you got a second? How's William? I haven't seen him lately. How's Boozer? How the hell are any of us? He's surviving. Yeah, well, then he's doing better than most. Yeah. Listen, you need to keep an eye on him. What do you mean? Well, losing an arm is a big adjustment. He's given up the life he had. <sighs> Wasn't much of a life, Addy. I... You're his friend. The only one he's got. Boozer's fine. He'll live anyway. Hey, Deke, let me get the game. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Many of you probably don't remember the Cold War. But living through it 
was a special kind of hell. Every time you heard a plane flying overhead, you think for sure that this is it. That's the one coming to drop the big one on us. And we live through the Red Scare. The man didn't know if his neighbor was an American who bled red, white, and blue. Or a communist red to the bone. It made it hard to trust. My father, God rest him, taught me the only way to be safe in dark times was to go underground. We built my first bunker with him. But we couldn't build it out in the backyard, with the neighbors spying. Had to go out into the woods, ways from the road, where no one would happen upon it. With a bunker, you knew that if the country went to hell in a handbasket, you could open that manhole cover, climb down the ladder, and you'd be safe. With your radio, and your horn of food and ammo. Things haven't changed. Better to dig a bunker than an early grave. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Moving back. Don't back. believe the lies. <laughs> hey, open up. Glad you're still breathing. Hey, Adik, hold on. Hey, booze man. How's it work? I'm having a blast. Love it here. Later. Huh. Found an old fishing lure. Wonder how they <coughs> operate in here. Someone's here. Hey! This is Radio Pete. Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. About a month before shit I went down, I wrote in my newsletter, Farewell Freedom. Store a year... Nope! Not in the mood. Uh, what was I doing when the world got sick? <laughs> you wanna know the truth? Okay, that's your best bet. Right there. I don't know about that, Mike. We lost people in there before. We, lo we lost wh who? When? A few weeks back. Torres and Evans, looking for supplies. I told you that no, they No, were... goddammit, you didn't! I told you that we went after them, but the entrance uh... was caved in. Their bikes were outside, but the place was crawling, do you remember? I don't even know if they made it inside. What's the trouble? Ah, uh, we just... We're going over the papers, the ones from Sherman's camp. Mm -hmm. There's a mine that was getting ready to expand. Sure, and there's probably explosives stored on site. Yeah. Except now Schizo tells me we may have lost two men on the inside. Hey, I never said that, Mike. Well, look, I, just, give me the map, I'll go get the explosives, and Mike, I'll get people will. inside. What the hell is going look, you on? You may trust him, Mike, but I don't. Tell me. How much is Tucker paying for a box of TNT these you know, days, huh? You hold on. He's doing his part. Oh, really? He's doing what? Besides breaking the treaty with the Rippers, skipping work, staying out with Ricky all day? What's he been doing, huh? What you been doing, huh? Sitting on your ass while everyone does all the work. I keep this camp safe. Mm. From marauders, thieves, and drifters. Don't you knock it off. Knock it off! Hey, you don't trust him? You go with him. You remember some- Both of you, remember, we are all part of the same camp. That's fine. Fine by me. In the morning, we'll take our bikes and we'll go. We'll go right now. <laughs> now. Yeah. Now. In the middle of the night. Sure. 
You know, it's dark out. There'll be less freaks inside the mine. Oh, that's right. Oh, since you've been skipping work, you've been chasing that black choppers, and now you're some kind of freak expert. Don't need it? to be a fucking expert to know that the freaks come out at night. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah? come on, enough already! Okay. Okay. You want to go now? We'll go now. But I'll hold on to this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hey, look, he's got his issues, just like everybody else does. But he does his job. <laughs> Tell that to Torres and Evans. Deke, I guess I'm just making sure he's not gonna have some kind of accident down in that <laughs> mine. Oh, Jesus, Mike, who do you think I am? I'm still trying to figure that out. See you when you get back. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <sighs> <sighs> Where are we going? Lucky lad, know where it is? Yeah. <clears throat> I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, try to keep up. Deacon, you there? This is Lost Lake Camp, over. Yeah, Ricky, what's up? I stopped by to see you. Obviously, you're not there. Schizo and I are on a run for Iron Mike. I'll be back by morning, what's up? I just wanted to see when we could get out and fix that transformer. <laughs> that hot shower still calling your name? Something like that. <laughs> we'll be back by morning. Talk then. Deacon out. Thought you were gonna be waiting for me. I got sidetracked. So these belong to Mike's men? My men? But yeah, Torres and Evans. They weren't drifters, but they'd been out in the shit a few times. I thought they could handle it. I guess you were wrong. Shit's already been parted out. Goddamn scavengers everywhere. It's because why wouldn't you bring their shit back with you when you were out here looking for them? Because there were too many freaks. <laughs> That's why. Like them. Only a lot more. Come on. And Mike said the explosives are kept locked in strong boxes. Should be a set of spare keys somewhere inside the office. Fucking notes. God, I hate those little suckers. We finally agree on something. Hey, over here. And I think I can boost you onto this roof. Ready? Yep. Up you go! Got it! Okay! Bounty. not gonna open.
That's all of them. You okay? <laughs> yeah. Thanks for asking. I guess not. Schizo! I got him. Great, great. Look around. Uh, see if you can find some flare. What? Wait a second. You didn't bring a flashlight? Yeah, but the batteries are dead. Shit's getting hard to find these days. At least ones that have any juice left. Flares. Schizo! I found a box of flares. Yeah, yeah, see if you can force open the door. I'll come in and grab them. Flares are over here. Yeah. Give me the keys. What, you mean like these keys? Yeah, hand them over. Hey, 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 I got an idea. How about you lead us to the strong boxes, I'll unlock them. You got a problem with that? No problem. Just don't lose them. Mm. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna keep that in mind. I got them. Let's head in. Right behind you. See? It's just like I said. Looks like we should be able to squeeze in through here. Give me a hand. Here, push. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. There. Wedge it against that boulder. Oh, got it. There. <sighs> Looks stable to you. Stable enough. Remember, keep your gun holstered. I thought you said it was gonna be clear. I never said that, and I mean it. If there are any freaks in here, one shot, we'll bring them right down on our heads. I heard you already. Jesus. Okay, first expansion area is right off the main shaft. Come on this way. Right behind you. Ah, shit, we're not getting none of that. Look at the map. Is there another tunnel? A ventilation shaft? Map shows they started a connecting tunnel here. Looks like it was unstable, so they boarded it up. Where? Uh, back this way. Here? Yeah. Yeah, looks like they boarded it up. Well, this doesn't look exactly stable. I thought I already said that. All I got is this. You got the flashlight. You had the honors. There's a reason they never completed any of this expansion work. I mean, it seems like one stick of dynamite will bring this whole place down on our heads. Uh, doesn't seem so bad. Oh. <sighs> 
<coughs> you all right? And no broken bones. Jesus. Oh, that was close. Yeah. Well, we're committed to this shit now. Come on. This way. What are you doing? What's it look like? I'm dropping flares. Why? You got the map. This thing's a fucking maze. Gonna need help knowing which tunnels we checked. We go left here. Got it. Come here. What? Easier, man. Yeah. Every time I saw Torres, he had on this same damn vest. I kept telling him, wearing bright orange is gonna get you killed, bro. I guess it didn't matter in here. His buddy lost the arm, blood out, and kept Torres fed for a week. You ever resort to that? A few lines I haven't crossed, that's one of them. Yeah. Me, uh... Stand back. I'm not leaving him for the freaks. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. Come on, we can squeeze through here. Following you. That's a tight squeeze. You got this? Who sits on his ass all day in the camp? Oh, very funny. Come on. Okay, the first expansion area should be around this corner. If you're reading the map right. I'm reading it right. See? You still got the keys? Yeah, right here. <clears throat> Nothing. It's empty. Shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you not believe me? Sure, I believed you. Come on. Maybe they put them all in one place. Let's go check the other one. This way. Let's double back. Make sure we didn't miss any side tunnels. Ah! Excuse me. Hold, hold up, hold up. This doesn't seem right. What? What are you talking about? This isn't the way that we came in. What? <laughs> you think these flares got up and moved themselves? Yeah, maybe I got turned around. Oh, now, wait a minute, God damn it! Th this is the main tunnel. What? It's the, it's the main tunnel, you see the tracks? We weren't following any tracks on our way in. What the hell? But, but these are my flares, damn it. How did the... Oh, someone's fucking with us. Come on, this way. Hold up, hold up. Wait a second. Who the hell's in here? Come on out. Show yourself! Excuse me, put that thing away. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is one shot. One. It's all it takes to bring all the freaks in these tunnels down on top of us. Well, I thought you said these tunnels would be clear this time no. of night. What the hell? Look out! You can't get a shot! Oh, God damn it! God damn it, it's got the keys! Shit! Where are you going? It's got the keys, we gotta catch it! Hey! God damn it, Schizo, it's getting away!
Damn it, you little shit. Get back here. Come on, you sheep. Give me back those fucking keys. Where'd you go? What was he thinking? Damn you! Die, goddammit! Oh, Schizo! <laughs> Schizo, stop shooting! What? Bringing the whole mine down on us. Oh, damn it! Okay, okay. Put the gun down. What the hell are you talking about? Except the last of them. So much for the tunnels being clear. I told you what would happen if you fired your weapon. What was I supposed to do? Throw a rocks what at him? What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to fucking listen to me. Next time, try this. Whatever. You're welcome. For what? For saving your ass. If you hadn't run off, my ass wouldn't need saving. <laughs> Were you ready to fucking finish this? Yeah. I'm ready. This way. So, you bro's arm. Addy said it looked like someone tried to burn his tats off. It was the Rippers, wasn't it? You got a point, Schizo? I had a drifter come in. Word's gone out. Rippers are looking for two men. Mongrels? Sound like anyone you know? Well, as you can see... I'm still wearing the cut. We're not hiding, Schizo. If Carlos wants Boozer, he won't have any trouble finding him. But he's gonna have to go through me first. What'd you do to him? Gotta be something long before breaking the treaty. Long before I... You know what? I don't know and I don't care. Have I killed a few rippers in my day? You're goddamn right I have. And after what they did to Boozer, I'm gonna go right on killing the crazy sons of bitches. Yeah? And Carlos is crazier than any of them. You don't want to be on his shit list, bro. What'd I just say? I don't care. And I'm not your bro. Remember what I told Iron Mike? Carlos can go fuck himself. Hey, just looking out for you. You're one of us now, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Don't worry about me and Boozer. We can look out for ourselves. This ought to make the old man happy. Shit's heavy. 
What are you talking about? You know the old man. Same as me. I got this. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> he thinks that his treaty with the Rippers is gonna keep us safe. The thing is, they don't give a shit about any treaty. The only reason they haven't come down here in force is because they're too busy up north, hitting Copeland, the hot springs. Yeah, I know. I was there. So you know what I'm talking about. The Rippers are coming. And Iron Mike... He's just gonna let it happen. He's gonna let those bald-headed freak alikes wash over us like a goddamn red tie. Excuse me, so you don't know that. All right. Come on. Jesus. Never thought I'd be so glad to see the light of day. Shit, something else we agree on. That's twice in one day. Hold up for a second. There's someone out there. Hey, bike. Someone's inside. Hey, what the hell? Biden out there. Move. Sit in your pants. Come on now. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Come on. Find him. Bike. Mister, my boy's got a little rambunctious, I admit it. Hey, sister. I thought you just wanted to talk. I guess. Ah, give it to him! This. Ah, shoot the assholes! Give it to him! I think that's all the bastards. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. We gotta get that box of dynamite. Must have been the same assholes who parted out the bikes. Ride by and they see ours. You figured they'd make an easy score. I guess it wasn't as easy as they'd hoped. You know, I hate to say it. But we actually make a good team, you and I. Well, then don't say it. Hey, there's something I gotta say. When you and Boozer rode into camp and Iron Mike welcomed you back again with goddamn open arms, I thought it was another sign the old man was losing it. Going soft. Okay, what's your point, Skizo? Uh, my point is that you and me, we see eye to eye. I get that now. You know, same as me. If Iron Mike don't wake the hell up, the camp's not gonna last another six months. Okay, still waiting for your point. Look, I know I've been busting your balls. We both know that. But... A lot of people know what you've done. For your friend. How you been doing shit for the camp. Changes are coming, brother. When Iron Mike... retires, let's call it. I say you and me. We step up and run the camp together. You and me? Run the camp? <laughs> That's really what you wanted to talk hey, to me about. hear me out, goddammit. <laughs> Just listen to me a minute. Uh -huh. Look, I got a lot of friends on the camp council, and they agree. Most of them say the old man's gotta go. Yeah, that's bullshit, because Ricky would never go for it. She's as soft as and the old Mike man. And he trusts you. Well, that's his mistake. One of many. Oh, it ain't gonna be mine. Look, we all do things to survive, Schizo. I get that. You remember how I said there's some lines I ain't crossed? Stabbing a friend in the back? That's one of them. Better one old man than the entire camp. You think about that.
Keep yeah. it. Schizo, I'll think about that. Jeez. I think this is done. Where's Please. Boozer? Uh, no. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I thought he was with you. Yeah, he was, and then he he took off. Some shit. Excuse me, what the fuck are you telling me? Get off me! Look, he grabbed a bottle of whiskey, he said he was going home. I don't know. You motherfucker, and you didn't even try to stop him, did you? Hey! We tried! <laughs> you gotta know when to cut a man loose. You gotta know when a man's done. Hey, what do you need? Sorry, just wandering around. Ricky, you there? What's wrong? Boozer went out, but he didn't come back. Shit. You heading up there? Uh, need help? No, I'll find him. Boozer, you there? Booze man. Uh, yeah, Deke. Yeah, Deke. No, I'm here. Where the hell are you? It's, it's getting dark out. Where? Where? I'm at the farm. I'm at the, f the farm. Jesus, stay there. I'm coming to get you. Just, just stay here. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> All right, here's the farm. This is where Ricky said the work crew was. Boozer! You there? Boozman! Damn it. Okay, here's the farm. Hey, where's Boozer? Who? Nah, no, there's no one here. Work crew's gone home for the day. No, he's still here. The, the big guy with one arm. Yeah, yeah, I know who you mean. He headed off that way, towards the old farmhouse. Thought he was getting a ride there. If you see him, tell him, tell him to stay here. Radio me or Ricky. Sure, man. Whatever. Boozer! You there? Who's man? Schizo said that he had a, a bottle of whiskey. Where would he go to drink a bottle of whiskey? One of these uh, farmhouses? This has got to be it. Boozer! Are you in here? This looks like it. Good book to read. Whiskey bottle. Empty. Wait a second. Case of beer? Gotta take a closer look. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? <sighs> Still got this. Beer bottle. Empty. 
heading that way. Damn it. Excuse those right. He's heading home. He's on foot. He can't have gotten far. I'm gonna need my bike. Boozer. Booze, man. Hey, Nick. <laughs> How's it going, brother? You said you were at the farm. I just left, and you are not at the farm, Boozer. Uh, we... Oh! Oh, the other farm. I'm, um, I, I, I went to the other farm. You know, I... I found a sixer. <laughs> so, I thought I'd go for a walk, you know? Like, just, oh, walk! At sunset. So, uh, I just walked to... The other farm, you know? Oh, old MacDonald had a farm. He had, he had. More beer bottles. Empty. Tracks. Okay. So you're not in the barn. Farmhouse, yeah. Boozer, are you in here? Booze man. Upstairs. Okay, now another bedroom. And another beer bottle. That's wet or oh. I'm not gonna ask. Boozer, where are you? Booze! I I thought you were gonna come um have a beer with me and take a walk. Boozer, just where are you? Would you look around? Did you tell me what you see, what's nearby? Give me a give me a landmark or something. I already told you. Oh, oh look at that shit. Get what, Boozer? What do you see? The road. The road's... Uh, wow, it's just... It's gone. Like, like somebody came and uh, just like, whoosh, swept it away. The road's gone? Oh, yeah. The, the, like, somebody came and just swept it away. Gone. I'm walking. And walking. I'm, and, and now the road is just gone. Where, where are you going, Boozer? Oh, that's where I'm going. Oh. Just stay right there. Just stay where you are. Get down, get out of sight. Listen for my bike. I'm coming. I'm not hiding from no one. I will. What's that? <sighs> Another beer bottle. <sighs> that's gotta be him. All right. What have we got? You're mine now. What do we got? Gotcha. Boot prints. Bingo. I'm gonna need my bike. I can't give him a ride without my bike. Boozer, you there? I'm getting close. I, uh, I followed your tracks. Just like you taught me. Uh, Boozer, come on, man. Stay put, will ya? There he is! A little late for a stroll. Hey, Dig. How's it going, old buddy? Boozer, where are you going? Oh, that's where I'm going, home. Oh, well, we can't go back to O'Leary Mountain. No, I'm not going to fucking O'Leary Mountain. I'm going to farewell. Shit, come on. We got to get you. No, you want to no, take a swing at me? Fine. Get in line behind them. <laughs> Bring it! Okay. So this is it. This is how we're going out. Get out no, here, no, I don't think so. Huh, Boozer? Huh, bro? Boozer? The nice-year-old lady was killed. 
What did I say to you? I did not tell you. What did I say to you, huh? I found you halfway through a case of whiskey. You were gonna drink yourself to death. What did I say to you? You grabbed a bottle, and you chugged it. It was a lot of goddamn whiskey. And you told me that if I was gonna drink myself to death, you'd be right there with me. So that's what brothers do. So like I said, Boozer, is this it? This is how we're going out. Let's get the hell out of here. Go, go, go! I'm going! Well, go faster then. Ah! There's cars! There's wrecked cars. I see them, Boozer! That's the last of them. Uh, we're gonna be okay. I, I knew. I knew it all along. Hey, hey, D. Boozer, listen. I just want to say thank you, man. I mean it. Boozer, uh... Just listen, goddammit. You came out here and you saved my sorry ass. Again. I owe you, brother. I owe you. No, no, Boozer. I owe you... All right, look. If it weren't for you, I, uh, I would have been See dead it, a long time ago. Or worse. I thought you said... There's nothing. You gonna be okay? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I hear a bunk calling my name. Hey. <laughs> do you think the freaks remember anything about their life? Yeah, schizo. I'll think about that. Jesus, why would Iron Mike ever trust okay. that asshole? Well, let alone make him head of security. I want to tell your guts out. You here to buy something? Buzz, how you doing? I got you covered. Sure. All right. Deke, did you find him? Yeah, Ricky, I found him. How is he? Well, let's just say that tomorrow he's going to have one hell of a hangover. A hangover. Good. I'll remember that when I stop by to see him at six in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Thank God. He deserves it. Deke, I'm glad he's okay. Hey, Ricky, I, uh, I got a favor to ask. Yeah, what's up, Deke? Um, it's about Boozer's arm. Uh, I saw that hook that you made for him, and uh, it's great, but uh, don't you think it might be better if, instead of a hook, I don't know, maybe with something like a knife or a blade or something, you know? Oh, uh, oh hold on. Oh, please, thank you. So oh. if it oh, I'm sorry about that. So, uh, you, you want me to, you want me to create a prosthetic blade for Boozer? Well, yeah, I just thought I might cheer him up, make him feel, you know, more of a... You want me to weaponize Boozer? Well, I wouldn't put it that way. I'm just fucking with you, Deke. I think uh, it's a great idea. Uh, I will go check some parts, and I will radio what I need. Cool? Okay. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deacon St. John to Iron Mike. Deke, you and Schizo, you find them? The explosives? Yeah, Mike, uh, we got them. Schizo's on his way back with everything that we found. Listen, Mike, I gotta tell you. That's great. That's great! Now, we can't use them till we find some dead cord. You know that, right? I'll take a look through the files we got. <laughs> 
Mike, listen to me. Schizo, he's, um... Jesus, what now? You boys trying to shoot your damn heads off again? No, Mike, but he, uh... He wants to run the camp, Mike. He told me him... Oh, hell, I know all about that. Remember, I told you already. Schizo thinks I'm a pacifist and I'm gonna get us all killed. I know he's been talking. Mike! Deke, like I said, Schizo's got his issues, but it... <sighs> it... It's not like we don't got ours. Thanks for your concern, but I can take care of myself. Mike, out. Uh, Jesus, all right. Have it your way, Iron Mike. I always, I always do. You know, I taught English. Shamal Community College to yeah. a bunch I, of I got it. home moms and high school dropouts. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Yeah, no. No, maybe another time, Cope. It's done. They won't be shooting up any more camps. Oof, thank God. I'll let Iron Mike know. You know, keep this up and you and Mike are gonna be best friends before you know it. Bye, Dean. Someone's here. Hey, it's Deke. Tracked down those boys, shot up the gate, and took off. Hey, Mike, yeah. Uh, I found them, and they won't be coming back. Seems like it's getting worse. The amount of squatters and drifters we got coming through. No offense to present company. <sighs> None taken. Uh, and yeah, Mike, it's getting worse. I don't know. Mike, I think it's like you were saying about tourists always coming up here from California. Well, I guess if I had the choice, yeah, I'd rather be here than down there. So, see you, Deke. Iron Mike out. Hey, Deke, I got a good one for you. Mike, hey, what's up? Ricky handed me a shopping list. Said it was for Boozer. Said I should radio you. Okay, where's Ricky? If something came up with Addy, I don't ask. Anyway, she needs a galvanized metal pipe, tube, kind used in building. She needs a carbon alloy blade, the kind hunters use, and... Finally, some metal scrap. That list make any sense to you? Uh, yeah, Mike, like you said, I don't ask. <laughs> Deacon out. Okay, what do I need? I need a blade or a metal tube? Scrap? Ah, Jesus, Ricky. Metal tube, metal tube. Can't just be any metal tube, can it? Gotta find one from a construction site. Wait, 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 hold on a second. There was a house, um... Under construction at Marion Forks, but I can find something there.
Boozer, you there? Yeah, dude. I just got off work. I got to spend the morning hauling buckets of shit. Oh, Jesus, goddamn schizo. I'd be lying if I told you I didn't miss him. You know, the shit. What are you doing? Still out there chasing Nero. Playing follow the chopper. Yeah. Good luck. Tracking down what happened to Sarah. No. I am. How long are you gonna let him keep screaming? He's not. He's he's looking into it. It takes time. Just don't get your hopes up, brother. That's all I'm saying. Out. Good. Boozer, you up? This is Deke. Must be sleeping. Deke? Is that you? Shit. Sorry, man. I, I didn't mean to wake you. Brother, after working a shovel all day, I pretty much pass out as soon as I hit the bunk. What's going on? I just checking on you, brother. Just making sure that you didn't you know, wander off on another midnight dance with a horde. Hey, don't worry about me. From the sound of it, you're the one out on a joyride. Hey, I gotta get some shut eye. Talk later. Out. Metal tube. Where are ya? Here we go. Oh, that'll do it. Dee? Hey, we got a job for you. Ricky. Hey, um, okay. Yeah, I'll check in. Thinking out. Blade. Where am I gonna find a blade? Wait, wait, wait. Where, where was that sporting goods store? This is it. Shit, wrong way. All right, where? There you are. This ought to be enough. Now uh, I just gotta get all this crap back to me.
Sounds at the gate. Glad you're back. Hey. Hey. I got those parts that you were asked for. Oh, great. Well, uh, check back in a few. I'll see what I can do, yeah? Uh, Ricky. Thanks. Yeah. Boozer's one of us now. Hey, Deke, you there? I've got Boozer's new prosthetic ready. I asked Addy to find him and send him over. Uh, great. Great, Ricky. I'll, I'll be right there. Deacon out. There. Okay, got it. Let me secure it in, okay? There you go, that's better. Okay. Hey, brother. Look what oh. Ricky did. What? Made me a new toy. Oh, that was old Deacon. <laughs> oh, that's he really, really that. cool, Boozer. Hey, uh, I could have been one of those, those yeah. three goddamn musketeers. Hungar, oh, you fucking <laughs> ripper. Right. Pretty cool. Oh, hey. Jesus. Oh. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, uh, maybe hey. this wasn't that good of an idea? Mm, maybe. Damn it. Okay. Hold on. Oh, Brian, I'm sick of doing your dirty work. You got news for me or not? Yeah, I, I mean, yes, I have news. Well, then what is it? I need you to do one last job. Will you listen to what I was just saying? I'm done with one this. One more job, then I'll meet you in person, show you what I got. Forget it. Her middle name. It was Irene, right? Sarah, Irene, Whitaker. It's on her admission form. One last job. One last job. I sent you the coordinates. O'Brien out. Hey. Hey. You're headed somewhere in a hurry? Yeah. You remember that Nero bastard I told you about, yeah. O'Brien? Well, it looks like he's got some news for me, but I gotta do one last job for him first. Yeah. Okay. You should come with me. Yeah? Nah, I... Skizzle's got me on farm duty. Feeding the world one shitty weed at a time. Fuck Skizz, I'll drop you off right afterward. When's the last time you saw a helicopter? I'll tell him you twisted my arm. Never gets old, <laughs> does it? I was in my classroom when... Uh, where are we headed? You know, Over toward Malakwa Lake. You know where that is? Yeah, it's just north of the Rogue Tunnel off uh, Waldo Road. So what are we doing there? 
The Nero Chopper's gonna be on the ground doing whatever the hell it is that they do. O'Brien wants me to see what they're up to. So, O'Brien, he's, uh, he's what? Your, your shot caller? Handler? No! Jesus, boozer. You know why the hell we're out here. Hmm. Just asking. Seems like he tells you to jump. You ask how high. It's not how it is. So how you holding up? Not bad. Uh, it's been worse, you know. I actually don't mind working the farm, pulling weeds and shit. Reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to go out to my uncle's farm out at uh, by Adrian on the Idaho border. I'd spend summers working the beet fields. <laughs> yeah, a little dirt bike I'd tool around on. That's where I learned to ride. If you're not careful, I'm gonna start calling you Farmer Bill. When we get to that site, stay close. Whatever happens, don't let them see you. They can get a little trigger happy. Okay, okay, got it. Stay down, keep my mouth shut, don't get us killed. Hey, thanks for bringing me along, Deke. It's good to get out again. Even riding bitch, you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay, stay close. Right behind you. Uh, hey, the there it is. Now. Jesus. All right, I thought I'd see one of those again. Perimeter. I don't want any screw-ups this time. All right, now watch. Okay. Soldiers Let's come out first, they secure the LZ. And their boy genius, researcher, scientist, whatever the hell, he comes out, he looks around. Do what? Whatever science shit they're doing out here, how the hell would I know? You're the one who's been spying on them. Okay, wait here. You got it. samples. You mean shit? I heard Yes. Some freak shit? Yes. <laughs> so, we're out here in the middle of nowhere, so you can pick up freak shit. Precisely. <laughs> okay. Enough said. Field note 2102. Anyone else here? Analysis of scat samples from zones 2, 3, and 4B there is clear evidence of Claytonia perfoliata. What's that? Commonly known as miner's lettuce. Please don't interrupt. As well as manicious berries from Juniperus communis. So I heard so Why do we care? Why do we care? Because it means the freaks are eating more than just us and each other. They're eating berries, plants, grass, needles, basically anything a deer would eat. They're omnivores, just like us, but with stomachs that can digest a much wider range of cellulose. Yeah, okay. And what? It means they're not gonna starve when they run out of us to eat. <laughs> the freaks aren't going away anytime soon. Shit. That's bad. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> I'm done here. Okay. Uh, head back to the bike. Hear that? <laughs> Perimeter alarm. I heard something.
You catch any of that over my radio? That's pretty fucked up. Good taxpayer money, and they're out here collecting freaker shit. Yeah, I told you. Who knows what they're doing, or why? Oh, they gotta have a base around here somewhere, right? You try following them? Yeah, but they always disappear over the mountains heading south, and with the highway choked off, I can never get close. Sons of bitches. Seems like they got a lot to answer for. Yeah. Where are we headed now? It's a good question. O'Brien, are you there? Come in, O'Brien. I'm here. Finished? Yeah, it's done. Where am I meeting you? I wasn't expecting you so soon. I'm sending you the coordinates now, but it might take a few minutes to get there. O'Brien out. What the hell does he think I've been doing out here? Hey, you're right about one thing. He does sound like an asshole. You wait here. I don't want him getting skittish because I brought someone along. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on the bike. I've seen enough Nero assholes for one day. Okay, I'll be back. O'Brien said he had news. He knew her middle name, Irene. She can't be alive. But he's alive. Why not her, huh? <laughs> There he is. Yo. Shit. Gotta stop doing that. What you got? All right, look. I'm gonna lay it out for you, but it's not good news. I finally found a guy who was willing to do some digging through some files that we, they, they used to keep while they still kept records. Okay, no problem. Uh, anyway, uh, Sarah Whitaker, your wife, was in, admitted to the Camp Mash unit on the South Flats outside of Silver Lake. Uh, according to the records, she was in surgery for six hours and then was moved okay, to... Okay, so she survived. The stab wound, she survived. Yeah, yeah. According to the records, she made a full recovery. And then she was moved to another camp on the outskirts okay. of the Okay, so, so she could still be alive, even after all this time. She could still be alive. You're saying no. What do you mean no? It was overrun. Everything was overrun. There were no survivors. You survived. They survived. Look, 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 there was nothing that would have protected that camp, okay? Highway 97 w w w is an artery. Infected freaks poured up from L.A., from the Bay Area, from Sacramento. There were thousands and thousands and thousands of them. There was, there was nothing we could do. I get it. So you bugged out. Who did you bring with you? Uh, Nero personnel. Some feds. People with clearance. Nero personnel? The soldiers? The guys with the guns? The guys that should have been protecting no, no, the there's civilians. There's nothing that you can do against a horde. Oh, They're no, too strong. I know all They're too about fast. hordes. Oh, they knew that there was nothing that we could do. Oh, you know what you could have done? You could have brought a few of them with you. You could have saved a few lives. There was no hope. There was no time. There was no room. Okay, there was, we'd already turned on each other by the time the hordes arrived. No, I get it. I'm sorry about your wife. I'm sorry about all of this. But you gotta understand, if you hadn't sent her with me that night, she would've been dead the next morning. You did the right thing. <laughs> You know, if you had decided to stay, the only thing that would have happened is you'd be dead right alongside her. Don't you think I know that? <laughs> O'Brien. Thank you for saving her life that night. So you're sorry. Is that it, O'Brien? You're sorry? 
Oh, damn it. All things a waste of my goddamn time. Oh, what the hell, Boozer? Boozer? Oh, God damn it, Booze, man. Where the hell did you go? Ah, shit. Ah, right. Booze, man, where the hell did you go? Boom tracks. That's gotta be his. Okay, let's take a look around. What the hell is this? Okay, let's see. What's going on here? Uh, this way? Still there? This is Ricky. Deacon St. John. Uh, yeah, Ricky, I'm here. What's up? Schizo's been asking for you. Said Boozer never showed up for his work duty. I, I was worried. No, look, we're fine. We just had some stuff that we needed to get done. Tell Schizo we'll be back in an hour. Okay. Hey, I'm almost ready to head back out there and fix that transformer. You still in? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just, uh, great. Let me know when. I can feel that hot water now. I'm gonna let that shower run forever. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's that. It sounds great. Listen, uh, Ricky, I, I gotta go. All right, Deke, Deacon out. Deke, in here. Deke, over here. Oh, Jesus, Boozer, what the hell? I figured I'd do a little shopping while we were out, and I ran into a pack of rippers hunting dogs. Oh, easy, fella. He's not infected. He's, shit. he's just a dog. They're hunting down and killing healthy dogs. No, just, no, we can't. God. We can't leave him here, Deke. Uh, we just, we can't. We right, can't do right, it. Here, here, let me, uh, let me do it. Really? You, you can. Okay, boy. Okay, easy. It's okay. All right, just hold oh, Jesus, Deke. It's okay, just... That's it, all right. It's okay, big guy. Rest. Be you ready? One. Oh, yeah, brother. I'm ready. Oh, what was that? Oh, I had no <laughs> Okay. Yeah. You think that's the last time? Oh, you sound disappointed. Well, I just, I hate those sons of bitches, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on. Let's uh, let's get the hell out of here. So what the hell happened back there? You seem sort of, I don't know, like uh, like you lost it. Uh, I don't know. I guess I just, I needed some payback for this shit. But, uh, there's never gonna be enough payback, is there? You know? If you hadn't made this shift for me, you know, my arm, I mean, I don't know where I'd be. I mean, I guess I'd... Well... You know. You gonna be okay? Not like I got a choice. Not like any of us do, right? Yeah, okay, come on. Hey, there's your bike. Hey, how'd it go? Oh, uh, what go? You know, goddamn what? Your guy in the spacesuit, what'd he say? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Hey, come on, goddammit. <sighs> Boozer, you really don't want to be doing that right now. Oh, yeah? 
You think I need more than this to take down your scrawny little ass? Come on, what'd he say? Drop it. Seriously, what happened to Sarah? Huh? Where's your old lady? Where's your old lady? Huh? <laughs> Stay down, brother. <laughs> Had enough? Where's your old lady, Deke? She's dead, Boozer. Sarah's dead. Yeah, and she's been dead a long time. So don't you think that you mourned her long enough? Oh, God. I think... I think that you have a hell of a left hook, asshole. Oh. Yeah, it's the only move I got. <laughs> Come on, man. Fuck. <laughs> Jeez. I gotta get my sorry ass back to work. Camp ain't gonna feed itself. Okay. Yeah. It's the only move I got. Still, I tagged your ass with it three times oh, in a row. Fucking shameful. <laughs> Where are we headed? Back to camp. No, no. I still gotta work a shift. Give me a ride up there. It's, it's just north of Sherman's camp. Okay. So, she died that night, and there was nothing you or anyone could have done about it. I should have been there. And what good would that have done? Just drop it, it's done. Schizo, you there? Lost Lake Camp, Schizo. Yeah, yeah, what's up? We just had a run in with some... Hey, where the hell is you, bro? I skipped work duty today. What the hell, man? We just, sh just sh shut up and listen to me. I was giving him a ride to the work site, and we were attacked by rippers. Oh, Jesus. Where? Outside of Rogue Camp. You gotta tell Iron Mike. Carlos is coming, and he is not going to stop. What do you think I've been telling him? For months? Yeah, I'll let him know. We're heading toward Tumalo now. Boozer will be at the site in a few minutes. Well, that's great, because he owes the camp another half shift for the work he's missed. Shut up, Schizo. Hey, Deke. Uh, road camp is kind of in the opposite direction of Tumalo, isn't it? We took the scenic route. Out. Asshole. Goddamn Schizo. Come on, you guys. Come on, keep working. Keep at it. We don't work, we don't eat. Right already. That's it. Hey. Thanks for the ride. You all starve. There you go. St. John to Lost Lake Camp. Come back. Deke, I hear you. Take John to Lost Lake Camp. Come back. Deke, I hear you. Mike. Good. Look, Boozer and I, uh, we just had a run-in with Rippers. They... Uh... Rippers? God damn it, you boys crossed the Iron Ridge. Deke, I told you. Just listen. No, Mike. They were here in Rogue... What the 
fuck. <laughs> that all you boys got? Oh. Sarah's church. Shit. Yeah. Anyway, just checking in. Deacon out. Addy, you there? Lost Lake Infirmary, can you read me? Deacon, I'm here. Addy, good. Good luck. Um... Are you going to be around for a while? I, uh, I, I need to see you. Is everything okay? What's wrong? Uh, look, nothing. I'm, I'll tell you when I get there. Deacon out. coming. This is Radio Glad Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. What does Nero hey. want? Do they disappear for two years, come back guns blazing? Anything? Don't bother trying to... Yeah, Cope, not today. Not in the mood for your truth or bullshit. Bunch of Alzheimer's patients. You got what you need? Yep, yeah, everything I could think of. Let's go. Oh, you sound pretty excited. It's the candle, Deke. What? The old saying, it's better to light one candle than curse the darkness. We've spent the last two years doing a whole lot of cursing. We get the lights on at Lost Lake, and that's lighting our first candle. Yeah, only one problem with that. And what's that, Deke? Lights attract all kinds of nasty bugs, and they make it way easier for him to find you. Hey, we're here! Shit! Swarmers. I was hoping it was gonna be clear. Nah, why would we have that kind of luck? <sighs> okay, I think that's all of them. Crap. Okay, to fix this thing, I gotta climb up there. <laughs> Have you done this before? Nope, but there's a first time for everything, right? Right. Okay, come on, boost me up. All right, ready? Uh-huh. One, two, three! <laughs> if you fall, it ain't like I can catch you. Gee, thanks! I'll try to keep that in mind. <laughs> I got him! Dick! I'm trying! Ah.
Well done. I'm coming down. Well, God damn it. <sighs> well, that was fun. Yeah, we're gonna have to come out and do this again sometime. Yeah, I'll talk to Schizo about getting some barbed wire around this. It'll keep the newts off. Yeah, sounds like the kind of shit job he likes to give me. <laughs> You'll live. Come on, I gotta check something else out. So, your old lady? Okay, how the hell did... It's not hard to put two and two together, Deke. How you lost her at that refugee camp. The one north of Belknap. And then the last few weeks, we've seen Nero choppers in the air, and you were hoping for what? A miracle? That she was with them somehow? Something like that. But she's not. No. I'm sorry. Look. It's not a big deal, so let's just drop it. Wow, word gets around. I'm almost ready. Power to the whole resort is routed through here. I pulled the breaker a week ago, so it wouldn't short out. Okay. Ready when you are. All right. Let's listen up. Okay. Now, the past few months have been tough. Not gonna deny that. We're low on food, medicine, hell. Pretty much everything. But we got one thing in spades. And without that, everything else is meaningless. That one thing is trust. Now, a while ago, we had some more drifters right into camp. Some of you said kick them out. We ain't got enough for ourselves. Some of you said we can't trust them. Tonight is proof of what I've been saying all along. We need everyone. I mean everyone who is willing to be here, who is willing to work, who is willing to help us rebuild. Now, for the past couple of months, Ricky has been doing just that. But she can't do it alone. She needs help. Tonight is going to happen because we welcomed a drifter into our camp. And we allowed him to earn our trust. Tonight, we take one more step out of the darkness. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, thank you, thank you. Oh, oh my God! Hey, 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 you! I got a, I got a, I got a bottle of bourbon. <laughs> oh, that's your cue. Uh, good Whoa, night. Oh, hey, what happened? That's uh, nothing. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go see Addy. Is that the woman in the photo? That was her. That was my wife. Yeah. Dumb question. I'm, I'm sorry, Deke. No, don't be. She's, uh, she's been dead a long time. Still, it can't be easy to get your hopes up like that, only to... I, I don't know. I wish there was something I could do. Well, there is. What? Stop talking about it. Okay. Addy? Addy! Oh, the lights are up. I don't think she's here. Addy, you here? Okay, well, strip. Strip, strip what? Take your shirt off, sit on the table. Hey, look, it's nothing. Deacon, do you want an infection? 
Mm -hmm. I may be an engineer, Deke, but that does not mean uh -huh, that I don't know how to treat a cut. Yeah, I never would have guessed the way that you were caressing those switches and circuits or whatever the hell you were doing. <laughs> All right, this <clears throat> might hurt just a little bit. Ready? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Really? No, I want to just wait for Addie to come back, just, huh? Shh. Hang on. There. It's done. Big baby. So I told you it was nothing. <laughs> yeah, you did. <clears throat> oh, wow. You really have been at war. Yeah, more than one. Shit, that's right. Where was this one? Afghanistan or the MC or after? I, uh, I don't remember. What about this one? Ricky, uh, I'm not sure that, uh, well, I heard that Addie doesn't really like, um, people messing around in her business. Yeah, I, I heard that too. What about this one? <sighs> Ricky. Dick, I'm not married. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Why don't you come back tomorrow? And see Addie, and she's gonna tell you how great of a job I did. Ricky, um... <sighs> Deke, it's, it's, it's fine. You're welcome. Hey, Deacon? <clears throat> Maybe one day, stop and light a candle. It can get pretty dark and cold out there. Addie. Hey, Deacon, how can I help you? Uh, it's Boozer. Is he okay? He's, yeah, not well. He's not. He's not sick or anything. It's just, I don't know. Well, I told you that it was going to be a big adjustment. Do you have any drugs around here? Like antidepressants, something like that? No. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Wait. I heard about what happened. How we went after those guys who were killing those dogs. Yeah, and he nearly got us killed while doing it. Well, maybe that's your answer. Nearly yeah, getting us killed while doing it? Look, what does William love so much that he'd be willing to risk his own life? He doesn't need something to heal his body. He needs something to heal his soul. I got it. Thanks, Eddie. Got good shit in stock today. Hey, Buzz. You go through a lot of this shit, yeah? You can never go wrong with the tuna. Sure, all right. Stop by any time. Hey, Deke. Oh my god, Deacon. I heard you were the one who got the lights back on. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. It was all Ricky. She's the one that you need to thank. Ricky? <laughs> I could kiss her. Just don't tell Bree. 
Yep. Uh, yep. Hey, Deke. Be safe. Hey, do you think I got this? Elkai, do you read me? Elkai, come in. Damn it! Someone go out and find him. Check the dig site. How's it going, Tucker? Sure as hell don't miss your shit. Yeah, Hattie. Check this out. One yeah. of our patients overheard us. Don't let him. We can they do might this. know where you can find a healthy dog. Okay, I'm listening. There's a small resort south of Sherman's camp. Uh, a bunch of cabins in the woods. You know the one I mean? No. Okay, it's off Santium Highway. The same road you took. <laughs> so, uh, what, what were you saying? Okay, it's off Santium Highway. The same road you take to the old sawmill. I, and Ricky said she rode with you over there to see the horde? Yeah. That day you guys were gone all day. <sighs> to the dam. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Ah, uh, yeah, nice bunch of rapists, thieves, and murderers. What you doing out here, huh? You looking for your next easy target? Vagrant camp. Bastards have been ambushing all the supply runs around here, haven't you? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Piece of shit. I got a use for you. Teeth marks. Yeah, this has been chewed on. It's not gonna 
gonna open. Not so hard. Hey, buddy. Hello. How's it going, pal? Come here. Hey, buddy. Hello. Come here, buddy. Hi. Hello. All right, come here. Come here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, my God. All right, all right, all right. Fine. Have it your way. Okay. Hey. Huh, what? Wake up, oh. you lazy bastard. What's going on, man? What the hell's this? Shit. <clears throat> oh, shit. Hey. Hey, how you doing, little guy? Hey, oh, easy, easy. <laughs> hey, hey, go on. Hold on, huh? Where'd you come from? Don't look at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, you look a little thirsty. Let's, uh, let's get you some water. How's that sound? Gizzo, what do you want? I'm busy. Look, I know you're trying to help the camp, and I'm trying to help you help the camp. Meet me at the back of the lodge. Skizzo out. Damn it, Skizzo. This better be good. Hey, do you think freaks remember anything? Life? I'm here. What do you want? Hold on. Come on, in here. Excuse me, what's going on? Well, if you go inside, I'll show you. Hey, I've been thinking about your idea. You know the one where you want to seal the cave north of the camp to cut down on the hordes passing through our farm area? Okay. Problem is... Mike hasn't been able to find any deck cord for this, has he? No. But I know where you can get some. Right here. No. <laughs> no I know what you're no. thinking. I get it. No, that's okay. in the middle of Ripper territory. Last time I went through there, you got it didn't... meds that saved your boy's no. life. We get the deck cord. We blow the cave. Boom, goodbye, oh. horde. Uh huh. It was your goddamn idea! Look, they have sealed the goddamn border. They sealed the tunnel. If I go through there, I'm starting a war. I Excuse got me. a plan. Besides, I'm going with you. Keep your ass out of trouble. Just grab as much gear as you can. Hopefully we won't need it, but you never know. And then meet me here. Because there's a trail that goes over Iron Ridge. What? Right what there. What are you talking about? 
Just trust me. Jesus. You in? I'll see you there. Hey, Deacon, I got it. Schizo, I'm ready. Drummond, remember where we're meeting? West of Malapu Lake. Yeah, I'll be there. Deer crossing, you know, there was a time where that was a bad idea, and you know what? It still is. Addy, you there? Yeah, Deacon, what's up? I, uh, got the loser the dog, and, and it worked, just like you said. <laughs> well, I'm glad. You know, you're a good friend, or he's lucky to have you. This is Lost Lake. You out there? Uh, hey, Ricky. I've been looking for you. Finally got power back on to most of the camp, including my cabin. Great. Hey, I'm a... I even found an old water heater that works. Guess I'm gonna get my hot shower, yeah? Great. Great. Hey, where are you? Uh, Skizza when I... Hey, what are you doing? What we're gonna do is go in through their goddamn back door. On foot? You never told me we were going on foot. Remember what happened the last time you took your noisy-ass bike in there? Good point. Hey, they'll never even see us. So, uh, Iron Mike... Said that he sent you to parlay with Carlos? Wait, the old man told you that? Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Okay. I guess there's no honor in being in the know, seeing as how you and your bro are part of the camp now. Oh, must have gone well, seeing as how we're just going in through what? What'd you call it there? Goddamn back door? Meet and greet? Oh, yeah, it went swell. Like trying to negotiate with a barrel of monkeys all whacked out on PCP. But you know what? Long as we don't get caught tonight, the old man's treaty might just hold after all. Even though Boozer and I just had a run in with them at Rogue Camp. Hey, Carlos said there was a mistake. Some rogue rippers. Get it? <laughs> anyway, he said it wouldn't happen again. And you believe him? <laughs> what the hell do I know? I'm just one of Mike's flunkies. Same as you. <clears throat> Shit. You hear that? Yeah, wolves. You think they're infected? Guess we're gonna find out. How'd you get through before? Hey, there used to be a, an old wooden ladder left by miners or spelunkers or some shit. Come on, over here, boost me up. You ready? Yeah. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Look around down there. See if the ladder's there somewhere. I'll take a look up here. Okay, hurry it up. We gotta be in and out of Ripper territory before it gets light. Yeah? Tell me something I don't know. <laughs> oh, 
Wolves! Look out! I got him! Got you. That's the last of them. Schizo. Schizo, where the hell are you? Hold on, hold on, I got it. Watch your head. Got it. <laughs> I found a map in Mike's papers. Showing some of these old Forest Service trails. I'm sure Iron Mike loves you rifling through his shit. <laughs> what the old man doesn't know won't hurt him. <sighs> sure. Anyways, you can see the trail's in bad shape. It was marked on the map as closed. See that? Yeah, a Ripper bonfire. You ever seen one before? No. They call it a gathering. Heard they do all kind of messed up crap. <laughs> Let's go around. I don't want any part of that. How with that? I want to see it. What? You got a death wish? Not anymore. Look, I just I want to see for myself what these assholes go through. You know, rest in case, get low, all that shit. Okay, okay, but you stick with me. We get separated, and we're in deep shit. <laughs> Following you. Wait, hold up. Rules or whatever the fuck. He said that the rippers are jacked up on some some PCP or something. They don't feel the pain. Well, let's go around. That's what I was thinking. You ever see anything like that before? No, not like that. And me either. That's why we gotta keep our heads down. We get caught out of here. There ain't enough bullets to take them down. I hear ya. You're sure this is the right way? Yeah. Why? I used to ride through here back in the day. What? My old lady used to work out here. There was a research lab east of Iron Butte Lodge. Anyway, I'd ride out here. I swear the transportation complex is back that way. Let's just keep going. You'll see. It's this way. Air horns to attract freaks. Come on. Oh, 
what the fuck? We are not here to start a war. Give me a second. Give me a second. Oh, Jesus. Somebody. Someone, please. Come on. Please Come help on, we gotta me. go. No, no, no. We're not leaving her to the freaks. What? No. This is not. We are not leaving This her. is not why we are here. Shit. Yeah, okay. 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 You got her. I got her. What? Shh, shh, shh. Oh, her legs are broken. She ain't going anywhere, bro. We gotta get a move on. Just do it. Hey, sweetheart. Sweetheart? It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. We gotta cut back this way. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You did the right thing, you know? Just drop it, Schizo. We've all had to do. Drop it. Oh shit, get down, get down. Jesus, what now? Oh. Oh. It's a fucking horde. No, that ain't no horde. What the fuck is it? Rippers. You're batshit fucking crazy. You ever seen their leader, Carlos? No. He looks crazier than any of them. Got scars all over his back, arms, legs. And that's what I keep telling Mike. You can't have a treaty with crazy people. I told you, Schizo, I'm not going against Iron Mike. Come on, there's gotta be another way in. Hey, hold up. Let's take a look around. What are you talking about? Well, we have no idea what's in there, so let's look around. See if we can scavenge anything. Yeah, yeah, okay, sure. Why not? Take a look around and uh, see if you can find anything. What do you think? Try this door? Locked tight. Wait, 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 slow down. You don't know what's in there. This time of night, it'll be clear. It'll work. Okay. Bounty. I never saw it. It was on me so fast. Yeah, that can happen. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Hey, Deke. I owe you one. I mean it.
No, no, forget it. Let's just go get the dead core. Here, help me. We can get in through here. Oh, I don't know, man. Come on. Fine. Are we still going in there? We got a choice. You ready? Pull! You get under, I'll hold it. No, 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 you go. I got it. Go, go, go. go. Okay. Hey, right, hold it for me. Ah, oh, shit. God damn it. Oh, yeah, it's jammed. Pull! Yes, jammed. Okay. No, that's all right. All right, uh, go around. I'll find a way to open the side door from here. Here. Deke? Deke! Deke! Oh, shit. Some of this! Fuck that! Hell. Man, I got locked inside a warehouse with a bunch of pissed off newts. What do you think's going on? That did it. Here, here, the door's unlocked. Jesus, you okay? Yeah, just a little newt, right? Come on. Yeah, let's just uh, find the dead cords. Foreman's office is up there. That's where they'd keep it. Oh, great. How are we gonna get up there? Ah, uh, come on. I'll give you a boost. <laughs> wait, wait. You just want me to go first, in case there's something up there. Oh, you got me. Now, come on. Yeah, okay. <sighs> All right, you ready? Yeah. Up. Okay, up. <clears throat> Oh, my God. Okay, I'm up. Give me a sec. Find something I can use to climb up. Here, watch your head. <laughs> Got it. This has got to be it. <clears throat> Bingo. Here, hold this open while I grab it. Why don't I just grab it, why don't you so long? Trust me. As a matter of fact, I do. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Gizzo, I, uh, I just want to say thank you. Nah, nah, man. For coming out here with me, for helping out. <clears throat> Jesus, just... Uh... Nah, I mean it. I mean, we weren't exactly welcome at Lost Lake. Just drop it, okay? Uh, 
All right, Skizzle, once we get back to camp, why don't you look? What are you doing? Sorry, buddy. It was the only way. <laughs> Do you know who I am? No. Oh, I thought rivers don't have names. We are on the path. My followers. My followers have all given up their names. Except for me. For now. Uh huh. Carlos. <laughs> Jesse, what the fuck? I kept my name. And I kept my memories. Of how you and Boozer and Jersey Jim held me down. What, well, Jack? Took a torch to my back. Jesse, that was a long time ago. We didn't really... <sighs> oh, yeah. I remember screaming, it's okay. I also remember something else I learned that day, something important. Everything about you, everything that makes you who you are. Oh, it can be burned away. <clears throat> Until nothing remains but your name. That's what the freaks are, you know. I learned that too. That's why we need to be just like them. Okay. If we're gonna do this, you're gonna talk me to death. Oh. We are gonna do this. Deacon St. John. We are not gonna do this alone, no, are we? No! No, you! We're not gonna do this without booze, are we? We gotta finish this together, the three of us. Oh, yeah. One down. And what? About a dozen to go. Maybe more. What are the odds? The three of us, you, me, Boozer, still alive, brought together here at the end of the world. What the fuck have you done to Boozer? Oh, he's not here yet. But he will be. Soon enough. <clears throat> It is you. I saw them bring you in. Lisa. No. That's not my name. I'm on the path. I don't have a name anymore. None of us do. Everyone I ever cared about is dead. Lisa. Do you know why we want to be like them? Like the freaks? No. It's because they don't remember what they've lost. Who they've lost.
Lisa. She's gone. Fear it. Set you free. You're okay. Set you free. This is your soul. Set you free. Set you free. Whoa, asshole. That's not gonna open. What the hell? Oh no. Lisa. Lisa. You will join. She's gone. Or we will set you free. Destroy us. Lose your way. Or see the end. Free. Be free. This cut deep. They carve away your name. They leave you with one mind. Chance. Let me find the path. Fire, it can't be hard to miss. This is it. This has got to be it. Got a question for you. What's the deal? Huh? You just drag people in here, fuck with them, steal their shit, and then what? Take it all and throw in the bonfire out there? Is that the idea? Jesus Christ. Oh, hello. Yeah. Got another question for you. <laughs> Where's my cut? What? My cut, my leather jacket, my fucking leather jacket. Who took it? Don't? No. Okay. Wait, 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 he just left! You just took it and left not long ago! Join us, brother. <laughs> Gotta take a closer look. All right, what have we got? He just left. Gotta be this way. These are fresh.
something is out here. There he is. Hey. Do me a favor. Take that shit off. We will cut away your soul! Thanks. Get low, asshole. I follow Carlos. We are one mind. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Something's here. You will never be found. No! Fucking <laughs> no, motherfucker! Lisa, Lisa, listen to me. Okay, they know you freed me. It's not safe here. So come with me, come no. on. Fine, don't come with me, but you can't stay here. You have to run because they will kill you. Do you understand me? Yeah. Go! Listen, run as fast as you can, stay off the roads, keep moving no matter what. Go. Oh, we follow Carlos. This will help. Boozer, you there? Boozer, if you can hear me. Look, it's Schizo. He sold me out. The Rippers. Boozer, they're coming. Warn Iron Mike.
get back to my bike. This is it. I should have never let Schizo talk me into that shit. I am such an idiot. I should have seen it coming. How the hell did I let Schizo get the drop on me? We follow Jack should have done more than burn your ah, head off. He Jesse. is lost. Bring him low. Uh, 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 Almost there. Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Schizo's on his way with Rippers. Do you read me? Does anybody read me? God damn it. Lost Lake. Damn it. There. There, it's still there. Ah, oh. uh, Boozer. Are you there? Ricky, Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deacon. Yeah, it's me. Wait, hold on. Deacon, Mike sent riders to find you. Ricky, the Rippers are after Boozer. Deacon? No, 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 no. Hey, hey, don't shoot, it's Deacon. My Mike sent us to find you. Rippers! Keep going! I'll keep them off you! We need to get back to the camp! Don't worry, I got this! We gotta stop them! More of them! No, no, no! Don't stop! Keep going! Ride to the east gate. You got that? The main bridge. I'm gonna split off here. I'm gonna go in on the footbridge across the marsh. If you see Boozer, you tell him the Rippers are there for him. You got it? Copy that. Hey, St. John. Good luck, Deke. You too. And if you see Schizo, you kill that son of a bitch. Hey, hey, no, 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 no
Come on. Okay. Come on. Okay. Hey, no, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. It ain't deep. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Now listen, listen. Look at me. Look at me. I'm looking for Boozer and Schizo. Do you know them? Do you know where they are? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, everything just, just happened so, so fast. They, they, were, they were everywhere. They, the Rippers, they were all over the, the camp and they were uh -huh. torturing us. They, yeah. they took me. They, they took Jen and Eric and Slate. Hey, listen, what's your name? Nicole. Nicole, do you know how to use a gun? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. You see that tower up there? I want you to go up there. I want you to lay down. If any rippers come through here, you blow the goddamn heads off. I'm gonna go find your friends. Okay? Go. Assholes kill any more of my people. I am the Carlos is Come on! Safe and free! Just in peace. Get low, asshole. No time, no time. That did it. Thank you. Quiet. No time for that now. You guys know Nicole, right? All right, listen to me. Head west to the footbridge. She's up in the watchtower. You go there, you help her. No, I don't want any more rippers coming in through the marsh. You got it? You're a godsend. I was praying so hard. Good. Then go. Go! All right, Nicole. I did my part. Now you do yours. Boozer, Boozer, Ricky, anyone? Deke, I thought I lost you. Burn and be Ricky, free. where's Boozer? Where's Schizo? I don't know what's going on. I saw Schizo with Boozer. Where, Ricky? I, Deke, Rippers, they're breaking into the infirmary. Damn it! Open fire! Hold on, I'm heading there now. Wait for me. Deacon? Don't let her go. Please, don't. You're all lost. Lost! No, 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 no. <coughs> Put your weapons down! Cease fire! It's over! It's, over. You can put your it's over! I thought we were gonna stay inside. I, I heard someone yelling. I just, I just couldn't let him die. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. What the hell was that? It's over. Yeah, Iron Mike negotiated a ceasefire. Wait, what? What the hell is going on? Let's go find out. Are you okay? Come on. I'm sorry. About everything. Oh, God, me too. Mike, this is all just a big misunderstanding. They only want- You attacked my camp. Murdered my people! You call that a misunderstanding?! You broke our treaty. You come onto our land, you, you steal our supplies, deal the you attack you and you attack my son people! Of a bitch. Mike, listen to me! I made a deal! Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, weapons get down! Low, weapons brother. down! Get low, hold. Hi, Skizzo. I'd like to hear about that deal. God damn it, just wait! Why don't you tell him? Tell him how you sold us out to them. Uh, what the hell do you want me to do? Oh, fucking god damn it, Skizzle. Why don't you tell him or I'm gonna cut your throat? Okay. Okay! I made the deal with Carlos. Okay? Mike. But it wasn't. It wasn't to sell out the camp. I swear. It was just them. The two of them. Him and Boozer. That's all that he wants. Just them. Yeah, how's that deal working out for you? I did it to save the camp, Mike. I did it to fix shit, to restore the treaty he broke. Mike. Deke. It's good to see you breathing. 
But let him go. What? Deke. What? <laughs> Okay. Okay, so... Is what he says true? About you making a deal? Only the lost tell lies. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Okay. So we give you Deke. William. Biker boats, whatever the <laughs> fuck you want to call them. But you leave Lost Lake alone. You will rest in peace. You have my word. And that's something, isn't it? Your word. We trust you. Grand fucking poobah of the R.I.P. Hey, 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 we come here under a flag of truth. Truce my ass! This is my camp. My people. You don't come here with some blood-stained flag of truce and demand shit! Right. Not from me! Now, I don't care what you think these boys have done. I don't care why you want them. All I know is you're not getting them. Shit, man. Mike, please. We had a deal. No, this is the deal, Carlos. And it's the only one you're getting. Now you take your people, and you get the hell out of Lost Lake. The hell out of here. Or we all die together. Right here. Right now. Shit, man. Die? A treaty stands. Always has, from where I'm standing. <clears throat> you son of a bitch! Loser! <clears throat> All right. Escort them out of my fucking camp. Hey, uh, we ain't through, Carlos. Get low, brother. Deke, <laughs> stand aside. Stand aside! Freaks. Oh my god. Mike, look, I, I just want to say. <laughs> <laughs> Take him to lockup. Oh, fuck that. We'll take care of him. Get off him! I keep trying to tell you boys something. And you won't listen. This is not how we do things around here. We do not barter with lives, and we do not murder people in cold blood. Get him out of here. Get off me. We're gonna give him a fair trial, like civilized people. And he's gonna get what's coming for him. I'm not sorry, Mike. I'm not. God damn it, I tried. I tried to save his camp. The Rippers won't stop. Carlos is not gonna stop. You hear me? They won't stop! You know who that was? Jesse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess being a cult leader at the end of the world wasn't enough to keep him busy. He was after some payback as well. That motherfucking son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm guessing he's known about us for quite some time. That night at Crazy Willie's, that wasn't some random ripper attack. And just because it was going to sell us out to him? Where'd they take him? I'm going to find him and break his fucking oh, neck. Hold up, please, schizo, for right now. Get your gear together. Some Molotovs, all the ammunition you can carry. Wait, what are you thinking? And I already know it's a bad idea. Yeah, it's a bad idea, idea but we're going to do it anyway. I need to go and get the explosives from the lodge and then that corp from schizo's cabin. Meet me at the bridge. I'll explain on the way. Hey, you good with this, brother? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Deke, you there? Deacon, come in. Yeah, Ricky, I'm here. Hey, listen, I don't have to... Now I just gotta get this back to my cabin with no one seeing me. What did you drop?
Sorry. I gotta get the debt cord. Schizo's cabin. Let's see what you got, Schizo. How do I ever trust this asshole? Hello. Guess Schizo won't be needing this. Oh. Mm. I can't do this anymore. It's okay, I'm fine. What, what's going on? I'm a goddamn veterinarian. I went to school to cure colic and heaves and hoof diseases. Does this look like a fucking hoof to you? Addie? No, Addie? you saw what happened to Boozer. I can't do this. Hey, shh. There's Addie. Just so many wounded. Addie. And so many dying. Addie. Deacon, I am not a doctor. Okay, maybe not. But you're all we've got. So Addie's not a doctor, huh? Okay, so you're not a doctor, you still saved Boozer's life. That's gotta count for something. Hey, Deke. So I want to go check on the explosives to make sure, you know, the Rippers didn't steal them, and then I went to Schizo's cabin to check on the deck cords, but I should have just come straight here and saved some time. Get the hell out of here, Ricky. I guess we can go blow up that cave, right? I'll come with you. When I was a kid, my dad found a rat's nest underneath one of our sheds. You want to know what he did? Can't even guess. Well, I waited till morning. They'd all be asleep. He laid a piece of plywood over the hole and told me to go get the garden hose. And he said to me, I never forget what he said to me. He said the best way to kill a rat's nest is to drown him. You can blow up the reservoir above the camp? Oh, that's an idea. Deacon, you can't. They want to rest in peace. I'm going to help them out. Deacon, you can't do that. Why is that? Because Iron Mike? Because it's some fucking treaty? You know, I want to cut Schizo's throat, but he's right about one thing. Carlos ain't going to stop. Rippers ain't going to stop. And you know it. Are you sure this isn't personal? Fuck yeah, it's personal. Okay. Boozer, I'm heading to the gate. Are you ready? Way ahead of you, brother. Okay, I'm almost there. Nice rifle. Oh, yeah, a little present from Schizo. Remind me to be there when you give it back to him. Well, you'll be there. <laughs> That goddamn schizo. So what are we gonna do with the bastard? I mean, we're not letting Iron Mike put him on trial, are we? No, we're not! All right, so what's the plan? I know the area pretty well. Sarah, uh, she worked out of a lab south of Iron Butte Ranch. I used to 
ride out there, pick her up for lunch. It's harder to ride on some of those back roads. Jesse, Carlos, whatever the hell he's calling himself, he's taking over the old golf course and resort, just south of the lodge at the Crescent Lake Reservoir. Now we blow that dam, that lake's gonna flood down into the valley and it's gonna drown them all, like rats. Okay, but isn't the lodge up on a hill? Yeah. Yeah, flood probably won't do much to it, but it'll do enough damage to the rest of the river compound to take out most of his men. Uh, and if Jesse survives, you won't see us coming. You got it. Now we just gotta figure out how to get into the Iron Butte Valley without being seen, yeah? Well, I'll get us there. You just hang on. Ripper Patrol! I see him! Come on. Finish this. Right behind you. We gotta head south from here. Following you. You okay? Uh, I've been better. All right, come on. We gotta finish this. Right behind you. We gotta head south from here. Following you. This easy. Nope. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Figured I'd take this bag of explosives down there, 
and ask him if they didn't mind us, you know, blowing him the fuck up. Boozer. Look, you stay up here with Schizo's rifle and keep him off me while I set the charges. Oh, ho hold on. Look, I got this. I'm not much good in a firefight, but I can plant these charges. I've set demo charges before, Boozer, in Afghanistan. I know exactly where to put them. Good. Tell me where to go when I'm down there. We doing this? Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm gonna be up in this tower. Should give me a good view of the entire dam. I'll wait here until you get up there. Stay low, move fast. You got it, brother. Who's it? Oh, never mind. Go, go. Where, where do I set the first charge? You see the second set of scaffolding on top of the dam? Okay, I'm almost there. All right, I'm setting the first charge. Job, booze man, keep going. You got this. Nice job. I thought that was going to be close. Yeah, thanks. And I'm setting the second charge. Rippers. Nice work. Just uh, move your ass. Deek? I see him. Ricky called it the pen stock, the big pipe, the base of the dam. Okay. Uh, heading there now. All right. Third charge. In position. Just uh, move your ass. Okay, you try doing this with one hand and a blade. Hey, come on, man. Sometimes I wish I had a blade hand. So you just get the charges planted. Fourth charge. Alright, that's the last of them. Run, Boozer! I'm going as fast as I can!
Holy shit! Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Unless, wait a minute, was this already...? <laughs> <laughs> well, that never gets old, does it? Uh. Let's, uh... Let's go find Jesse. Yeah. Brother, you, uh, you did a hell of a job back there. Yeah? I thought I was done for a couple of times. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. What the hell are you talking about? This is the most alive I've felt since... Ah, uh, shit. You remember when we got trapped by that horde in Tumalo? We ain't done yet. How many you think we killed? I don't know. They had it coming, right? Yeah, they had it coming. Guess we all do. All right, looks like we go in on foot from here. You want to stay? Keep any stray rippers from ripping off my bike? Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that. And fuck that. This... This is on Jesse. You wanted some payback? I'll show him some fucking payback. Come on, let's head to the lodge. Like I said, right behind you. Jesus. This must be what it looked like after Noah's flood. Came and washed away all the wicked. Yeah, except God had nothing to do with this one. Yeah. Forgive me, please. Ah, oh, shit. More rippers. How the hell did they survive? Oh, they didn't. They just don't want it. Hey! Over here, you son of a bitch! Yeah, that's a breaker. Almost out. <laughs> he is live. Go, go. We must bring cover and fire. Fight <laughs> 
cover! Falling back! Pull back! Get behind it! Come on. That's the last of them. You ready to find Jesse? Oh, yeah. It's time to finish what we still. Stand firm, brothers and sisters! We are firm! There's no way you're getting up there. Carol. <laughs> to me there's a trail not far from here no, no 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 listen that is not carlos up there okay not this founder rest in peace it's fucking jesse williamson fucking low-life piece of shit scumbag who got what was coming to him all right now you fucking go up there and you kill that son of a bitch In the day, you and Boozer held me down while Jack burned. I see it. I see it. Clear to me now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Rest in peace, Jesse. It's done. Yeah, it's done. And I couldn't have done it alone. <laughs> It was good being out in this shit again, you know. But I gotta say, shoveling shit and you know, pulling weeds, I don't know, maybe it isn't such a bad way to spend the day. Yeah. Well, with Jesse gone, how many do you think are left? People that we knew from before, I mean. No one. Boo, so there's no one left. Shut. I'm sorry. Uh. Yeah. Me too. Come on, let's get the yeah, fuck out of here. I said, I, I know we haven't talked in a few years. I guess I disfigured with my Elizabeth being there with you and all. It probably wasn't much point in me yammering away at you. Oh, and then, and what with all hell breaking loose, I, I thought maybe you weren't there. Or you just didn't give a shit. Pardon my language. I guess that's why I'm here. Say, I still don't know. I hope you're there. Hope there's some reason for all this shit we're living through. I 
that's all. We'll, we'll, we'll talk again some other time. Oh, um... Amen. Deke? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Ricky told me that I could find you here. Oh! Uh, ah, it's just these knees of mine, you know. It's reason I haven't been praying all these years. Yeah, I'm not a... I'm not a church-going type. Even after living through that shitstorm in Sherman's camp. But now... After all this, I just thought, hell, I, maybe it, now it's the time. I, uh, I didn't have a choice, Mike. Oh, everybody's got a choice, Deke. Until they're dead. It's either us or them. <laughs> it's always us or them. Always. You know the reason we're going to hell? is we can't figure out that us is every goddamn soul that ain't walking around in shit-stained pants trying to eat us! All right, you know what? You may not like it, but the world is what it is. Yeah, it is. Praying ain't gonna change that. Wishing that it was something else ain't gonna make it that way, Mike. Wishing ain't got anything to do with it. We make the world what it is by what we do. All of us. I let him go. Schizo. Ain't no way he was getting a fair trial. You let him go. Told him to ride out, not come back. Jesus Christ, Mike, do you have any idea what the fuck you've done? Yeah. I stopped another killing. And you know what? I guess I'm good with that. Can I help you? Hey, do you think the freaks remember anything about their life? No, this is your clutch. I know where the clutch is. Right, do you want me to show you how to do this or not? Yes, but I know where the clutch is. Okay, fine. All right, you do it yourself, okay? Fine. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up private Sarah property. Now turn around, get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay. <sighs> Move it. Yep. Uh, uh, okay, uh, you know what though? I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. <laughs> hey, listen, asshole. This is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Okay. I, hey, I, hey, you just wait right there. I told you. Move it. It's like I was trying to say. I'm just here you to pick up... Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. I can read. Just 
Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, 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 what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine. Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I on, didn't know go. that. It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh. Oh, and Jim. Deacon. I'm not with her. She's with me. Hold on tight. Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on. He started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I can hear. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? With you driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Clam Estate, visit Jack. So you're gonna blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. Oh shit, look out! Oh, shit. Oh god. Oh my god. Jesus. I don't know what it is, but every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. You did great. You did great. Uh, most people, they would have panicked. They would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was... No, no. I wasn't paying attention, and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. You're okay. Wait a second. What, what, what did you mean, distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing. I just... Oh. Okay. Oh, I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. Your what? No. Nomad? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad. What it means is, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. Deke, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know. And if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah. I mean, no, but yeah, I will. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Okay, no, no, the... Deacon. So, uh, you think your parents are gonna come? To the wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just, I'm not gonna change who I am and who you are make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out. I see them. Hey, are they, are they headed to your work? Oh, shit. What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've gone nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel. Uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. Miss Whitaker's return. What's going on? I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. She's been trying to get a hold of you, says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. Knock him dead. <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later.
Addy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever. Addy. Whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. God damn. Clearance. Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio! St. John, didn't think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told you there was Shut up, shut up, do. shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. I so don't think that they just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing, uh, I don't know, research, pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was okay, doing. Just okay. do me. I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. O'Brien, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. O'Brien out. I used to be a cop, believe it or not, and farewell. I think we had it pretty good with training, equipment, and all. But it got bad fast. It wasn't. Hey, Deacon. Oh, look at all this hey, Buzz. Up. Looking for anything in particular? I'll be here be if here you need late. me. Try to make forever a day or two, will ya? Should have new shit later. Stop by. Hey, Deke, I got it. St. John, this is O'Brien. O'Brien, what do you got? I need to see you in person. Oh, Jesus, O'Brien, just would you tell me what you found is ish? Is she alive or isn't she? I have something to give you. O'Brien? I've transmitted the coordinates. Meet me there. O'Brien out. O'Brien? Oh, God damn it. Deep. Iron Mike's looking for you. He said... Booze, man, listen. Just uh, tell him I'll be back. I gotta... You remember what I told you? Um, the night that Sarah died, Nero, they bugged out. They only took their own people, feds, and people who had federal clearance levels. Deep, what the hell are you talking about? Look, it's probably nothing, but there's something I gotta do. Deacon out. Information. What information, Ryan? What the hell can you possibly have left to say that I would give a damn about? This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The war... Yeah, no. Maybe another time, Cope. Yeah, yeah, booze man, what's up? I just, I just wanted to say thanks for the dog. It's no worries, brother. I mean, it, it followed me, you know? Wouldn't leave me alone. What was I supposed to do? Hey, hey, get down. Hey. <laughs> Come on. Easy, but... Yeah, sure, it followed you. Hey, uh, I named him Jack. <laughs> yeah, Jack would have loved that. Uh, no, he wouldn't have, which is why I did it. <laughs> he 
easy, easy, boy. All right, all right, enough, enough. Okay, Deke, I gotta go. Boozer out. You're welcome. Murderers and thieves, the lot of you. How many people you killed today, huh? Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Let me tell you, before this shit, Sorry, we were dude. numb. Didn't and we were dumb. We were blindly taking in opiates of all kinds. I used to be Keeping a us sedated like yeah. fat hey, Dad, happy cows. Farewell. Candy, television, yeah, booze, heroin, and it worked. But now, well, we're feeling. Yeah, no, no, maybe another time, Cope. What the hell? Uh, that's worth checking out. So what the hell? I managed to recruit a few guys who I trust who, like me, aren't happy with what's going on. So why am I here? I wanted to give you this. You were right about your wife. Where did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Nero personnel, federal officials, and, well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a Class 4 federal clearance level. Clearance level. The wife bugged out with a recon unit east of Fort Rock. Take me there. No. No. Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago. Local militia group. Militia group? Where's their camp? We don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. I wanted to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. As bad as things are right now, they're gonna get worse. A lot worse. Someone wants in. 
This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth hey, shall set you free. It has come to my attention that some of you are out there working with Nero. The very same Nero we saw cut <sighs> down right. Let's survivors see what the old not too long ago. Some would call these people fools. But I got a better name for them. You know a way over the Tielson Pass. He told me once that I... Uh, told you nothing. Go on. Oh, I can't on. help you, Deke. Just draw me a goddamn map. After everything you've done. After everything I've... What about what you've done, old man? Huh? Sherman's you camp, the things that you, you get did. Out of here. You get me, listen me. Listen to me. What if? You could take it all back, huh? What if you could fix it? The night that I put Sarah on a chopper, I felt relieved. How fucked up is that? Uh, I was relieved. Mike, that's what I've been living with. And now you're chasing ghosts. You think finding your old lady, if she's alive, you think that's gonna fix it? Make you whole! I don't know, but I gotta try. <sighs> All right. If I do this, what you want, show you the way over the pass. You don't come back. All right, you promised me you don't come back. I got you. <sighs> Shit, now I gotta talk to Boozer. Pissing our pants about a bunch of rip. Holy Bruiser, shit. Bruiser, I. I... Uh -huh. huh. Last winter, we were up on Farewell Ridge. We were watching the freaks. Thousands, thousands of them. I mean, too many to count. Yeah, I remember. All I could think was every one of us, man, woman, and child, are now homeless. A bunch of goddamn refugees. Yeah. The world belongs to them now. We'll survive. <laughs> yeah, we've been doing that all right. Surviving isn't living. <laughs> Something Jack used to say. Doesn't matter when you hit the road where you're heading out to, but you damn well better know where you're coming home to. You know, we never talked about it. While we still wore the colors all this time out in the freak show when shit like this didn't matter anymore. Yeah, habit, I think. Last two Mongols on Earth, farewell originals. <laughs> the biker boys, most badass drifters on the broken road. Damn straight. Yeah, I guess we did become sort of a brand. The, we were a lot of things, but we were never a brand. <laughs> <laughs> When we rode out of Farewell, without Sarah, without Jack, or anyone, I knew that we were leaving everything behind. Everything that mattered was gone. Except this. You're a nomad again, huh? Yep, I guess I am. Come on, Jack. 
Inside, let's go. If she's out there, you can find her. Deke, you ready? Yeah, Mike, I'm ready. Meet me at the gate. Don't keep me waiting. Yeah, sure, Mike, whatever you say. Hey. Her Big Mike is taking you over the pass? Yep. You really think she's still alive? Billions of people are dead, but somehow she made it. Hey, we made it, didn't we? If I give up now, if I don't... If I don't do this... Well, then I'm just gonna end up like, uh... Like us. Right? Like Iron Mike, like Boozer? What'd you call us? Campers, yeah? You go, and you find your woman. You know where to find me. You know what? You know what I think, Deacon? I think that you're you're afraid to be here. You're afraid to be a part of something. We need you here, and that scares the hell out of you. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, me too. You ready? Yeah, I want to get the hell out of here. Come on, this way. Okay, I'm following you. Took Jack out fishing once, before, you know? No oh, shit. I got one. Didn't know what the hell to do with it. <laughs> that sounds like Jack. Oh, he ran a pretty tight club. Or you boys raised some hell back in the day. But I don't think you murdered anyone. Not in cold blood. It's not murder if they shoot at you first. You know how many tourists we used to get through here come summer? A few. Thousands. Too many to count. Highway be bumper to bumper with SUVs and campers chock full of sunburned moms, beer chugging dads, and their snot nosed kids. Goddamn rainbow of floppy hats, Hawaiian shirts, and flippy flops. All summer long they come. A trail of colorful ants from LA to farewell to here, nonstop. I'm glad I avoided road trips out here that time of year.
us the help. I don't have a choice, Mike. Fair enough. Come on, just follow me. <sighs> yeah, okay. This is as far as I go. Keep following the trail. It'll take you down the mountain, on into the Diamond Lake Valley. I wish you luck. Hope you're right about your old lady still being alive. She is. Well, maybe so. But you gotta ask yourself, Deke. Is what does it matter if everyone else is dead? You're out there. I'll find you. Mayday! Mayday! Captain Corey? You there? Come in! Mayday! No one's listening. Damn it! Try again! What the hell? Jesus, I don't Mr. know what we would have done without oh, you, man. Oh, go on. Hey, okay, all right, all right, all right. It's dead. It's cool. Man of the hour. Oh, God. I'm Russell. Glenn Russell. This is Private Mullins. Rick. Uh, hey, Rick. Uh, I'm Deacon St. John. Did, did you say private? Yeah. Yes, sir. The Shoots County Militia. You're not from around here. You come over the pass? Uh, no, no, no. I've just been uh, drifting. I came over the uh, salt flats east of Silver Lake. <laughs> What? What the hell are you doing out here, man? How'd you get across the 97? Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus, man. 
What? This guy just saved your freaking life. The colonel told us to look out for anybody entering the territory, north or south. The freaking slow your roll, man. We'll let the captain deal with that, okay? Fine. He just killed a freaking ranger, dude. Come with us. We got a camp just by Diamond Lake. Get you three hots and a cot. Least we can do. Okay, yeah, sounds good. What about Flores? We can't just leave him here. Uh, you stay here. I'll come back with some fuel. No! Listen, stay here. Use his ammo if you gotta. You'll be fine. Okay? Let's go. Following you. Okay, got it. So, uh, the shoots county militia? Look, man, all I know is they feed me. They want me to salute and yes, sir, I salute and say yes, sir. How big's your outfit? You camp out here? We got a hundred, maybe more. Hard to keep track. Back at HQ, a whole lot more than that. Yeah, okay. Uh, any women? Hell, that what you're about? Well, you can forget it. Colonel's got rules about that. Frat, fratern, fraternity. Fraternizing! <laughs> yeah, that. Look, you pull your weight, follow orders, nobody messes with you. Women same as the men. Don't matter to the colonel. I'm not... Oh, just, listen, I, I'm just... I'm looking for some people and a woman that I rode with a year back or so. They would have come over from Silver Lake, and they would have been at one of those Nero refugee camps, I think. Silver Lake? Jesus, man. Silver Lake's been gone a lot longer than that. Yeah, yeah, it's too goddamn easy to lose track of time out of here, you know? Anyway, do you guys, uh, do you pick anyone up? Survivors, I mean, from, uh, from the refugee camp? Maybe. Like I said, it's a big freaking army, you know? Ask the captain. He came in across the salt flats, I think. He might know. The captain? Yeah, Corey. He commands the Diamond Lake outpost. We're almost there. This is it. It's Corporal Russell. Open up. Report. Captain, sir, we had him. We did. Found his bike still smoking. I bet you lost him, huh? Uh, no, sir. I mean, yeah, we lost him. We ran into a rager, sir. Where's Mullins? Flores? Flores is dead, sir. I'll have Mullins with a body. That'll be all, Corporal. Go get some fuel. Head back to Mullins. You know what to do. Yeah. Yes, sir. If it wasn't for this man, we'd all be dead, sir. I sort of promised him some food and a safe place to camp tonight, sir. Corporal, get the fuck out of here. And you are? Name's Deacon St. John. Name's Corey. Derek Corey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, sorry, I'm a little tired. I've been on the road for a long time. Your man Russell said you were recruiting? Well, are you interested? I've been looking to settle down. Yeah, find a camp. I'm interested. Come on. So, how long you been drifting? Hard to say. Uh, you lose track of time out there, you know? So, uh, where'd you get your gear? Ammo? Well, there was a couple of camps I used to do runs for. Bounty hunting, mostly. Greeks? Or men? Both. I had a reputation for being able to track shit down, you know? Uh, which camps? Where are they? You know, past the Farewell Valley. It doesn't matter. They're gone now. They're overrun. Uh, Russell said you were there when Silver Lake was overrun? That was a shit show, I can tell you. Uh, any survivors? A few. Move, move, move! Come on! You can run faster than that. 
Here, take this. Militia script, camp credits. Payment for helping my men. Use them at any of the commissaries. Okay. You gonna join up? Stick around. We're getting ready to ride out of here soon. Getting ready to ride out where? You said you had some tracking skills. Yeah, some. This isn't the life of a drifter. We're fighting a war out here. You sure you're up for it? Is that the best you got? I can recruit you, but the Colonel is the only one who can swear you in. You stick around. Give us a hand. I'll take you to him myself. I'll be here. Good. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, motherfucker, has my ring. He took it from Sarah. He had to take it from Sarah because she wouldn't have given it to him, so that means that she's got to be here. Hmm. Whoa, he doesn't whoa, look like militia. Whoa. Come on! You can run faster than that. My dead. Hey. Uh, you don't look very militia to me. Nah, um, man. Name's Wade. Wade Taylor. You can call me Wade. Deacon St. John. <laughs> Holy Listen. shit! Deacon St. John? Is your old man a preacher or something? No. Man, that is a hell of a name. All right, listen. You wait. see this, man? This is some crazy shit. Yeah. Whew. So what, you joining up, becoming an army man? You playing soldier and shit? I don't know, maybe. Listen, mm -hmm. uh, you look like you just came in from out the shit, right? Yeah, man, yesterday. Okay, yesterday. I've been... No waiting to see the colonel, whatever the hell that is. Traveling with some people, we got separated. You see anyone that looked like this around here? Uh, nah, man. Ooh, she is a looker. I'd hit that, you know. <laughs> uh, I gotta go, man. They're... Checking me for lice or some shit. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Jesus, what a name. Jesus, that dude's fucked up. He wouldn't remember Sarah if she slapped him in the face. Come on, Sarah, come on. Where the hell are you? You're here, somewhere. Maybe in these tents. The infirmary, I mean, with her background, that's where she would be, right? No, she wouldn't be in the mechanics area. She never knew a wrench from a screwdriver. Maybe in here. Nope, not here. Check this one. God damn it, she's not here either. That's gotta be the one. Sarah? Sarah, you in here? Shit, not here. Oh, God damn it, she's not here. She's not here, but... Good right. luck. Yeah, yeah, it couldn't be that easy. No, could it? Okay, then. Goodbye. St. John, are you on this channel? Corporal Russell said you had a radio. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm here. Meet me at the gate. On my way. Hunt! I'm getting ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. So you put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some. Open it up! Are you any good? Can you ride? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can ride. Do you want to join the militia? You're going to have to prove it to me. See if you can keep up, St. John. So what the hell happened back there? I mean, it looks like a forest fire, but the stumps are charred. So that means... That means that the timber was cut before it was burned. You got a good eye. We call it the dead zone. We use the timber to build our barricades, then burn the slash. From the outpost, we can see a horde coming long before it reaches us. And what? You're gonna burn all the buildings, too, so the newts and the swarmers have nowhere to sleep? You know you're freaks, huh? Like I said, I've been out in the ship for a long time. So that's your plan, huh? The militia, I mean, to burn everything to the ground? We're fighting a war out here, St. John. We'll do whatever it takes to win. A war? That's what it is, isn't it? A war? been out in this shit. You've seen the hordes. The only thing that's gonna stop them 
is an army. Our army. It's gonna take way more than an army! Well, we have a plan. The Colonel lets you join, he'll fill you in. So, Silver Lake, you asked about survivors. Are you looking for someone? No. No, not really. I mean, look, there were some folks that I rode with once, and I thought maybe they ended up there. Uh, I thought maybe you were after someone. For a bounty, I mean. Yeah, no. I tracked men over long distances before, but not this far. No bounty's worth that. This is it. Hey, Corporal. The captain's here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right. You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. You find something? Uh, how long is, uh, Vasquez? How long has Vasquez been with you guys? A couple of weeks, maybe more. <laughs> Well, he's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. I can't track him from the bike. God. Where do we start? It's been snowing, so uh, there won't be any boot prints. Come on, I want to look inside the cabin. Okay, I'm following you. I can use this. I can use this. You, uh, <clears throat> you said he stole rations, ammo? Yes. This is an MRE. It's half eaten, so looks like your men rode up on him when he wasn't expecting it. His bike's still out front, which means that he went out the back. Wait, over here. What would you find? The fence has been cut. And no rust. So it was cut recently? Yeah. Come on, this way. Hey, hold on for a second. Look. Over here. Tracks? Uh, yeah. We're in luck. <sighs> this way. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. What? You find something? Yeah. Shell casing. Recently fired. He, uh... Well, he stopped to shoot at something. Come on. Down here. Hold up, hold up. Go on. Get out of here. What are you doing? Did that ever work for you? Yelling at a wolf? Eh, depends. Look out! More wolves! I see him! Bam! That's the last of Okay, I want to take a look at this thing. Looks like the MREs weren't enough for your man. Clean gunshot right through the head. Yeah, the wolves must have heard the shot. Decided they wanted it more than Vasquez. Yeah, the rest of the pack came at us from back that way, from the east. You think they chased off Vasquez, leaving one to guard the carcass? <sighs> That's my guess. Come on, let's see if you're right. You guys got a lot of wolves out here? Ones that aren't infected, I mean? Yeah, we get reports almost every day. When I was a kid growing up, there were no wolves in Oregon. I mean, a few coyotes, but... No wolves. They've been driven to extinction by ranchers and farmers, timber companies. Well, it looks like they're making a big comeback. Hold up, hold up, hold up. But what is it? It's a backpack. It's one of ours. Looks like they almost got to him. And he shrugged off the pack to get away. No, no, no. To buy time. 
He landed on his ass. Tried to scramble away, but then the wolf lunged. Vasquez dropped him. Two shots. You can tell all that? Yeah. Wait, get down. A swarm. A Nero gravesite. I don't think this one is marked on our map. They're scattered all over the region. Yeah, well, maybe that explains why uh, Vasquez came through here. Let's go around. Exactly what I was thinking. St. John, this way. Yeah, right there with you. I gotta say, I'm getting tired of running and hiding from these sons of bitches. You ever take on a swarm? Yeah, I've done it before. You just gotta keep moving. Well, look, are you gonna join the militia? You must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. Being in the shit, killing freaks, it kinda goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Okay, um, put some distance between us and the graves. The cold weather's gonna bring out even more of them. I think they can smell the corpse from about a mile out. Part of our slash and burn strategy is to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them. It's just in this part of the state alone. And we've got to start somewhere. All right, where now? Keep heading east. Hey, there's a road ahead. Hold up a second. What do you think? Is anyone else tracking him? Not that I know of. Huh. Well, then he's either dead, or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Okay. Come on. Let's see where they're heading. You said cold weather brings out the freaks? Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain, hell, even clouds. Well, like I said before, you know your freaks. When we get to command, there's some people who want to talk to you. People? The Colonel will fill you in, if he lets you join. Yeah, yeah, I think you said that already. Look, he runs a tight outfit. I just don't want you to get your hopes up. Hey, don't worry about me. I don't really give a damn either way. Hey, wait. Hear that? Yeah, it's coming from the logging camp over there. Is that on your map? Yeah. Oh, that means it's also on Vasquez's map. Come on. Vasquez is there. What would your strategy be? Well, he's not alone. We know that from the tracks. What's that militia penalty for going AWOL? Hanging by the neck until dead. Why? Well, it means Vasquez isn't coming without a fight. See your man? Yeah. That's him. Oh, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Well, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, this one's a fighter, boys! What do you think? Oh, we'll see about that. Oh, hell no. What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? You see me wearing a red armband? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want. Oh, 
Of them. Yeah, I think so. Nice work. Come on, let's go deal with your man. Vasquez? He isn't my man. Not anymore. Whew, okay, wait here. Stand guard in case we missed anyone. You can handle him? He won't know what to hit him. Easy, easy. I'm not gonna. I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. Okay. I'm just gonna move over here. Stay the hell away from me! Hold on, hold on now. We're not with them. You think I give a damn who you are? Okay. Okay. Might be useful. What the hell was that? Just your typical damsel in distress. Vasquez? Done. Way done. Captain Corey? Come in. This is Corey. We're here. Heading up the road to the main gate. Hold your position there. We're coming. What about the enemy? They've been, uh, uh neutralized. Uh, hold your position. Curry out. Come on. We brought up your bikes, Captain. Thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Well, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. You passed. This is the third day in a row I Oh. You ready to meet the Colonel? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Why the hell not? <laughs> so, St. John, where did you serve? Before the ship went down. Yeah, you know what an MRE looks like. You know how to recon an enemy position. You know cover in advance, tactical maneuvers. So, where did you serve? Marines? Army? I try not to talk about it, you know? I mean, first year out here, Seemed like anyone who used to wear a uniform had a target on their back. I, uh, I was in the army, 10th Mountain. I did a full tour in Afghanistan. So how about you? Anyone who's ex-military has a, a certain bearing. None of your soldiers have it, but you do. Like I said, you got a good eye. I was in the Air Force 10 years, part of SAC. There ain't no missile silos in Oregon. I was on vacation, believe it or not. I was lucky. Before SATCOM went down, I got hourly reports from across the country. You think it was bad out here? Everything east of the Mississippi was overrun within two days. Hold up. I want to show you something.
So you familiar with this area? Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell, you know it? No. Uh, it sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. So maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here. Uh, a few summers back, me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pick? Uh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> her name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago. Hmm. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why, because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. <sighs> Speak for yourself. After you. Mm. <sighs> All right. Uh, you know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chival what? <laughs> no, it means, um... It, right. I never learn. I'm sorry about that. Oh my god, you should have seen the look on your face. Oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. Hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did. So, where are we going? Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. <laughs> what would my mom say if she knew I was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw biker? Well, I don't know. She'd say, honey, you better wear your sweater. Very funny. Yeah, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Oh, come on, Deacon. I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just... I mean, I, I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. Well, yeah, I mean, there's that. The question is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in? Oh, well, okay, wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there, that's true, but we don't live there. And second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? Well, yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhDs to be very sexy. Oh, yeah, I bet. So, you know this is way past my bedtime, right? Oh, I know. Come on, stop. I mean, I really do have to get up early tomorrow. Yeah? Uh, how's that going? I mean, you, uh... Well, you never want to talk about it, so... It's nothing. It's just... Ugh, it's just this project, I and mean, we've got these execs flying in from New York to audit our progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even showing me the spec, and... Ooh, well, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... You know what, like I said, it's nothing. Anyway, thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah, no problem. Whoa, wait, is this a pop farm? Is this what you wanted to show me? Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system. So this here, this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that, pot farm. Mm. 
You dragged me out in the middle of the night to the middle of nowhere to show me the MC's illegal rowing operation. Uh, yeah. I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation. Put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, DQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. Ugh, you think I would learn? You think I would learn, but I never learn. Nope. God, God, look at that moonlight. It is, it's so beautiful. Keep going. Uh, we're almost there. You ever wonder what it would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just see the world just like this? What, you mean like all dark and shadowy and depressing? I mean the moonlight, the wildflowers and the fireflies. Oh, I see you were kidding again. <laughs> okay, you don't take anything seriously. Oh, I take everything seriously. Oh, yeah, right. I do. You do not. Like when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh oh, -uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. You should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone and I took a picture. You want me to show you? My God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay, first of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right. That is a huge commitment. Well, I mean, do you know how much a good toothbrush costs? Okay, see, there you go again. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. Okay, all right. We do need to talk about it, and we will talk about it, but just hold on for a second, because I want to... <laughs> I want to show you something, okay? See? This is why I brought you out here. <sighs> wow, how beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yes. <sighs> hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? <gasps> Deacon? Will you... Will I? Will you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so that a yes? On two conditions. Name them. Okay, well the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're gonna ride me as much as your bike. Done, I couldn't promise that anyway. Oh, stop. Okay, the second one... The second one is that you never leave me. Done. God, did you just break your biker ring on my finger? Uh, you know what? <laughs> I think I probably Ooh. did. <sighs> <sighs> Look at it. It's so cute with its little bangs just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skulls. Dog skulls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. Oh, if it's Morier Invictus, hmm. it means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. Well, you're gonna get me like a real ring, though, right? No, that this one's no, not absolutely, great. Absolutely, because I, I just you know, thought that's my ring. You can't right, keep it's your that. ring. Right. Something more simple, without things. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. It's the lab. I gotta get it. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. No, 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 it's fine. I'll be right there. Okay, bye. Is everything okay? I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute? Like, th at this time of night? I'm sorry. I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Come on.
My wife's name was uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pick. Let's go. Not unusual, you know. I'm sorry, what's that? To not have any photos of your wife, family. Yeah, why do you say that? Back in the day, everyone used smartphones. That's where we kept all our photos. When phones went away, when the cloud went away, our photos went with them. Yeah, I guess I hadn't thought about that. My wife, Carrie. Her father was a photographer. Old school. Dark room, chemicals, all that. Too stubborn to embrace the digital age, I think. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have any photos either. Yeah, well, I hated him. Cell phones, I mean. Seemed like everyone walked around with their noses buried in the damn things. I never owned one. Interesting. How'd you manage that? I worked as a mechanic. I, uh, I had my own shop. Probably had the last landline in Farewell. You guys are taking this shit seriously. The Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up. I'm going as fast as I can. Just move it! Is that your idea of motivation? The Colonel has set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. How bad? Come on, follow me. Yes, sir. Stand up there with the others. Good luck, St. John. <laughs> Got your ass too, huh? Whatever. Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of a preacher man? Taylor, what's this son of a preacher man shit you keep saying? I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? The, the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps are riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. What? Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. Besides, shit's just gonna get stolen. Come on, cough it up. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Goddamn bullshit. Tin hut! At ease. Visitors are not welcome here. You are here because you were invited, recruited by my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Atkins, Crystal, sir. How many men have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Fuck you. We have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive, to stay alive. I'm gonna sleep like the Almighty you. understands this. Right. The Almighty yeah. forgives Amen. this. Amen. <laughs> but here, on this woman's face are the footprints of Satan. Prison tattoos. Proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. It's people like her that are responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us all. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What the? Ah. Fuck you. Get her out of here. Get Fuck you. Come off. on, gorgeous. Let's Goddamn go. Goddamn redneck asshole. Get off of me. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. What about Get you? Get off me. 
Uh, Taylor, uh, wait. And, um, no, sir. I, uh, never been to jail. Never killed anyone, nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I know. I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid. Was at, at a camp near Klamath Falls. It got... And how about you, son? You know how to use a gun? St. John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain. Iraq? Afghanistan. Honorable service, and don't lie to me. I'll know. Served one tour, served with honor. Hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. Good man. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new constitution of these United States? Against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all orders without question. So, do you swear? I swear. Dismissed. Walk with me, son. Captain Curry doesn't bring me many recruits these days. He must think highly of your combat skills. Oh, I've been in the shit a long time. You know your way around the freaks? Yes, sir. I, uh, I know as much as anyone, sir. Good, good. In here. We'll have the doc take a look at you. Pulse is strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run-in with wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Yeah, thank you. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc? How is fit to serve? Lo hará bien. You doing runs out in the shit? <laughs> Sorry, Doc. Uh, ya tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. Let's go, son. I normally don't tolerate insubordination, referring to an officer as a witch. But I make exceptions for some of my more eccentric officers. Yes, sir. I make exceptions because every man and woman still living has a role to play. Do you believe in God, St. John? Never gave it much thought, sir. Well, it's high time that you did. He has a plan for us, all of us. And my part is this. Okay, son, let's get you squared away. Whatever you say. Now, we don't have much in the way of uniforms, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I think that... Uh, oh, here. Try this on. <sighs> Seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift from an old friend. An old friend? <laughs> not many of those left anymore, are there? No, there are not. Okay, soldier. But I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. And normally we start new recruits in the rank of private. But since Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field, we are starting you out at the rank of corporal. Thank Congratulations, you. son. Thank you, sir. Yeah, let's get you some work.
All right. Now, what was I saying? Uh, you were telling me about the Ark, sir. Yes, the Ark. What you see here is only a small part of it. Behind us is a whole network of caves and vents that lead from here up to the Cone's Peak. When our work is complete, they will be filled with thousands of seeds, plants, computer files, and books. The world may die, but our achievements in medicine, science, and technology will not die with it. No, sir. But the island is more than just an Ark, Corporal. It is a stronghold, a fortress. Here at the North Gate, we are stockpiling enough munitions to take the fight to the freaks. We have rifles, grenades, heavy machine guns, and RPGs. We have the equipment to make ammunition, every type, every caliber. This is our mechanical engineering area. If you need your bike repaired, see the officer on duty. And as you can see here, courtesy of the old National Guard, we are building a fleet of trucks and other vehicles. Once the hordes are cleared from the highways, we will begin to rebuild the roads and bridges. Your slash and burn strategy may stop newts and swarmers, but it won't clear the highway. It won't, it won't stop the hordes, sir. We are aware, Corporal. The hordes. The hordes are a different beast entirely, aren't they? But we have a plan. Plan, sir? Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. We are not going to fail. The heart of the army lives here, at the gate, ready to move on my command. These tents house hundreds of women and men, just like yourself, who have pledged and sworn their lives to the fight. But I have something else in mind for you. An assignment that requires more than just the ability to survive in the shit or use a gun. Are you up for it, son? Uh, yes, sir. Wherever you need me. You asked how we were going to defeat the Horde? Let me show you. I hate you. squatting in bushes, you know? Yeah. Now! Shit! You okay, Lieutenant? Oh, hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Defeat the enemy. Sorry. But, yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. St. John, Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show, right, Colonel? Corporal St. John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit, he's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. There's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphthenic and palmitic acid. Mm, you working on napalm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, anytime. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where are you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. <clears throat> Again, let me apologize for my more eccentric officers. No need, sir. All right, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Okay, well, why don't you read it? <sighs> Active ingredients. Chlor chlor chloroform and uh, A -terp turpin turpin. Get out. Shit. Get out! <sighs> Matt, I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker. This is Corporal St. John. He's a new member of Corey's unit. He's got some experience out on the shit. Read this. What? Read this. 
than you can read, can you? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, ethyl acetate. Good enough. When can he start? Ah, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us. Sir. Stand at attention. You're dead. You're, you're supposed to be hey, dead. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're dead. I'm right here. Wait, wait a, wait a second. I, I don't understand. I, I couldn't I find you. You had died, and I. Uh, no, we were overrun. Who's your and, we had to go south. We, Nero, they yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it out. Ryan and Farewell I was overrun. They said that everybody the was mountain, dead. And I didn't think that. I never thought I would, I would see, you again. see you again. Hey, hey, listen. Now we can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't look back. Come on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. Are they forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I didn't come here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. Corporal St. John to Lieutenant Weaver. Come back. St. John to HQ. This is Weaver. What can I do for you, Corporal? Uh, your requisition form says you need mercury. Any idea where I can get it? Yeah, sure. I should have written that shit down for you. It comes from, uh, Cinnabar. Corey's unit scouted out of mine north of Diamond Lake. Head there, radio me when you arrive. Yes, sir. Hey, between you and me? If the colonel isn't around, stop with all the yes sir, no sir bullshit, all right? Makes me feel old. Okay, now that's more like it. Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> Oh, big spender. Yeah, okay. See ya, Corporal. Deke. New guy? Name's Caleb. Caleb Tomlinson. Deacon St. John. Yeah, I, I just wrote... Corporal St. John. Uh, Deke. See you around.
Corporal St. John, is it? Yes, sir. Come in. Just enjoying a cup of tea, herbal, courtesy of uh, Lieutenant Whitaker. Would you like to try some? It's very good for the digestion. Uh, no, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm, I was just looking for the duty roster. I have an assignment for you. Men, Corporal. Not that they deserve to be called that. They've taken one of ours. Lieutenant Justine Norwood, a fine officer. And they have her, so, uh, yes, I will get her back, sir. With the help of men like you, we're going to take back this world. Dismissed. St. John, Captain Curry to Deacon St. John. Please report to me at Diamond Lake. Yes, Captain, I'm here. Uh, copy that. Radio works. What's up? Deacon St. John. Hey. Uh, I mean, you know, nothing. Just, just, <laughs> just checking in on you. I haven't seen you since the old swearing in thing. That was some shit, am I right? <laughs> Taylor, you know, I'm kind of busy. But hey, hey, what, what the, what the hell you, you got? They got you doing? I'm, I'm in the damn infantry or some shit. Spend all day burning out nests, chopping down trees, hauling wood. So, sorry, sorry. What, are, what are you doing? Research. They got me going out into the shit, finding supplies for the officers, working on... Oh, shit! Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, working on uh, on uh, bioweapons, uh, chemical weapons, shit like that. Burn them freaks the ground, am I right? Don't shoot. <laughs> yeah, Corporal look, Saint John. Taylor, I gotta go. All right, all right, hey, uh, um, hey, look, man, it's, uh, it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm having second thoughts about all this military shit, you know, Ah, Taylor, what radio are you on? Are you sure that you're not being monitored? Oh, shit! Huh, that's what I thought. Gotta go. St. John out. Corporal. Good. I have a job that requires your... unique skills. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, uh, yes, sir. You remember Vasquez? The man that went AWOL. Yeah, we tracked him to the logging camp, I remember. Well, this man, Sergeant Lee Anderson, was his partner. He was about to be arrested when he killed a guard and took off. Oh, your men have quite the code of honor. Our men? You're one of us now, remember? Now mark the location on where he was last seen on your map. Apparently, like Vasquez, he wasn't alone. Great. I'll open the gate.
Corporal Deacon St. John. <laughs> hey, you got your ears on, man? Hey. Taylor, what do you need? There you are. Okay. Uh, so I finally figured out how to use this damn thing. All right. I got a secure channel and everything. So how's it going, man? <sighs> Taylor, I'm kind of busy right now, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> uh, hey, so... Words out of the camp, the drugs are making their way in, right under the colonel's nose. <laughs> it's good stuff, too. Uh, yeah, run at him. yeah, 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 sorry, man, sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, you were saying? Yeah, 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 sorry, man, sorry. <laughs> uh, hey, so, words out of the camp, the drugs are making their way in, right under the colonel's oh, nose. It. <laughs> it's good stuff, too. But do you know anything about that? Done. I don't do drugs, Taylor, so no, I don't know anything about it. Why? No, 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 I don't, I don't either. I'm just, I saw this guy, you know, one of the new recruits, acting all suspicious. He writes in it, been out of camp all the time, and so I thought, I thought I'd follow him, right? <laughs> Let's see what the hell he's about. Ah, oh, God damn it, Taylor! Listen to me. You just go to Corey, let him handle it. You got that? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is good call. Yeah. Okay, Mister St. John, I'll uh, I'll talk to you later, man. Yeah, uh, out. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Taylor! What the hell are you doing? Captain Corey, I'm at the site where Sergeant Anderson was last seen. Well, if he still has it, take his militia. All right, Anderson. Let's go take care of business. Scrap. Okay. No, oh, he's gotta be here somewhere. Where the hell is he? All oh, right, what have we got? Oh shit, wolves.
gotta take a closer look. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? Oh my god, is that an Anderson, Nether Dragon? Well, how the hell am I gonna get my bounty? Good coyote. Hello, squatter camp. Sons of bitches have been setting up ambushes around here, yeah? Near a beacon. Okay, where is it? Oh, I've gotta find another way to that cave. <laughs> Corporal Deacon St. John. <laughs> Hey, you got your ears on, man? Hey. Taylor, what do you need? There you are, okay. Uh, so I finally figured out how to use this damn thing. All right, I got a secure channel and everything. So how's it going, man? <sighs> Taylor, I'm kind of busy right now, so. Yeah, 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 sorry, man, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You were saying something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> uh, hey, so words out in the camp that drugs are making their way in right under the colonel's nose. <laughs> it's good stuff, too. <laughs> do you know anything about that? I don't do drugs, Taylor, so no, I don't know anything about it. Why? No, 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 no. I, I don't either. I'm just, I saw this guy, you know, one of the new recruits acting all suspicious. He writes in <laughs> and out of camp all the time, and so I thought, I thought I'd follow him, right? <laughs> Let's see what the hell he's about. Ah, oh, God damn it, Taylor, listen to me. You just go to Corey, let him handle it. You got that? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good call, yeah. Okay, Mr. St. John, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later, man. Yeah, uh, out. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Go on. <laughs> just crawl under here. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The feds were whining babies, suckling at the teat of us taxpayers. But dumb as they were, we can't underestimate them. You gotta know that Chief Muckety Mucks are hiding out there in some bunker, waiting for the freaks to die off. He didn't save the hungry, or their precious constituents. The real reason they're in power. They saw the elite, the men in the great ball. They're sitting underground, probably drinking champagne while they wait. Meanwhile, we're out here dying, suffering. Also, the feds can hit the damn reset button. But they didn't account for one thing. They're not as stupid as they thought we were. And once they emerge to reclaim the world when the freaks are gone, we'll be waiting. Oh, yes, we will. Hey, you still got your militia armband? This is Mark Copeland for Ray.
I just gotta, just gotta go back and turn this in. No, no, no. Oh, sniper. Fuck you like that, huh? Shoot at me, you fucking bastard. Come on. We got one down. Won't be needing this. It's all right, Corporal St. John. Captain, I found your man, Anderson, and you were right. He still had his militia insignia. He's dead? Well, let's just say that he had a run-in with a pack of wolves long before I got to him. That's a fitting end for a murderer and a thief. Yes, sir. Thank you, Corporal. Dismissed. Hey, Corporal St. John. Uh, how's it going? Hey, sir. I ha haven't seen you around before. L Lucas Monroe. Yeah, uh, I just shipped in, you know. Uh, Corporal St. John. Well, Corporal D. I'll see you around, you around yeah? here. Name's Ava Bergstrom. Friends call me Bergie. Deacon St. John, yeah, I, I just got here. Well, Deacon St. John, you do your job, and we'll get along just fine. See you, Corporal. It's been real nice. Corporal Deacon St. John, good, good to see you. Hold on, I got this. Corporal St. John, <laughs> uh, Wade Taylor to Deacon St. John. <laughs> Anyway, I was saying... <sighs> Taylor, uh, I hear a bike. Tell me you're not out in the shit tracking down that truck trap here. Okay, okay. <laughs> I won't tell you that, but I am. <laughs> God damn it, Taylor, you're gonna get yourself killed. No, man, no, no. Hey, I followed a bunch of them up the highway. Uh, an 97? Hey, hey, it was, no, it was, it was daylight, the weather was clear, I didn't see a single freak. Um, but there was this, this group of, of men ended up at the ski lodge. Did you even know there was a ski lodge out here? I didn't know that. <sighs> Taylor. It's a sweet-ass setup, too. If I ever decide to bug out, that is where I'm going. <laughs> oh, shit, I gotta run. They're, they're stopping at another camp. Taylor, out. <laughs> Taylor. Taylor, god. Damn it! Stupid kid's gonna get himself killed. Beacon St. John to Captain Corey. St. John to Corey, come back. St. John. I've just spoken with the Colonel. He's assigned you to the Research Division? Captain, uh, Research Division, or, uh, I guess you could call it that. Uh, I'm helping Lieutenant Weaver and Lieutenant Whitaker. Good. They can use all the help you can offer. 
I don't know how much help I'm gonna be and just sort of their errand boy for now. And actually, that's why I radioed in. Lieutenant Whitaker gave me a requisition form that says yeast. Yeast? Hold a second. We have patrols making supply runs throughout the region. When they come across anything of potential value, they note it down. Yes, here. The yeast and other baking supplies were noted in the kitchen area of the Crater Lake Visitor's Center. You know where that is? Yeah, I could find it. Good luck, Corporal. Hurry out. Why are you not working hard? Why are you still in my obstacle course? Why are you not finished with my obstacle course? Visitor center. That's gotta be it. No, I just gotta find some yeast. Kitchen. Yeah. Well, it's gotta be in the kitchen. Shit. Breakers. Okay, now where the hell is the yeast? Yeah, worth some credits. Got it. Yeast, yeast. Uh, 
Okay, here we go. Here it is. Yes. I hope this is enough. Lieutenant Whitaker, reporting in. Deacon, uh, <clears throat> Corporal St. John, yes. I, uh, got the item on your requisition form, the yeast. There wasn't much. I I'm sure that whatever you have is gonna be fine. So, um, just curious, uh, why do you need... Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. I gotta go. I'll talk to you when you bring it in. Whitaker, out. Okay. <sighs> You're welcome. Damn it. Ma'am? Would you stop doing that, please? I'm sorry? I know that things are strange, but I can't help that right now. Well, I live in a barracks with a dozen militia assholes when my wife lives in a private tent up on an officer's ridge. Nothing strange about that. Deacon. And the only time that I see her is when I'm done running one of her errands. Nothing strange about that either, ma'am. My yeast, thank you. Uh, are, are you baking something? I mean, if you need an oven, I know no, where to find no, one. No, no, I'm using it to create <clears throat> viral proteins that they, they trigger these antibodies. <laughs> but of course, you are being sarcastic. Bread, viral proteins, it's all the same to me. Hey, wait a second. Here. Thank you. You already said that. I meant for staying. Yes, ma'am. No, no. Set them over there. Thank you. Corporal St. John, this is Dr. Jimenez. St. John? Hey, Doc, this is Deacon. What can I do for you? St. John, good. I need you to stop by the infirmary. Uh, is something wrong? You need something? No, no, nothing like that. I want to check on that arm. My arm, my, my arm's fine, Doc. <laughs> a burn like that from a wood stove is nothing to play around with. You want la infección? You come see me. That's an order. All right, Doc. All right, fine. Whatever you say. St. John out. Hey, Doc. Uh, Come in. Siéntese. Have a seat. Have a seat. Mm -hmm. oh. Let's look here. So, who did you ride with back in the day? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're uh, getting at. No me mientas. Look, Corporal. I spent 20 years in East LA patching up bandas de motoristas and every other kind of pandillero. I know the look. And this? No kind of wood stove did this. All right, keep it clean. It'll heal on its own. Leave a nasty scar. But I want you to come back and see me in a couple of days. You got it. Funny thing, when the city burned and the hordes came in, neighborhoods at war for decades all came together, fought together. Latinos, güeros, chinos, bloods, crips. Didn't matter. Crazy what it takes to bring people together sometimes, no? Thanks, Doc.
St. John, come in. Taylor, Deacon St. John. Taylor, haven't heard from you in a while. I was afraid that maybe you'd gotten too close to that man you were tracking. Oh, I'm close, all right. I'm right in the friggin' backyard. Hey, I need your help, man. I'm, I'm at, the, at a small camp south of Crater Lake, just off the South Rim Drive. Taylor, listen to me. I have no idea what you're doing, but you got... Oh, shit! No, no, no! Let me go! Hey! Taylor? Taylor? Oh, damn it. St. John to Lieutenant Whitaker. Come back. Switching to a private channel. Hold on. Deacon, are you there? Yeah. Uh, hey, so I, I looked at that requisition form. It says that you want silicate? Yeah, silicate. I use it as a distilling medium in the column chromatographer. Ah, uh, column chrom... what? <sighs> Sorry, it's just... it's the one part of my research that's actually going well. So, silicate, where do I get it? Oh shit, I thought I marked it on the rack. Hold on. Okay, there's this little general store southwest of us near Mazama Village. You should be able to find it there. Okay, got it. Thank you. Sorry, never mind. <clears throat> Carry on, Corporal. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Lieutenant. Sarah, out. Silicate. What the fuck is silicate, anyway? St. John, this is Captain Curry. Come in. Yeah, Captain. I'm here. Well, I just wanted to let you know that the Colonel gives an informal talk every day at dusk at the staging area where you were sworn in. Uh, yes, sir. Now, all these talks are informal. Enlisted men and women are expected to attend. <clears throat> uh, copy that, sir. Curry out. All right. Commander likes to give fireside chats. I'm here. Look, I know we have a lot to talk about. Ma'am? This is a private channel. Deke? Okay. I want you to know that I meant what I said about... about you staying and helping. I know this can't be easy for you. Being here like this. Hey, uh, where else am I gonna go? And if I leave, they're gonna make me get back this really cool hat, so I'm starting to like this hat. I mean, really. <laughs> oh, I bet. <sighs> okay. All right. <clears throat> I gotta get back to work. This yeast has already filled up like half a dozen petri dishes. Okay. Save me some of the viral proteins. I got an appetite out here. I'll do that. Lieutenant Whitaker out. <laughs> Captain Corey, this is Corporal Russell. Come in. Move back, damn it. Move. You heard him. Pull back. Pull back. Russell, report. Sir, we were on a supply run trying to get the Shemult, and we. Come on, boy. Don't give up. Oh, we're not Son of a bitch. Tell us where your camp is. Maybe we'll let you live. Fuck you. <laughs> Bring him down! I don't think he can hear us. Yeah? Yeah? Let's see if we can do something about that. You're gonna die. I'm not telling you shit. Come on! Let's do this. Shut up! Hey. Ah! Ah! Can you hear that? Ah! 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 Get him the fuck out of here. Come on! Ah! What do you think? Maybe we could turn this in at that army camp. Get some credits. <laughs> Finally. Shit, asshole. Jesus Christ. I'm coming, Taylor. Hang in there.
thought I saw. You like to torture, do you? Who about this? Hey. Damn it. That's all you got! <laughs> On my side! Take <laughs> <laughs> this all a whole lot of bother. Yeah, keep on. How do you like this, you son of a bitch? <laughs> Bring him down! Don't <laughs> <laughs> fuck with my friends! That did it. Kill him. Kill him! Yes. Oh, man! No, no! Do, do it! Do it! Better do it! Oh! How you doing, Taylor? Um, you know, I've had better days, I'll be honest with you. Okay. Uh, Jesus. Okay, listen to me, pal. Uh, Take this. Hold it against your head like that. Good. Okay. Now, I want you to uh, wait here. Uh, I'm gonna go radio uh, Captain Curry. He's gonna send someone to pick you up, all right? All right, man. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. <sighs> Captain Curry, this is Corporal St. John. Come back. This is Curry. I'm here with Lieutenant Whitaker, checking on your progress. Corporal, I've told Captain Curry that you're an immense help. I don't know what I would do without you. Oh. Ah! That's great. I, it's not why I'm checking in. Captain, uh, there's a marauder camp just off of South Rim Drive. Marauders? This close to the island? Uh, no, listen, no, 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 no. Um, I dealt with these bastards, but we have an injured man, Private Taylor. They fucking slice. This is ear off. Jesus, is he all right? Private Taylor? What was he doing out there? He's... yeah, he's gonna live. Look, no, no idea what he was doing out here. I need you to send docu uh, Captain Jimenez and some men to come out and get him. I'll send you the coordinates. I'll head up there now and let him know. Hurry up. Yeah! Huh. Huh. 
They got him! They're hit! Yeah, keep on going around. Taylor, how you doing, buddy? Like I said, man, I've, I've had better days. Uh, <laughs> hey, I think the bleeding stopped. No, 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 it, it hasn't. <sighs> okay, uh, help is on the way. You hang tight. Uh, you want me to come back? Wait with you? No, oh, oh, hell no, no, no. I mean, I, I already feel like a little bitch, you know. I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine, really. I'll stop by the infirmary later, see how you're doing. Hey, I've seen that thing. It's pretty cushy. Way better than being out here, let me tell you. <laughs> I've seen it too. Uh, don't give the doc too much trouble. Uh, you got that? Dig it out. some silicate. Store. Oh, where the hell is <laughs> Here we go. Silicate. This will work. Okay, now I just gotta find a way out of here. Oh, somebody didn't. <laughs> Come on, you bitch. Yes! Yes! Okay. I'll just park this anywhere. Heard enough out of you.
nest. Gotta be right around here. Another nest. That's go. Weaver, I swear to God. What, are you afraid of a little competition? God, get out! Hey, is there a problem? Ma'am. Just a friendly discussion, Corporal. Lieutenant. What was that all about? <sighs> Nothing, it's just... Weaver, he thinks that the answer to everything is just to burn it all to the ground. God, fuck him. Yeah, fuck him. Here. Thank you. No, don't. What now, Deacon? Thank me. Don't thank me. Every time you thank me, I end up outside with another one of your bullshit requisition forms. My bullshit? I, That's what you think this is? I, I, Everything I that I'm doing is just that. bullshit? No! Of course you didn't mean it. You know, I don't understand why you're still here. Well, then let me enlighten you. I spent the last two years killing freaks. One by one, up close, so close that I could smell the flesh rotting between their teeth. So if you're working on something here that's gonna take them all out at once, fuck it, I'm in. But if you don't want me here, you know what? Just give the order, ma'am. Deacon, wait. I'm sorry, okay? Look, I, I do need... I just... <sighs> Thank... I appreciate your help. St. John, you there? Yeah, I'm here. This is Lieutenant Weaver. Have you even looked at my requisition form yet? I see you doing runs for the witch almost every day. I'm starting to feel left out. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yes, sir. Polystyrene, you need polystyrene, right? Yeah, that's right, polystyrene. If you're having trouble finding it, there's a wreck truck down on Highway 97, south of Shamo, beneath the water tower. Think you can find it? Look, I'll find it, the wrecked truck, okay? I'll get you your, uh, polystyrene. See that to do. We've out.
Colonel St. John, this is Colonel Garrett. Report. Yes, sir. Corporal, yes. This is of the utmost urgency. A soldier, an officer, has gone evil. Uh, an officer? A traitor of the worst kind. He murdered two enlisted men and stole a bike from the motor pool. He's been spotted on the South Rim Drive. The stolen bike has a blue tank. Find him, Corporal. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll chase him down. Corporal, bring him back. Alive. Alive, sir. We're going to hang him, Corporal. An example for anyone who thinks they are above militia regulations. Who thinks they are above the laws of God. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Dismiss, Corporal. Okay, here we go. Uh, almost enough. Just a few more.
Up in flames. Ah, damn criers. This ought to do it. I'll mark the rest on my map. Have Corey send some men out here to get the rest. <laughs> Hey, I uh, got the shit you were asking for. Oh, good, good. Set it down over there. Let me get a piece. Okay. That's good. So how are things going with Lieutenant Whitaker? How do you mean? <laughs> I see you coming and going, man. You're doing a lot of runs for her. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> okay, man. Yeah, I tried to hit that once, when I first got here. Is that right? Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, that lady's got a fine ass. I'm an ass man. I can't help myself. Yeah, yeah. How'd that work out for you? Not too good. I mean, she threw me down on the ground, tried to break my goddamn arm. Listen up. You need to watch yourself with her. That lady's intense. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that in mind. Uh, you know anything else? Uh, no, but grab these and follow me. Lady's got a fine ass. You see, polystyrene is an aromatic hydrocarbon, while gasoline is made up of simple aliphatic hydrocarbons. You try saying that. Anyway, mix the two together, all those molecular chains break up into single covalent bonds. Yeah, everybody knows that. That, my friend, is a napalm molotov, uh, <laughs> and that is how we're gonna win this war. Once I fine-tune the formula, that shit's gonna burn hotter than an acetylene torch! <sighs> know how hot that is? Yeah, I got a pretty good idea. I worked in an auto shop. Do you need anything else? Nah, man. I'm good. So goddamn close. <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> gonna blow up and burn, son! Taking it to their asses!
St. John to Whitaker. I, uh... Uh, Corporal St. John, yes. Matt, the Colonel is here. I was just telling him how helpful you've been. Corporal St. John? Yes. Lieutenant Whitaker has been singing your praises. Just doing my job, Colonel. Uh, sir? I'm glad. Lieutenant Whitaker's work is well behind schedule. Perhaps with your help. Matt, I've told you. Look, biology, the work that I'm doing, is far more complicated than just building a bomb. Weaver is... Lieutenant Weaver is ahead of schedule. If you don't make similar progress, I'm going to have to pull resources from you and give them to him. Is that clear, Lieutenant? Yes, sir, Colonel. Carry on. Uh, is everything okay? It sounds a lot like... Sorry, I have to go. Fuel. Needed this. Corporal St. John, I need to see you. I'll be at the Diamond Lake outpost. Copy that. I'll be there as soon as I can. That's it. Spotted him. It's him, all right. Remember, Corporal, I want him alive. Yes, sir. Colonel, I'll get him. Say, John, out. All right. Oh, you oh, asshole. I'm sorry. Damn it. No. Shoot the bike, Deke. Shoot the bike. Got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell? Going AWOL is one thing, but you didn't have to murder two men to do it. Uh, let go. Please, just let me go. I'll, I'll tell you where I, I stashed it. I swear. Sorry, pal. I told to the Colonel. Colonel, Freaks. I've got him. Freaks. Alive. Freaks. Transmitting Freaks. coordinates now. Freaks. Corporal, good. I'm sending a patrol now. Sarah. Yeah, just um, put it on the counter, will you? Okay. I'm I'm sorry. It's this is just really frustrating for me sometimes. I wouldn't know. Uh, I I just need another requisition form. No, you know what? I'm I, I'm not going to give this one to you. Why? Why not? So I'm gonna go with you this time. Let's go. Come on, soldier. See if you can keep up with me. Yeah, right. When's the last time you went on a run? I mean, you know, out in the shit. Hey, I've done supply runs like anyone else. 
Well, I gotta admit, it's been a while. Do you even have a bike? Yeah, but, uh, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna ride with you on this run. No chance of us getting separated that way. Yes, ma'am. Stop with the... Hey, you, uh, you been inside the Ark yet? Uh, the cave's here. Yeah, I got the grand tour when I arrived. From the Colonel himself. Come on, even you gotta give the man some credit. For the vision, I mean, stockpiling, preparing, saving what we can. Yeah, well, I'll give him this. This island is a goddamn fortress. Nothing's gonna get in here without a hell of a fight. Exactly. Here, this is my tent. Wow, nice place. It's got that woman's touch. You're right. I'm hardly ever here, and most nights I usually spend it on a cot in the lab. Look at this. This will get the job done. It was a gift from Matt when I first joined up. Matt? The Colonel. Oh, Jesus, come on, Deacon. It's just a gun. Come on. Let's go this way. I want to show you something. Following you. When I got here, the militia had cut down almost every tree on the island. I asked Matt, the colonel, to save the last one. Oh, yeah? Well, why did you, uh, do that? Do you remember the weekend we rode up here? To Crater Lake, I mean, after we got married. Uh, yeah, I, I, I remember. I remember thinking, God, when Mount Mazama blew up, I mean, how long did it take the lava to cool and the soil to form? All these trees to grow? When all this is over, when we leave this fucking island, I want there to be at least one tree left. Ah, uh, listen, these guys don't give a shit about any of that. I've... I've been through their dead zone. Look, the Colonel's focused on winning the war. The sooner I do my part, the sooner he'll stop burning everything to the ground. What's wrong? No, nothing. It's just... <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> Hold on, uh... Hold on tight. I remember. There's a community college east of here. Off the highway. You know the one? Yeah, yeah. Uh... Let's take the south bridge. It'll be faster. I'm with you. Hey, so I gotta ask, uh, all this stuff, the, the yeast, the silicon... Why do I need it? The weapon I'm working on is a viricide. If I can isolate the virus that causes the cells to mutate, I can kill it. Okay. Can I ask you something? After that night in Farewell, what happened? I mean, how did you get out? Well, we almost didn't. After the feds pulled out, anyone still alive started putting up roadblocks of their own, and they started shooting people on sight. We somehow made it to that refugee camp where we, where we thought that you were going to be waiting, but like I said, it was gone. So we tried a few others, same story. No survivors, everything overrun. So within a week, the whole damn valley was a war zone. People were killing each other over scraps of food, sometimes killing each other for no reason at all. If Boozer and I hadn't stuck together, I don't think we would have made it. Wait, Boozer? He's alive? Where is he? What happened to him? Yes, he's alive, but he's he's at a camp up north. He can't ride anymore because because he lost his arm. But uh but he is alive. I'm so glad he's alive. I, I'm really sorry. I, I should have asked you about him sooner. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, my turn. Look, 
It's gonna sound stupid, but um, but that night in farewell, my mongrel's ring. Do you still have it? Deacon, I'm sorry. It's the colonel's policy. They they confiscate all jewelry when you come into the camp. They melt down the gold and silver to use in Weaver's project or whatever the hell. I forgot all about it. I'm I'm really sorry. Uh, no, don't worry about it. I don't know. I was just thinking out loud. It doesn't matter. Here, I think this is it. <laughs> You've been here before? Once. Before, you know... Career day. They invited me to give a presentation on exciting careers in biochemistry. <laughs> God. What? Nothing, just... Looking back, it should have been a talk on how to survive the end of the world. Come on. How are we gonna get through this? Should we find a way around? No, uh, hold on. I can boost you up there. You ready? Yeah. Uh, you got it? <clears throat> got it. Here, watch your head. Got it. <clears throat> Jesus, what the hell happened here? This is one of the earliest survivor camps. Set up before they figured out that hordes like to run along the main highways. It was dead long before I got here. This entire place is gonna be crawling. Yeah. Do you know where we're going? Like I said, I've only been here once, but I think the science building is back there. Ah, damn it, Newts. Okay. Wait, 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 wait a second. What's wrong? I mean, I don't want to bring the whole place down in this. We don't even know what's in there. Well, we know what's in there. A bunch of goddamn noobs. How about through here? The door's locked, but it doesn't... I think I can get this. Ah, there. Not so hard. Through here, looks clear. Coming. Here, uh, help me move this. Hold on, okay. You ready? Push! Find another way. No, wait a second, wait a second. We can do this. What? We can do this. Uh, if we both go out there, we're just gonna pull them down on top of each other, so... Wait a second, what if... You come up on top of here. You lay down covering fire. <laughs> you take out the strikers, I'll take out the rest. Are you sure about this? Yeah, 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 I do this all the time. Just keep up a steady stream of fire, all right? Deacon. Once I'm through, just close this up tight. All right. All of them. Yeah, come on down. It's clear. You okay? God, Jesus, that was a little too close. No, we had it all the way. Gunfire's gonna bring in more. 
Yeah, we'll be long gone by then. Where now? Uh, I don't know. Uh, they got the place barricaded up pretty good. Uh, see if there's a hole in any of these walls. Place where we can climb up. All right, I'll look over here. Anything? Hey, over here, there's an open window. Coming. You got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Hold on, let me find something. Ah, uh, Sarah? Hold on, I gotta find something I can throw down. Oh, shit! Oh, Deacon! Oh, shit, shit, shit! God damn it! Uh, just find something for me to climb on! I'm on it! I don't know. <sighs> you know, I, I remember you were always trying to talk me into going back to school. Oh, yeah, well. And now you finally got your way. <laughs> <laughs> well, better late than never. Oh, okay. Thanks. <sighs> you ready? Mm hmm. Let's go. All right. Here, let me go first this time. Yes, ma'am. Whatever you say. It's like a bomb went off in here. Yeah. Maybe one did. Come on. I think we can get through here. The door's jammed. Here. Let me... I got this. I got it. See? I told you. <laughs> Like I said, I got this. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. So, uh, how badly do you need this piece of equipment? All right, we're almost there. Look, we're not giving up now. <laughs> Just asking. Wow, now we know how the freaks were getting in. Someone needed to learn how to park. It looks clear. Shit. More barricades, and they're everywhere. Huh. Uh, check the buildings. I can see the science building. It's over there. Just gotta get through these barriers. <laughs> hey! Another open window. Got it. Here, let me boost you up again. Uh, only this time you... Don't take so long finding something for you to climb. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got it. Okay, hold on. Hey, and try not to attract any more swarmers this time, all right? Sure, yeah, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Sarah, hold on! Damn it, Sarah! 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 No! Damn it! No! Sarah! Sarah! Where are you? Come on, answer me! If anything's happened to you. Sarah? Sarah! Sarah! There are so many of them. I just kept coming. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Come on. I'm 
fine. Come on, we're almost there. This is the science building. Yeah, it looks like this place has been shut up tight from the inside. Come on, there's gotta be a way in. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. I've killed freaks before. No, I know, I know. It's just... Deacon, I'm fine. Let's go. Let's check this door. Can you open it? <sighs> no, it's jammed from the inside. Let's go around the building. There has to be a way in. I'm telling you, someone sealed it tight from the inside. Well, we gotta check, right? <clears throat> oh, God damn it! Hey, hey, it's okay. I'm it's sure jammed we'll like all the rest. Another way. <gasps> oh, shit. Wait a second. What the Hold fuck? on, come on for a second. Those are. Those are newts. They're inside. Those are newts in there, which means there's got to be a way from the roof. Come on. Come on, the roof's low over here. Yep, we just have to find a way up. Sarah, here, uh, help me push this. We can use it to climb up. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, push! <laughs> Far enough? Yeah, yeah, hold up. You got it? Yeah. Okay, be ready. Newts can get pretty nasty when you trespass on their territory. The one that fucking stamped. She didn't know what she was doing. None of them know what they're doing. Won't stop them from killing you. I know that. That's the last of them. You enjoyed that? Well, killing newts? No, but I mean, you gotta admit they're pretty goddamn annoying. You're right about that. Here, give me your hand. Okay. <clears throat> Careful. Steady. I got this. All right. Annoying, but they smell like shit. Yeah, well, you try living like them. See how you smell after two years. No, thanks. Where, where, where are we going? Try these doors. Uh, one of these is gonna be a lab or a lecture room. Centrifuge has to be here somewhere. No sign of a violence or attack. Hemlock. Jesus. Over here. Is that the uh, centrifuge you were looking for? Yep, this is it. Come on. I should have done a better job of hiding the bike. 
All right, let's do this. Clear as it's gonna get. Let's move. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, I got it. Let's go. Deacon, stay down. Yeah, got it. How you doing on ammo? I'm coming. I got it up. Yeah. It's clear. There's more of them, a lot more. We're gonna have to clear them out before we can get to the bike. You got any more of those smoke grenades? Yeah. From up here, you can see the entire parking lot. Watch where I'm going, and then you throw the grenades ahead of me. You got it? Got it. Okay, let's do this. you want. I got you now. Mom! I think that's the last of them. Okay, hold on. I'm coming to you. You all right? Am I all right? What's wrong with you? Oh, I don't know. It's just that I remember the day that I met you. You fired my gun in the air to scare off those rednecks, and you're so scared you couldn't stop shaking. Yeah, well, a lot's changed since then. Yeah. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. What, uh, happened to you, Sarah? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, look, I get it. A lot's changed. Everyone we knew is gone, but it doesn't explain. Explain what, Deacon? Why everyone in the good old boys club calls me the Wizard Island Witch? Look, I don't give a shit about any of that. I... Nothing's happened to me that hasn't happened to every other fucking person on this planet. Yeah. Okay. If you say so. Come on, let's go this way. Got it.
Can I say thank you? No. <laughs> okay. You know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this. Something, Dave? Sorry, no idea what I'm doing. Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock around? in the middle yeah, of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a doc to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. <sighs> okay. Oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the doc. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Estarás bien. You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. <laughs> you know, me parece... It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Me estoy ablandando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal? Doc? Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, with Corporal no, St. John. No, no, no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No, no I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. You Dismissed, Corporal. <laughs> Matt, I've been out in the shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I, I don't know what I'd do if I, I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. Well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. <sighs> no, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath. Dick, I could you check can't out. get what I need there. You. <laughs> God, do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you can get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. My God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm, pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel, Captain. Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. 
You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in this ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to check on his status. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms, it just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once, you should know. That was different. How? Oh, there were more people in the world, I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not gonna make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? No, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for the beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Where are we heading? To Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay, was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having, uh, bear problems. Bear problems? Hey! Hey! Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from- To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. Jesus. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's gonna report you. I mean, how's Matt gonna take that? The Colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh my god! What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest, you know, there were times when I didn't believe that, about, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Um, I, I don't know, just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah, I did. And then, I, I don't know, Boozer's arm got fucked up. And I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all, I guess I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna let him down. So I, I didn't wanna go out that way. And then I found out that, that you were still alive and that, that's, that's when I really wanted to, that's when I really wanted to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, right. No, seriously, but uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring, and that's, that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. But you know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon, we can. Are you trying to convince me or you?
We must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tielsen Tunnel. Need your help to move that out of the way. My God, what the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into him. You gonna help me move this or what? Yeah, sure. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a narrow checkpoint for about a mile when everything got over. Run. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. Hey, this looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. Wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Here, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been 751 days since your last login. Please wait. Well, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. <laughs> it's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh, my God. What is it? Nothing. It's... <sighs> what the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power is still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on. Oh, get down, get down! Oh. Sarah, run! 
Go, 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 go! Infected. It's what's made them so hyper aggressive. It makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. What the hell happened here? I don't know. What? Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew him. Let's go, come on. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Ari? Why is Ari working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and... That was with weekly maintenance. <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? <laughs> God damn it, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir, what? you know how you just said that no one could get in here? Yeah, why? Maybe they're already here. Motherfucker. My god, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh god, let us in! Oh, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Here, this is it. I just need to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Good yeah. shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot. But I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people. And if Jim's in there, he's gonna let Jim, us in. Jim? Jim, the rent-a-cop Jim? Uh, 
Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Dan, up. Dan, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been seven minutes since your last login. Please wait. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Get down. Mother fuck. You were saying? Yeah. Oh, this world has taught me one thing. Trust no one, expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. Alert. Stay Alert. here and give me cover and fire. Do whatever you can to distract them. I'll signal you when it's clear. Hey, if you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Voice is driving me fucking crazy. I'm with you there. It's clear. It's coming. Get the bastard! He killed him! Get him all ammo. Alert! Alert! 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand, Stand and, and you will not be harmed. We gotta get no. up those stairs. This is your side. Move! Come on! Fire! 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 Bring him down! Alert. Fire. Alert. This is a Fire. level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. It's locked. Hold on. Sarah Irene Whitaker, Deadly ID 207659. Sarah Irene Whitaker, Warning. security Deadly has force been breached. Is authorized. The Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. Repeat. Override, ID 207659, override. Security protocol Alpha 761 Alert. has Alert. been overridden. Has Shut been the called. fuck up already. Police are on their way. They must not have Stand locked out under security. You ready? Locked. Yeah, this time, let me go in first. Hey, this time, we go in together. Alert. Where'd you come from? Alert. Cover. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Shit. Security personnel Snipers. to the maintenance the building. I see him. You're not winning this thing. <laughs> Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. There's more of them! Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Oh. Come on, kill him! Oh, Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. One more time. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security Alert. override and disable the fucking voice response. Well, ready? Yeah. Jim, wait! That son of a bitch! Well, like you said, a lot's changed. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Make sure it's warning. Deadly force yeah, is authorized. Right. Clear in here. Nothing here. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Alert. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Stand down and you will not be harmed. It's clear. Same here. Alert. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Okay, it's clear. They're waiting for us in the atrium. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force <laughs> is authorized. Come on, let's try the door. 
Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override Nine and disable the fucking voice called. response. Police are on their Access way. Access denied. Stand down Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Fucking Alert. bitch. Alert. Hey, hey, going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Oh, yeah, you got one? Uh, well, maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Over here. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Okay, there's a ledge out here. You should be able to climb up to the roof from that AC unit. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take them by surprise. Okay, yeah, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked out, remember? Huh, shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. What? Security personnel to the maintenance building. Put your hand on that reader. Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? Yeah, let's go. Alert. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Here, I'm gonna need you to help me up. Okay, hold on. Ready? Yep. <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah. Wait until I get their attention, then you go in. Hey, don't take any chances. <laughs> Are you kidding me? These days, that's all I do. <clears throat> okay, go. Thank you. Answer me, God damn it! Alert. It's Sarah Beacon Lee, Lee St. John. ID 5429009. Beacon Lee St. John. Welcome to Coverdale Research Iron Butte Jimmy Facility. Have to go down this like is your this. first login. Please Come on, disable voice her. response. Shut the fuck up. Damn it, Jimmy, listen to me! What <laughs> oh, the hell with you? Security you. personnel to the maintenance building. Hands! Don't shoot! Hands! Don't shoot! I give up! Get I give up. up! Don't shoot him! We need him alive! Oh God damn it! I said hands! All right, all right. Just, just tell me what you want. Okay. All right. He's clean! We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families? Maybe bring them back here? You didn't want that, did you? We just couldn't take the risk. Get up. Wait, wait. 
Hey, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jim. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. <laughs> Come on, I want to get the hell out of here. It's all true. I didn't want to believe it. What are you talking about? This is my fault. I, I don't understand. Your I should fault. have seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? Sorry. David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project okay. or something. I classified don't know. project, just he slow wanted, down and... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman... He exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit, and I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell, and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could you understand. have stopped them? It's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Hey, uh, hold on for a second. What's up? Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. Do you think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. Power 
building. Yeah, that's, uh, that's gotta be it. Crows. Damn it. Does it burn you little bastards? Now I just gotta jimmy that door. Not so hard. Uh, Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't, I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper, you know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. Booze, man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick! When are you bringing her back, what, to Lost Lake? No, I'm not gonna get into that right now. Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good. Listen up. Uh, Deep? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a. I don't think we'd hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this. Did you find her? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's going to know the place. You come over here, you're going to find food. You're going to find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Uh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell... You know what? Listen, I, I gotta go, Ricky. I but, you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about, uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Bye, Ricky. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielson Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. The Colonel wants to speak to you. Sorry, Captain, you're breaking up. Uh, heading out right now. St. John out.
Did uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. <clears throat> It's clear. <laughs> Are you gonna come out and eat something? Yeah, just a second. Help you? I guess I'm just distracted. St. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in. Sarah? Oh, God damn it. Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Corporal St. John. I'll see you around, yeah? Go, go. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? You're the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. Anymore.
corporals? Hey, I'm uh, new around here. Name's Deacon St. John. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ella. Corporal Deacon St. John, you come back real soon. Corporal Deacon St. John. Captain Curry, come in. Corporal St. John and Captain Curry. This is Curry. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go after Taylor. Several patrols have already been sent out. The Colonel's furious. Yeah, I'll bet. The doc was a good guy. Captain Jimenez was the only doctor we had. Look, Taylor mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge. I'm gonna go there and see if I can find him. Radio me if you do. Corporal, the colonel wants Taylor alive. Yeah, copy that. St. John out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Before the shit went down, you talked about global conspiracy. Most would have laughed you out of the room. No one's laughing now. We know this went worldwide. We saw it in India, South America. What we didn't know is that the Trilateral Commission had a hand in it. You know about those guys. An NGO that wants North America, Western Europe, and Japan to, quote, Foster cooperation, unquote. <laughs> yeah, they fostered something. You know they picked the places that got hit first. Vagrant camp. Bastards have been ambushing America. all the supply runs around Don't here, haven't you? United Nations a walk here either. They've been giving terrorist nations a seat at the table for years. <laughs> I gotta burn them out. You gotta make it safer to ride. Just fine without us. And one of our Sorry, fellas, friends, I'll be back later. Seat on the security Finish burning council. you out. Think about it. Nero's got a clear hand in this, but they need a lot of help to start this war. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Who knows, Cope, maybe you're right for a change. If you had any idea what they were cooking up inside Cloverdale in your goddamn backyard, you'd have a heart attack. Colonel, reporting in. Corporal, yes. Captain Curry is retrieving the prisoner as we speak. He'll have his fair trial tomorrow. And then we'll hang him at dusk. The fair trial? Of course. Every man deserves a fair trial. And then, a fair hanging. By the neck. Until dead. Uh, yes, fair trial. Then, uh, but right, anyway, just reporting in. St. John out. Okay.
out of gas. Of course. Nothing like scrap. I gotta clear them out. I gotta make it safer to ride through here. See what they got there. Yeah, a Nero injector. Let's see if it still works. St. John, you there? Yeah, Weaver. I'm here. Um, uh, hey. Call me Jim, man. Listen, I never said thank you. For helping me out, I mean. Man, look, I'm just following orders. Well, I'm gonna thank you anyway. I really appreciate you going out and shit. Risking your neck for me. And do. This is it. Which way? Back on track. I 
I gotta find a way inside. Who is that? Is there someone out there? Men coming! Grab cover! Got him! Get the bastard! Get him. He's got me flanked! Taylor. This dick in St. John. How are we doing, Taylor? <laughs> that fucked up, man. <laughs> that didn't mean to kill him, man. You wasn't supposed to be there. I... <laughs> Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I, I don't want to hang. Hey, listen to me, Taylor. <laughs> Taylor. You kick and you kick Wait. and you shit yourself, all those fucks standing at attention, and they're laughing at you, man. They're laughing at you. I don't want to... I don't want to... Please. Don't let them hang me. St. John, in here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. I don't care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. I can tell you right now, the Colonel's not gonna be happy about this.
Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdosed. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time, assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. Help you? I guess I'm just distracted. <sighs> Deke! Hey man, I saw you ride out with the Wizard Island Witch the other day. How'd that go? You mean Lieutenant Whitaker, Sergeant? Corporal St. John, a Deke. See you around. Sarah needs to talk to you. Uh, yeah, hey, I'm here. You sound cheerful. I've had a breakthrough. Look, all I needed was that DNA sequencer. I'm ready to test it. Deacon, I'm ready to test my serum. Wow. Okay. Um, what do you need from me? I'll tell you when you get here. Sarah, out. You want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I am so close, Deacon. This could be it. Yes, ma'am. Deacon, come in. Hey, I was just heading out to find you a newt. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Oh, wait, hold on for a second. A specific newt? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kid... newts. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. <laughs> Colony of newts. Oh my god, this I gotta see. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. 
I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. We're ready to test Weaver's weapon. Corey out. Shit. Oh, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. Sir, I'm here. All right, you're looking for a young female wearing a red shirt. Like one of those kids' shirts that says, like, Teens and Tabby or something. I'm surprised the Colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. I told Matt the site was hands-off. I've been running blood tests on some of the youngest ones for months. I need them for the serum. I'm okay. Uh, how am I supposed to get the one that you want without killing the rest? Look, I don't know, just... Just do what you have to do, okay? I need the female wearing the red shirt. Another bounty. You little shit! Oh, Jesus! You wanted a live one, you get a live one. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. Yeah, we'll keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh, no, no. It... <laughs> Can't have any of that, sir. Right. Carry on. Yes, sir. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Come on, help me! Hold on, hold on! So much for your tranquilizer. Yeah, well, their biology's kind of fucked right now. What do you want me to do? I can't get the right dosage. Here, hold on, hold that. Got it. This is what I've been working on. How long? Oh, hold on, just a few seconds. Hold on. Oh, shit. Holy 
shit. God damn. <laughs> well, whew, I don't know what you put in that. That shit went down fast. <laughs> damn it! But you're, you're, you're not making a bioweapon, you're... Oh my god, are you, are you, are you trying to cure it? I thought that once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could create antibodies for the virus and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on is for nothing. Save them. Nothing's going to be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once, and she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way that you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but... I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought and we won. And what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost you. And Boozer, Boozer, you know, he's, <laughs> he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you, fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find her. We're going to ride away. We're never going to look back. Because I don't want to be part of some militia. I don't want to fight no war, and I don't want to live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there, they're just trying to survive, and here you are. Trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a very good job. So you get up. You dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're going to dig into their research deeper. You would do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. We'll ride north. Yeah, we'll ride north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah. Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please.
Are we ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Oh, bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. <sighs> Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. <laughs> Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um, hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. Now you're talking, man. Gentlemen. This is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. I figure that I think we should... you should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh... Right, I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time, and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to... Slow him down, maybe set a few traps. And then I blow him to hell. Look, two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. Shit goes south. You ride in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. <laughs> I've got more Molotovs, ammo, in my saddlebags. Good, good. Uh, shit's gonna come in handy. <laughs> Tell me your plan again? <laughs> like I said, find a way to slow them down. Those sons of bitches like to clump up, climb all over each other. If I can find a narrow space between trucks, buildings, whatever, it'll take them a while to get through. And once I get some space between me and them... You'll blow them <laughs> the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat. A few times. No more horde. That's your plan. Oh, that's my plan. Good luck, St. John. Hawk's oh, got nothing to do with it. All right. I'm heading in. I see you. Let me know if you need my help. <laughs> Copy that. Okay, here we go. I'm on it. 
Like that? Do you? Come on, you sons of bitches! <laughs> Are you there? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John reporting in. Come back. Oh, where the hell are you? Captain, uh, I just tried to check in with Lieutenant Whitaker and she's not answering. Couldn't wait to tell her the good news? Yeah, she'll be thrilled. I bet. You'll see her soon enough. Don't radio Lieutenant Weaver. I want to tell him the news in person. Okay, you earned that. <laughs> Copy that. St. John out. We did it. You did it. Uh, Weaver did it. Oh. I've never seen anything like this. When I mean, the way you were one step ahead of him. Ever had a horde breathing down your neck? It really keeps the adrenaline flowing. Maybe the colonel's right. Maybe we can win this war. Hey, how'd it go? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Oh, shit. It didn't work? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. But you're out of a job. 
Hell yeah, it was. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you should have been there, man. We really lit him up. Oh, man. We're going to celebrate tonight. The office is mess. <laughs> All right. Looks like somebody's getting a promotion. Hey, man, you coming? Uh, you know what? Let me, I'm going to catch up with you. I got I to gotta take care of something first. All right, you handle that. That's the last of it. Be careful not to break anything. Some of these things are irreplaceable. What's going on? Uh, where is the lieutenant? Corporal St. John. I'm sorry, sir. It's all right, son. All essential personnel doing R&D have been moved. Moved? Where? Uh, because I need to deliver these supplies that she asked for. I understand. There's been a... Walk with me, son. Please. Ma'am, Colonel's orders. Matt, you can't do this. You can't keep me locked in here. At ease, Captain. And then the Lord said to Noah, Enter the ark, you and all your household. For you alone I have seen to be righteous before me in this time. Matt, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, you Lieutenant. You can't! Colonel, wait! Hey! It's fine. It's fine. Ma'am, I got the, uh, supplies that you asked for. Come on in. Follow me. I've been working on a new assignment. Poison this time. Listen. When you pick this, you have to do it carefully. If you don't, it could kill you. Understood. I'm gonna get you out of here. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. St. John, this is Captain Curry. Come in. I'm here, Captain. Colonel has asked to see you. You'll find him in his chambers inside the Ark. His chambers? If you go in from the main camp, past the first storage area, there's a passage off to the left. Okay, uh, any idea what he wants? Something about a duty roster. Don't keep him waiting, Corporal. No, sir. Your name has been mentioned for an important project coming up. Keep your nose clean, and there might be a promotion in your future. Yes, sir. Curry out. Important project? What project? Hey, sir, you there? Come in. Corporal St. John, I won't tolerate insubordination. Private, I'm trying to work. Get out! Sorry, ma'am. Colonel's orders. Gotta keep eyes on you 24-7. Ah, uh, Lieutenant. Sorry. Uh, sir, I was... You know, when I was young, we used to explore caves like these, looking for petroglyphs, carvings by the Modoc, other tribes, thousands of years old. You know, they never lived in these caves, the heathens, in the cold and the dark. But look at us. Look how far we have fallen. Colonel, Colonel, I, I was... The soldier who used to be assigned to Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver, the soldier you replaced, has gone AWOL. He broke into my private chambers and took my personal copy of the Holy Bible. I want it returned. Yes, sir. I've marked his last known location on your map. Dismiss, Corporal. Hey, sir, you there? Come in. Corporal St. John, I won't tolerate insubordination. Private, I'm trying to work. Get out! Hey, Weaver. Oh, Corporal St. John, come on in, man. Check out my home sweet home. Yeah, I love what you've done with the place. 
Man, ain't I... this some shit? Wonder what they would have done with me if I failed. No, a colder cave down that way. <laughs> yeah. I heard about that. You know, she didn't take it any better than I did. No, she did not. Do you need anything? Nah, man, I'm good. Oh, wait, you know what? There is something you can get from me. You hear that? Hear what? That's right. Nothing. Colonel ain't exactly big on tunes, in case you hadn't heard. I think it's Mennonite or some shit. Oh, it's dancing. Wait, what's dancing? Dude, Mennonites, they love music. They just have a problem with dancing. Forget it. Oh, it's... no shit. Yeah, whatever, dude. I don't care. I need an MP3 player. Earbuds. Anything. Sounds. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? Okay. Thank you. Corporal Deacon St. John. John, you there? Weaver, yeah. I can barely hear you, though. You're breaking up. Oh, this is the MK, man. I'm surprised this thing gets out at all. Hey, I know where you can find an MP3 player. Okay, yeah. Where's that? I was at a refugee camp at a community college when it got overrun. Community college? Uh, the one east of here off Highway 97? Yeah, that's the one. Home with the fighting platypus or some shit. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I left everything behind, including my... I gotta go. We need people to get there. We go out. Uh, sure, Weaver. Whatever you say. Come in, O'Brien. I know you're on this channel. Drifter? I didn't think I'd ever hear from you again. The radio's been dead. Yeah, I turned it off. Look, I need your help. I'm listening. My wife. The woman you helped me track down. I remember. I found her, O'Brien. She's alive. That's incredible. The odds of her making it out. No, look, I don't have time. Look, I found her. She's alive. She's being held by uh, the militia, the guys that you told me about. I'm sorry. Okay, look, I don't need your goddamn sympathy. I need your help. She's being held in a place right. yeah, I can't get, get to. Get I need you to help me to break her out. You know what? No! <laughs> They're down! <laughs> Bring them down! Kill the son! <laughs> Okay, uh, you were saying? You know I can't do that. Wait a second. 
Okay, but there's something we have to do for us first. You name it, I will do anything. Keep your radio on this time. I'll be in touch. Okay, O'Brien. O'Brien! Oh, damn it! Murdering drifters. Oh, God damn it. No, no, no. What are you waiting to jump me? Huh? Drifter, are you there? Oh, Brian! Okay, where the hell have you been? Looking at the coordinates I've just transmitted. O'Brien oh, out. O'Brien. Oh, O'Brien, oh, oh, Jesus, he's... Damn it. That should be it. Corporal St. John, this is Colonel Garrett. Report. Yes, sir. Corporal, good, yes. Another traitor was discovered in our midst. A spy working for the anarchists. Anarchists. Yes, you remember. He escaped before he could be apprehended. He was chased north, but our patrol lost him. I've marked the position he was last seen on your map. We need him alive, Corporal. We need to find out what he was doing here, how much he knows, and what his group wants. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. As do we all. As do we all. Dismissed. I guess I'll come back here and finish burning this infestation zone later. Another marauder camp, yeah. I've seen what you assholes are up to. Okay, this pretty much looks like a marsh. Let's go look. Just a few more. I gotta find more. <sighs> that should do it. Lost Lake, come back. Yeah, Ricky, what's up? Ricky, Boozer, can you hear me? Dick in a Lost Lake camp, come back. Just uh, checking in to see what else Addie needed. She. God damn it, Ricky, I don't know. Oh, Iron Mike said. Booze Man, Ricky. Well, give him hell, Booze Man. Give him hell. Well, would you like to taste it? Go right ahead. Thank you, Corporal. 
I hope you were careful. This is very toxic. Yeah, yeah, sure thing, ma'am. Uh, listen, I got a plan. I don't have time to explain, but the next time I get here, get ready to get the hell out of here, okay? Corporal. I didn't thank you this time. As you were. I never did finish burning out this nesting zone. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> 
So, uh, what do you want from me, O'Brien? I'm glad she's alive, your wife. Okay, what, what do you want? I told you the infected, the freaks, are mutating. Some faster than others. Uh-huh. We placed a tracking bracelet on one of them, so that we could track it and stop it periodically and draw blood samples and check the progress of the virus. Okay, so why do you need me? Well, it's wandered into militia territory. Oh, right. We can't get close to it. Yeah, no fly zone, outpost with RPGs. Exactly. What's this? Once you've tracked it down, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. This pack holds everything you need to do a field biopsy. We need blood and tissue samples. Can you handle that? Yeah, I can figure it out. By the way, nice uniform, Corporal. Suits you. Suck it. <laughs> Tell me about this freak you're tracking. We don't have all the answers. All we know is that the infected are mutating. We're talking about leaping past millions of years of evolution. We think they're communicating with each other the way ants and bees and, and other... You know, to me, sounds like a whole lot of mumbo-jumbo. Believe what you want. Once you see our test subject, you'll change your mind. O'Brien out. Brian, I'm at the cave and I'm heading in. You guys gonna be ready? Yes, we're standing by. Oh, Jesus. What's wrong? Eh, freaker shit. Freaker shit everywhere. Hey, O'Brien, uh, you got any idea what took out your men? Am I walking into a horde here? No idea. We never heard back from them. Remember, if you find them, we got people here who'd be grateful. Grateful? Grateful, yeah, that changes everything. Yeah, I got it. Good. I'll take care of it out. O'Brien, how many men are in here? Uh, how many did you, did you lose? Four. Four men. A researcher and three soldiers. Jesus, O'Brien, what am I doing in here? The researcher, Coop, is a personal friend of mine. You do this and I'll do whatever I can to help you get your wife. O'Brien, out. Brian, so while I'm tracking down your pet freak, give me some more mumbo jumbo. Uh, tell me about the virus. I mean, something that I don't know. For those exposed, the virus infection rate is close to 100%. In the first weeks, almost everyone under the age of 12 was killed. Something to do with how puberty or the lack of it affected the body's immune response. Everyone over the age of 60 mostly were also killed. Their bodies just couldn't handle the rapid genetic mutations on a cellular level. Everyone else who is exposed becomes transformed as the genes mutate. The thing is, the virus is mutating at an exponential rate. I know, you keep saying that. What does that mean? It means that the infected subject, the freaker you're tracking down, isn't like any you've seen before. We've tracked and identified over 12 mutations. 12? Yeah, and that's just the beginning. You wouldn't believe some of the shit we've seen. Yeah, well, I probably would. St. John out. There's one. saw what hit him. Well, Brian, I, uh, I reached your guy and, uh, yeah, he's dead. ID says G. Hernandez. 
How did it happen? Well, I'm not a coroner, O'Brien. How the hell do I know? Something tore him apart. Uh, this freak I'm tracking. Is there something you haven't told me? <laughs> not that I'm aware of. O'Brien out. Neuro equipment. Must have well, come this way. Yeah, maybe this way. O'Brien, I found another one of your men. ID says his name was H.S. Patterson. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. You didn't ask, O'Brien. Didn't ask what? <laughs> if he was alive or dead. His radio's been dead for 12 hours. All their radios have been dead for 12 hours. I don't <laughs> need to ask. Thank you for doing this. O'Brien out. Another flare. There, there's the last one. Down there, maybe. What the hell hit you? You didn't even see it coming. O'Brien, oh, I, uh, found another one. ID says his name was Robinson. Okay. Thanks. I'll let his family know. So, you guys have... Yeah. That doesn't look good. Oh, shit. What the hell happened? There's the last one. Cooper, are you there? Is anyone there? Nero Team Bravo, come in. This is... O'Brien. Oh, I found your last man. ID reads Cooper. Copy that. Oh, Jesus. Hold up, he's still alive. Hold on. Hey, Cooper, Cooper. Hey, 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 hey. Right here, right here. We're gonna get you out of here, right? Now. Cooper! Cooper, come in! So I shoot myself. He's down. Come on. Oh, Jesus. His legs are broken. Hold on, stay with him. I'm sending in another team. No, no, no. Well, he's compromised. I'm not gonna make it. Hey. Let me talk to Jen. Get Jen in here, now! Cooper, what the hell did this to you? What happened? It was so fast. I just didn't see it coming. Are you telling me that a freak did all of this? Reacher. Reacher. Cooper! Cooper! Are you there? Jen? Oh, I'm here. I can hear I you. I can't believe it. I thought I'd never hear you more. Oh, listen to me. We're gonna get you out of here. Do you hear me? Cooper! Cooper! Jen. I'm so sorry. So what the hell am I dealing with here, O'Brien? Talk to me. The guys in the lab named it Reacher. Reacher? What? It has got long arms, claws, what? Uh, no, it's just... fast. We've clocked it moving 40 miles an hour. Uh, 40? Jesus. And yeah, it's strong. Maybe you 
Reacher should abort. Oh, no. The Reacher should have a tracking device. Take it. To take it, we can use it to guide you out. What? How? How, O'Brien? We have infrared. We can track the Horde's movements. Take it! Oh, Jesus. Oh. oh, I hope this was worth it, O'Brien. O'Brien, I got your samples. Hey, John, get out of there! What? Get out of there now! There's a horde coming! You gotta be kidding me! Shit, they're getting close. Yeah, it's time to finish these guys off. Guess you won't be needing this. Jesus, O'Brien. You made it out. Yeah, I made it out, no thanks to you. Transmitting coordinates. O'Brien out. Brian, four men died for this shit. Hope it was worth it. Jesus, listen to you. Those are my men. I don't need you or anyone else telling me. You fly around in your helo well above the shit, and you crawl back into what? Cozy underground bunker or whatever the fuck. You have no idea what it's like out here. I don't have to what it takes to survive. Oh, you know those men, Cooper, the others, they had no idea what they were walking into, but you did. Didn't you? Huh? Didn't you? Radio me when you and your old lady are ready to be lifted out. Maybe this time you'll get on the chopper with her. Rise. If you let him get away. We won't be able to catch him. Ah, we'll just see about that. St. John out. Gotta take a closer look.
Ivan, I never did finish burning out this nesting zone. Finish burning out these nests. Weaver, I'm here. Say, John, all right, man. Hey, I was housed in some kind of tent. It was like right in the middle of camp. Okay. Oh, can you tell me anything else? I mean, come on, these all kind of look the same. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a flagpole. Patriotic. All right, well, I'll have a look. St. John out. Shit. Here they are. It's gotta be. Get in there. Come back later, finish burning out these nests. Could make something out of this. Yeah, here, here it is. I hope it's worth all this trouble, Weaver. God damn it.
Oh, here we go. Hey. Hey, man, how'd you do? Uh, this is all I could find. Oh. oh, man, what do we have here? Oh, brother, you're a lifesaver, dude. Right on. Thank you. Uh, do you need anything else, Weaver? Weaver, do you need... Totally. Mm, mm. Hey, Corporal St. John, you one of the good ones, man. Brother from another mother. Deacon, uh, Corporal St. John. Good to see you, man. Sarge. Corporal St. John, a uh, Deke. See you. Around. Bunch of murdering assholes can't let him get out of your life. There's one. Let's get finish this. A lot of ammo left. What do you think now, huh? Somebody shoots back. How do you like that?
Is that it? Is that all you got? Yeah, that's what I thought. Next time you set up an ambush, don't pick on the wrong guy. All right, where did you hide your bunker, huh? I know you got one. Bunker, yes. Here it is. What do they got here? A map, yes. Hey, what's this? Crafting, yes, 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 good. Oh, I'm just gonna close my eyes for a bit. Okay, let's go. I'll come back later, burn out these nests. tells me he was one of our best riders. If you let him get away, you won't be able to catch him. <laughs> How would you see about that? St. John out. Okay, let's take a look around. All right, what have we got?
Gotcha. Colonel, I've spotted him. Mike! Oh, come on! You're not gonna make this easy on me, are you? Son of a bitch! Don't let him get away, Deke. How you doing, buddy, huh? Looks like you're having a chaotic day, yeah? Just the way you like it? Oh, you won't take me alive. Well, I think I already did. It don't matter much to me one way or the other. Goddamn anarchists. Colonel, I've got him. Transmitting the coordinates. It's now. Good work, Corporal. Wait, you can't leave me. what I can do. Uh, it doesn't look too bad.
I have had a revelation. Last night, a new group of recruits joined our ranks and have already been sworn in. They have traveled far from the east, west, south, and north. They're coming to this place at this time. Is no accident. No. Right. No accident. <laughs> they bring word of more camps, like the one to the south, right. which we have purged. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Camps filled with degenerates, thieves, drug addicts, and murderers. We are threatened, all of us. Every day, we live in the shadow of death. Hell yeah. Right. But that shadow is not cast by rabid freaks that surround us. No, it's right. They are part of God's plan. He's right. Yeah. They plan. are part of God's punishment. Yes. Preach, Colonel. Punish. Yeah. No. Yes. No. It is not the freaks who threaten to destroy us. No. Tell us. It is our fellow man. Yes, sir. Like Noah before us. Yeah. We have built an ark oh, to save it's mankind. Yes, we have. Yeah. To save all the knowledge. Yeah. So when the, the flood waters recede, mm -hmm. we may rebuild. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. we built sir. But in this build. age, here at the end of the world, mm -hmm. God is not sending the oceans from their beds to rise up and sweep away the damned. No. There will be no baptism of water. No, there won't. Yes. No. He's right. In this last age, we are the flood. Yeah. Yeah. We are sent forth yeah. to yeah. baptize the world right. with fire. Yeah. Yeah. Today, we begin a holy war against all those who have brought down the wrath of God. We will move north, seek out the depraved, and cleanse. Brian, this is Saint John. Come in. I'm here. From the world. Okay, I hope you're ready because we're doing this. We're doing this right now. Give me your coordinates. Find the enclaves of the degenerate and destroy them. Hell yeah! Wait, where are you? Center of Crater Lake, Wizard Island, and Militia Camp. Did you disable the RPGs? Ah, oh, shit, not yet. I'll get right on that. Radio me when you're ready. O'Brien out. Gotta get to the RPGs. Where would they be? Oh, the towers. It's gotta be the towers. That's right. Keep moving. Move it against other camps? Jesus, that's harsh. Find me some Come on, around. you son of a bitch. Yeah, right. That'll do it. I gotta get to Sarah. Sarah? Uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, come in. Damn it. Hang on, I'm coming. Can't you stand guard or do whatever it is you're doing out there? Colonel's orders. Gotta keep eyes on you at all times. Yeah, well, fuck the Colonel's orders. Hey, you watch your mouth. Things are changing around here. And if you don't follow the order... <coughs> Make sure we're clear. Good. You're clear. Okay. What's the plan? I need you to pack your stuff. We're leaving. How are we gonna get out of here? There are guards everywhere. Do you trust me? Well, Brian. I'm here. We're heading up to the cone. We got one shot at this. Copy that. O'Brien out. Who's O'Brien? Where are we going? Look, I don't have time to explain. You got everything? We're not coming back. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. All right, stay close, and if we see anyone. Hey. In case yeah. you didn't read my note. Wait, so who's O'Brien? How's he getting us out of here? I told you, O'Brien is how I found you. He was the Nero soldier who was there that night, the night that I put you on that chopper. Nero? No, come on. Oh, shit, Weaver. 
No, 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 that one. The canister. Right. Private, are you paying attention? Eyes on your work, man. That canister, right there. Go, go. Up! I don't want to see that canister fall. Holy shit, he let us go. Weaver let us go. Oh shit, more guards. Okay, hold here. Hey, come on. Let's go around them. Okay. So, Brian, the guy in the Neurochopper, he's coming here? Yeah, look, it's a long story. I'll tell you all about it once we get clear. Wait, so they're still flying? I mean, God, Deacon, they must have resources, labs, equipment? Well, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they do. Look, you can ask O'Brien when you see him. Another guard. Hold on. I'll distract him. Yeah, I'll be careful. Soldier, what are you doing? I I'm sorry, man. This area is off limits. How dare you talk back to an officer? Do you know the penalty for disobeying an order? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> nice going. Another guard. I'll see if I can get them to move. Yeah, I'll be careful. <laughs> well done. Come on. We're almost there. Boozer again. You, uh, you want to go with me? To Lost Lake, I mean? I mean, I, th I thought we were going to Cloverdale. No, we are. I mean, I just want to see him. He's like my big brother. I don't know. It's not like we have much family left these days, you know? Soldier, over here, please. Ma'am, this is restricted. Are you questioning me, soldier? Do you see this rank? Huh? Do you know... <laughs> what? Nice. Couldn't have done it without you. I can see daylight. Come on, we're almost out. Yeah, okay, this is it. We're at the cone. Okay, we made it. Where is it? Where is he? Where is oh, Brian? He'll be here, he'll be here. We just, uh... Need to... Gentlemen, this is the top of the cone where you can see we get an amazing view here. Oh, Lieutenant. I've just been giving this group of new recruits a tour of the island. Oh, we're just about to go down into the Ark. You should join us. Uh, well, uh, gentlemen, Colonel... this is Lieutenant Whitaker. She heads up part of the research team that's exploring ways to use poison to defeat our enemies. Traitor! What the, what the what? fuck? Oh. Wait, 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 wait stay back! Chopper! Oh. No. Chopper! I was just Freeze. trying no to tell you Don't that listen we were going to on a supply He's a murderer ride. and a spy. Why would you, you listen to that him camp over I told me? You, about? you know I am not. like the leader of that camp, <sighs> Lost Lake, oh, sent him here. Full of shit. I'm telling I'm, you. I've never even met this motherfucker. Colonel, you've got to believe me. <laughs> Enough! All right. I'm listening. I am telling you, he is a spy. Matt, this mm -hmm. guy's crazy. You've never seen him before. Yeah. He comes out of nowhere and you're going to believe him? What's that camp you're saying I'm from? You think I'm lying? Is that it? I'm not lying. Have him show us your back. Yeah. Huh? Show us enough, your back. Enough, enough! That's my last warning. Now we will get to the truth of this matter. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Captain Khoury, I forget, is that the eighth or the ninth commandment? I don't rightly recall, sir. Tell me what you saw, and don't lie to me, son. I'll know. At Lost Lake Camp, he attacked a woman. What the fuck are you- Corporal! He wasn't wearing a shirt. Son of a bitch has a tattoo covering his back. 
It's some satanic shit. It's some kind of dog, a dead dog chewing through a chain or something, like it was nothing. I, I pulled him off her. He was drunk and we fought like hell, but who knows what wouldn't have happened if I hadn't have been there. You make him show us his back, and you will see who's lying. I'm sorry, Colonel, this shit is just so crazy. <clears throat> Turn him. <clears throat> you wear the image of Cerberus, the Hound of Hades. How fitting that you were discovered ascending from the underworld. But you are not Cerberus, are you? Deacon St. John. He's lying. You here. hide behind angelic names of the truth and clothe yourself in lies. He got kicked out you of the You are Judas! Out of it. <laughs> and what about you, Lieutenant? How convenient that you were with the yeah. Drifter when the Nero helicopter came by. Colonel, I do not know what you're talking about. You were in a Nero camp that was overrun. How long have you been spying on us? How long? Matt, I promise I haven't been. More lies! <laughs> I expect this from drifters. I expect men like him to betray me! But an officer... Colonel! It was me! Uh, it was me! Colonel, I lied. If you look in my pocket, you're gonna find a radio. Because I called them. I called him and I lied. I lied to the lieutenant. I told her that uh, I needed her to help me check a shipment, but the truth is I just needed a hostage. Deacon St. John, Drifter, are you there? This is Nero. This is O'Brien, Drifter. I'm sorry. Corporal St. John is unavailable right now. Sometimes, in the search for truth, the blood of innocence is spilled. I'm sorry, my dear. Release Private uh, Sarkovsky, was it? Yeah. And Corey, take this drifter to lock up. Tomorrow at 0700, he will stand trial. And he will hang. <laughs> Lieutenant, enough of this. We have work to do. Come. Tell me more about this Lost Lake camp. Yes, sir. Anything you want to know? Lieutenant, please. Come on, get up. Uh. Good. I thought I heard you breathing. Oh, fuck you. That's what I want to hear. It means the shit hadn't broken you yet. <clears throat> okay. Why? Tat on your back. A dead dog chewing through its chains? <clears throat> Not something you see every day. <clears throat> I did some digging before we freed you. I was, um, I don't know. Trying to make sense out of it. This was taken from the lieutenant when she came into the camp. My guess is, it's yours. Yeah, it's mine. And your wife's name? It ain't Beth. No, it ain't. 
And you've been out here all this time? Trying to find her? Uh, yeah. You just asked me why. <laughs> Pretty simple, really? The way I figure it, any man who goes through God knows what to find his old lady does not deserve to die at the end of a rope. Wally, wait, wait a second. You're, you're, you're helping me? Well, that, that just means you're all gonna hang. We're not going back. The colonel is batshit crazy. <sighs> Holy war, genocide, I mean, what the fuck is that? Yeah, well then, what's the plan? What are you gonna do? We're going east. Yeah. Hopefully we can make it to Reno. You should come with us. Nope. Well, you can't go back. The militia will shoot no, you on I'm sight. No, I'm not leaving without her. Uh, and I gotta ride north. I gotta warn Iron Mike. It's way too late for that now. Why? Well, they spent all night clearing the Santiam Pass. What? A convoy rode out early this morning heading north. Oh, shit. Are you sure you don't want to come with us? Yeah, I'm sure. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Hey, uh, uh, Corey. When I told the colonel about my military service, I told him I hated every goddamn minute of it, but uh, maybe it wouldn't have been so bad if, if I'd served under someone like you. You know, maybe it's not too late. I gotta get back to Lost Lake. I gotta head north. I gotta save Boozer. Iron Mike, I, I, I can't save Sarah. I can't save Sarah, but I can save them. I'm sorry, Sarah. I'm sorry. But I am not giving up. I'm gonna find a way. I'm gonna come back for you. I swear to God. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I am not giving up. I'm gonna find a way. I'm gonna come back for you. I swear to God. I am coming back for you. I gotta head north. Take the uh, uh, Sandium Highway. It's clear now. Yeah, that's the fastest way. This way, <laughs> head north. Checkpoint, shit. This wasn't here before. Oh, no way around it.
Is that all of them, huh? Where'd you all go? Yeah. That's what I thought. Hang on, Boozer. I'm coming. So... Just get the hell out of my way!
Booze, are you there? Come back. Booze, man, come back. Deke, is that you? Yeah, move him in here, goddammit. Addy, get the wounded inside. Boozer! Deke, glad to hear you breathing, brother. We sure could use you about now. Get him inside! Move, damn it, move! Shit, look out! I'm coming, Boozer, I'm almost there. Uh, Schizo! Schizo, he's there, Boozer, he's coming for you! They're, they're coming in through the gate! Go, go! Let him come, Deke. Let him come. Boozer! Damn it! Ricky, Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ricky, Iron Mike, come in. Shit. Deke, you're alive. As Schizo said you were dead. Hey, hey. They're pulling out. They're on the run. We got him. We got him. Where's Schizo? Has anyone seen Schizo? We did it, man. Right on, yeah. dude. Go after him. Don't let him get away. Kill every goddamn one of them. Where the hell is Schizo? Bunch of us have been looking for him. No one's seen him. Hey, come on. We gotta go. Hey, don't worry. We're gonna find that asshole. <sighs> Deke, thank God. Come on. Ricky, what's going on? It's Iron Mike. He got shot. Hey, you lazy son of a bitch. I wanted to see if you wanted to go fishing. We got a camp to feed. <coughs> <coughs> Found her. Found her. Your old lady. Yeah, Mike, she's right outside. She, she's here. Yeah. Yeah, look, I, uh, I couldn't have done this without your help. Go, go through all that trouble. God, I got no like my little bit. Okay, okay. Here, Mike. Here. Mike, I want you to take this. I don't want it. I don't want it. I got it. Here, Mike. Be careful. I was, I was, I was wrong, Deke. No, no, no. We can keep this together, Mike. We just, you get back on your feet, you'll see. I was, I was wrong. No easy way to say this. Iron Mike's dead. He stopped. He tried to stop Schizo when the militia were pulling out. Iron Mike being Iron Mike. He tried to reason with him and. Okay. Yeah, I... shut up! Shut up! This ain't no eulogy. Iron Mike wouldn't want that. We don't have time for this because. Because the men that we killed today. Well, there's more where that came from. 
A lot more. I've been to their camp. I've seen their army. And when they come back here, they're going to slaughter each and every one of them. Who's they going to try? Unless we hit them first. Hey! Hey, shut up! Shut up! Listen to him. Iron Mike trusted him, so you have to trust him! No, 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 I'm sorry. You know what? I can't do this. I'm not Iron Mike. I'm a goddamn drifter. You're right. There's a road. No, I'm not fucking leaving. Look at me. Listen. All right. Find Boozer. Tell me maybe like Cabin. Okay, so I found this in a survivalist bunker. Wait, this is... Yeah, yeah, we're gonna need a truck. Something big, something like a dump truck. And we're gonna fill it full of uh, fertilizer. nitrate? Yep. We're gonna mix it with 100 gallons of creosote. A fertilizer truck bomb. That's your plan? Oh, my God. The militia have turned this entire island into a fortress. And I got civilians in the caves. You got the labor force and those considered unfit to serve in this survivor camp. And you got the armory and the garrison right by the main gate. If we hit that, we tear out the heart of the colonel's militia. What about Sarah? Well, I mean, she's in the caves. It's what the colonel calls the Ark. But how, how do you know that they're not just gonna kill everybody? Sarah, Sarah and everyone else. I, I don't, I don't, but I figure that the explosion will cause so much confusion and chaos that they're, I can go in, I can find her, I can get her out before they know what hit her. Look, this isn't about just Sarah anymore. The colonel has declared war on all of us, and he's got an army to back him up. Look, Iron Mike and the rest of them, they're just the first casualties in that war. And it's gonna be a short one unless we hit them first. I didn't say it was a good plan. No, it's a really shitty one, You Nick. with me, brother? Oh, I wouldn't miss it. Okay. Well, we're not going to be able to do it alone. All right, okay, well, if anyone wants to join in, you hit him, you hit him at the south gate. Mm -hmm. Because when the explosion happens, all the militia, they're going to rush up toward the main gate. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to need some supplies. How's it coming? Back up. Hey, Deke. Hey. Uh, what's this? Oh, ask him. Well, truck's as big as a tank, right? Uh-huh. I figured. Might as well turn her into one. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, is this ready? Well, let's see, Deke. She's ready. Time to fill her up. I know where to find some fertilizer. I'll radio when I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> that was in my classroom when, uh, you know, I taught English at Shamal Community College to a bunch of stay-at-home moms hey, and high school drivers. I heard. You know? Anyway, uh, I mean, what you did for us. How you... The Rippers, all of them, I just... I know you had to do it. What else was gonna stop them, you know? Yeah, look, Blair, I'm not proud of what I had to do. You know that, right? I mean, it had 
it, we had the to. <laughs> Don't be such a stranger. Jesus, man. When the Rippers hit us, <laughs> I, I thought we were all goners, you know? See you later, man. Hey, Deacon. How's it going, Buzz? Don't beat her up too bad. Okay, okay. I'll top you off. I'm thinking we can find all the fertilizer we need over at the Iron Butte Ranch. Iron Butte Ranch? Yeah, I mean, it's not like Jesse and his rippers are gonna need it anymore. I mean, this place used to be a golf resort, yeah? So we've gotta have maintenance area, you know, lawnmowers and the... Fertilizer. Goddamn right. Yeah, I'm gonna head over there right now. When it's clear, I'm gonna radio you and Ricky to bring the truck in. You got it, brother. All right, moves her out. Dink, you there? Schizo. Oh, you got some nerve calling me. Bro, there you are. You gotta listen. I tried to stop. I did. You shooting Iron Mike? I did not want it to go down like that, bro. Captain, the Colonel wants to see you right away. Yeah, yeah, look, I'll tell him I'll be right there. Captain, didn't take you long to lie your way into a promotion. This army crap is all bullshit and you know it. Yeah! I'm not your bro, Schizo. Fair enough. Help! I just want to... Hold on, hold on, I'm coming. You're not gonna make it out here. I know where there's a camp. No, no, Oh, where? yeah, nice yeah. bunch of rapists, thieves, and murderers. What you doing out here, huh? You looking for your next easy target? Head to Lost Lake. Ask for Ricky Patel. She'll take you in. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die in there. Yeah, let them know it was Deacon St. John. They know me. Don't stop. Just keep out of sight. Dink, you there? Schizo. Oh, you got some nerve calling me. Bro, there you are. You gotta listen. Look, I tried to stop. I did. From shooting Iron Mike. I did not want it to go down like that, bro. Captain! The Colonel wants to see you right away. Yeah, yeah, look, I'll tell him I'll be right there. Captain, didn't yeah. take you long to lie your way to a... Dodge him. Captain, didn't Damn take it. you long to lie your way to a promotion. This army crap is all bullshit and you know it. But bro, you gotta listen to me. I'm not your bro, Schizo. Fair enough. I just wanted you to know. Look, when Corey busted you out, the Colonel. He went crazy. Thought she was in on it. He lost his goddamn mind. He went after Lieutenant Whitaker. He was gonna kill her, Deke. Deke! Yeah, I'm listening. But I stopped him, Deke. I did. I told him that all that poison shit she's cooking up, maybe we use it to kill the freaks, but maybe we don't. Maybe there's an enemy camp. Maybe they got one water supply. Maybe dumping a gallon of hemlock into that. Maybe that solves a lot of problems. Anyway, the Colonel, he likes that idea. So he puts me in charge of the Ark. Wants me to keep it safe. She reports to me now, Deke. To me. What do you want, Schizo? Bro, I just wanted to warn you. They're coming. I can't stop them. They're coming, and this time, this time the Colonel's bringing the whole damn house. <laughs> uh. Well, let him. We're not going anywhere. And when he comes, this time, we'll be ready for him. Hey, Deke. Captain, the Colonel's waiting. I'll be there, goddammit! Now get out! Hey, Deke. Look, I gotta go. But, uh, I'll tell Lieutenant Whitaker that you send your best wishes. Captain Sarkozy signing off. Oh, goddamn, this gets out. Oh, shit. Oh, just a few. Yeah. Deke, you there? Yeah, yeah, Ricky, I'm here. I just wanted to say thank you for coming back to help us. I'm just sorry I was too late. Alright, we'll stop. 
Schizo, we're gonna stop him, right? Yeah, we're gonna stop him. I wanted to say I'm so sorry about, about Sarah. I can't imagine what he must be going through losing someone twice like that. Okay, I haven't lost her. Oh! Oh! I haven't lost her yet. We're building a really big bomb, remember? Well, we're glad to have you back. Lost Lake needs you. Hey, Ricky. Uh, it wasn't his fault. You know, uh, Iron Mike, I mean, he was... He was only trying to do the right thing. I know. Ricky, help. And that, my friend, is all of them. Jesus. Uh, Booze man, are you there? It's clear. You can uh ever keep the control. Copy that. Hey Deke. Hey, Nate, what the hell is that? A little gift from Ricky. Still can't ride a bike, but I can shift the hell out of these gears. Wow. I uh, pull it over there. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh God. That ought to be enough. All right. What's next? <sighs> Creosote, I'll ready you with you when I'm ready. Where the hell are we gonna get a hundred gallons of creosote? You don't wanna know. Deke, I need to talk to you. Ricky, what's wrong? Uh, militia. What? Where? Boozer thinks they might be planning another attack, so he asked me to send you to take a look. Goddamn militia. Yeah, I got this. <sighs> Thank God. I'll let Boozer know. Ricky out.
Copeland, Deacon St. John, come in. Deke, you out there? Hey, Cope. Yeah, let me guess, you got a job for me. Okay. Huh. Hey, Cope. Yeah, let me guess, you got a job for me. Okay. Uh, I'll swing by when I get a chance. Deacon out. Goddamn militia. Oh, God, I'm gonna kill every one of you bastards. You're so bad. Be careful. That is shit. Get shot! Come on! Come on! Soldier! I know you're... Deacon, let him in. Come on, get him inside. What happened? Got hit again. Squatters off the highway. We've got to get some men together, go after them. <sighs> Don't look at me, it ain't my problem. They've got Manny. You sent Manny on a supply run. I just run the camp, D. I don't tell folks how to live their lives. Go to hell, Cope! So, uh, a couple months ago, we were all in.
Gope, I found his bike. I'm gonna see if I can track him down. My men said they'd set up an ambush on the Sanium. Yeah, I already found it. Deacon out. I wasn't gonna let him kill you. Besides, who the hell is around here knows how to rebuild a carburetor? Okay. Just back up. Nice and slow. Don't make a sound. Dick, you did it! Oh, Jesus. It's clear. I've been camping too long. Never saw nothing like that before. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, get the hell out of here. You don't gotta twist my arm on that one. So what the hell happened? What were you doing out here? I don't know. I hadn't been on a run in months. It felt like maybe I wasn't, I don't know, doing my share. You know? A lot of assholes with guns out here, Manny. Not many know how to fix the shit that they ride around on. Yeah, yeah. That's what Cope said. Yeah, for once I agree with the son of a bitch. What do you think? Why's it gotta be this way? Be what way? 
everyone out here trying to kill everyone else. <sighs> Manny, you know how many folks were locked up in prisons before the shit went down? I mean, here in the States... Uh, no idea. Two and a half million. You count the ones that are out on parole and probation, that's almost seven million. So, one in 35 was someone who didn't give a shit about the law. And those are just the ones that got caught. Shit. You good from here? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Deke, I owe you, man. I'd be dead right now if you hadn't... Manny, nose down. Nose down. They feed you. Hope I found him. Thank God and country. He's alive? He's a little banged up, but he'll live. I'm guessing a few drifters are trying to find out about your camp. How many men you have, how many guns. I hope he told them. We have all the damn guns we need, and we mean to keep them. Fitz don't got no more to say about that now, do they? No, militia. Goddamn militia. <gasps> Another squad. Damn it. Melissa, come on! Hey! Come on, you sons of bitches! Hope I found him. Thank God and country. He's alive? He's a little banged up, but he'll live. I'm guessing a few drifters were trying to find out about your camp, how many men you have, how many guns. I hope he told them. We have all the damn guns we need, and we mean to keep them. Feds don't got no more to say about that, now do they? No, I guess they don't. If Manny gets back... Tell him to keep his nose down. St. John out.
that's it. Killing me. Where you get? All right, brother, you're killing me. Where are you getting the creosote? I just like driving that dump truck around. Goddamn right I do. All right. Um, I'm heading to the old sawmill. They got a couple of storage tanks there. They should have a little creosote. We need. The old sawmill. Last I checked, there was a horde there. Big goddamn horde. Yeah. I'm, uh, pretty sure I knew that. What, you still got a death wish? I mean, even after finding your old lady, Deke, we're gonna get her back. Who's man? No. No, I don't. Look, I can handle this. Just be ready. I'll radio when it's clear to bring your rig in. Deacon out. This ought to be easy, right? I just gotta make sure I have enough uh, traps, ammo, molotovs, and anything else I can carry. Deke? Yeah, Ricky. Boozer just told me you're heading to the old sawmill. Uh, yeah, Boozer has a big mouth. He is head of security. He has to tell me. You remember when I took you to the sawmill, right? You remember me showing you the horde that lives there? Oh, yeah, I remember. The really big horde that lives, sleeps, and eats there. Uh, yeah, like I said, I remember. Uh, look, Ricky, when I was with the militia, they, uh, we, we created a sort of souped up Molotov. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like napalm. Anyway, trust me, I got this. I need you, Deke, alive. Ricky, just be fine. You don't gotta worry about me no more, okay? I know what I'm doing. Ricky? Yeah. I'm, uh, lighting some candles. Okay. And in, in this case, some big goddamn Molotovs, but you know, you get the idea. Get out.
Bounce cow, easy floor. Holy shit, dude. Looks like I missed all the fun. Yeah. Next time, I drive the truck. You fight the freakers. Yeah, brother. Okay, just pull it over there. All right, you got it. <clears throat> all right, that's it. Head back to camp. I'll meet you there. <clears throat> all right. And, uh, booze man. Drive carefully. <laughs> what do you think? That I'm gonna blow myself up? some work I need to do on the truck. Uh, I'll radio you when it's ready. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm ready when you are. Deke, you sure you want to do this? They're coming, Ricky. Unless we take him out first. You're right. Okay, Ricky out.
Looks like everything's set. Yeah. Rookie rigged this up for the steering wheel. We drive right up to the front door, jump. Goodbye, militia. Okay, well, you sure you want to do this? I mean, it's a long way to drive with only one arm. Asshole. Look, Boozer, you and I both know it's probably a one-way trip. Yeah. Then I won't have to drive back. Fuck yeah, I want this. Oh, but there's just one thing. Only a couple of bikers will pull a dumbass stone like this. Just us. Yep. We're gonna do this or what? Goddamn stream. Looks like Ricky's coming after all. What's up, Deke? Nice jacket. Looks good on you. Ricky, Addy, I appreciate it, but Boozer and I, we, we got we got to take care of some stuff. Word gets around. Your speech touched more people than you thought, Deke. I told you, you can't do this alone. This, this oh, don't worry. They're not doing it for you. They're doing it for him. For Iron Mike! Iron Mike! Iron Mike! Iron Mike! Iron Mike! Oh, and I hope you don't mind. I sent word to some of your friends up north. <laughs> Once word got around that we were fighting back, we couldn't keep him away. Go! <laughs> Got word you were planning a little road trip. Stop these malicious sons of bitches from coming in here telling us what to do. Since you've done so much for us, thought we'd come along. We'll be glad to have you. Manny. Hey, a deke? Nose down? Nose down, work hard, they feed you. Take you on damn fool errands, get your ass shot off. Man, you listen up. This no is way, a... no way. I'm staying out of this. Are you kidding me? The hot springs? Yep. I sent word to Alki. Hello, Alki. Tucker sends word that uh, she couldn't make it to the fight, but wishes she could be here. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. We, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for your help. We're here to return the favor. All right. Okay, well, you guys ready to kick some militia ass? Yeah! We're ready to ride. <laughs> All right, listen up. The plan is simple. Boozer and I are gonna hit the north gate. We're gonna blow it to hell. Now that's gonna pull everyone at the south gate. Now what you gotta do is just follow Ricky. Yeah? Are we ready? Yeah. Well, you two, are you ready? Listen, I'm gonna radio when we hit the bridge. Don't go in until then. Okay. All right, let's do this. Yeah. Oh, oh. <sighs> For Iron Mike. Jump! Hey, Boozman! Time to go! 
We got one shot at this, brother! Damn it, Boozer. Go. Get your old lady. <clears throat> How's it going, soldier? <laughs> Boozer. Why shot. didn't you jump? Don't Someone help me. I need water. You should you should jump. Oh, God damn it, loser. Oh, God damn it. I am going to kill every goddamn one of you. Heavy hell, god damn it! Oh, you're not gonna stop me. Come on, you son of a bitch. Hang on, Sarah! I'm almost there. Ark. I gotta get to the Ark. Upper case, move it. Move. Go. Move. Get up there and start setting charges. I said go. God damn it, go. You got that? Now go. Move, move, move. Move it, move. Schizo, son of a bitch, Schizo. I'm coming, Schizo. Oh well, now we gotta do it the hard way. Top of the cone. Gotta get to the top of the cone. Oh, I gotta find a way past these guys. Shit, shit, shit. Shit.
Better than nothing. You don't need these. Sniper, I gotta be on the uh, tower. I gotta take him out. I gotta take him out. Gotta get past these guys. There. Come on, come on, keep going. Ricky, can you hear me? Deke, we got him. Uh, made it. Hang on, sir. Uh, sniper, get that. Up already. Fuck you, you want me to blow us both to hell? God damn it, you hear that? Uh, hurry up! There, it's good to go. How many is that? Enough. Let's get back to the Colonel, come on. Captain Sarkozy, reporting in! We... 
How many explosives did you set? Captain, we didn't have time to set them all. What? God damn it! How many? Uh, it's, it's, it's three! Three, sir! Okay, okay. I'm going down to get the detonator from Weaver. Here's one. Hold the cave entrance. You got that? I got no one gets it. down here. There. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. No okay, one gets God down. Damn it. Where's the other? Stay off this goddamn channel. It might have been compromised. I'm coming, scared of me. For me. is going to stop me, Schizo. Come on, Lieutenant. Where's that goddamn detonator? Fuck you, man. I ain't getting strapped in here. Weaver, come on. You know we follow orders. That's how it has to be. Where the fuck is it? Weaver, where's the goddamn detonator? Schizo, you better let him go. Yes, you son of a bitch. No! Fuck. Hey! Hey!
Weaver, get the hell out of here! Go on, go! I've got some people coming out of the north gate! Go! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> what stubborn son of a bitch? Where are you at? You know that? Oh, I heard what you did, Dick. Uh, Kill I heard what you did, killing all those rippers. <laughs> oh, yeah. You drowned them like they was a bunch of fucking rats! You did the world a solid. I'll bet you that Iron Mike didn't see it that way. Did he? Yeah, I want you to know. I'm hit. I'm hit. I, I didn't want to kill that old man. I didn't. I didn't want to, D. Huh? But he gave me no fucking choice. I tried to make him see reason, but he just fucking wouldn't. He just fucking wouldn't. He must want to kill me real bad. Huh? Follow me all the way back. Get back here for her. Huh? Didn't you? Oh, yeah, you came back for your girl. <laughs> oh, well, I got bad news for you, Deacon St. John. After I broke you out, the girl didn't to have you out that. No, sir. Look out. He, an egg. he cracked her like an egg. Bring him down. Kill the son of a bitch. Shot him. Gizzo! We end this now! <laughs> Something schizo. There was a time when I would have uh, dragged you out into the shit. And I would have left you to the freaks. But hey, 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 hey. I'm not gonna do that. You wanna know why? Because they would tear you limb from limb. But you know what? They wouldn't enjoy it. God has ordained this place. This is consecrated ground. We are safe in this place. We are safe in this place. I don't know when or why, but I, uh, I, I saw something a, a month ago, maybe. I, uh, 
I felt something. Something I, I hadn't felt in a long time, and, um, and I know that a lot of you might have, might have felt the same way, and I, I think that if we just can... Deacon? I'll have your side on. Let him go, Colonel. It's all over. Your militia is done. Would you like some tea? I'm sure you would. Sarah, would you pour the drifter a cup of tea? The Ark was our only hope. You realize that, of course. When the world was cleansed, it was the only thing that would allow us to rebuild. Everything was here, protected, saved by the grace of God. <laughs> we never did find someone to play the piano, though, did we? <laughs> ah, it doesn't matter now. When all this is gone, there'll be nobody left to hear the music. You've destroyed us. You destroyed everything we worked for. No, Colonel, you did when you started this holy war. You know, given the choice between you and the freaks, I'm gonna have to go with them, because at least when they kill, they're just looking for a meal, and they don't kill unarmed women. No! <laughs> Uh, could you set up a triage tent over there? Hey! Hey, there's a cave entrance over there. You'll find supplies and bandages. Get some men. Go. You, you, let's go. Ricky! Patty. Does anyone hear me? I can help. I'm a doctor. Oh, it's over. Everyone that wasn't killed or wounded by the blast pretty much just gave up. Somebody give me some water. Where is Boozer? Move it. Move it. Ricky, I attack. need some help over here. The north gate. The south gate. Move. Water. Water. Ricky. My legs. My legs. Yeah. Hey, hope you save some for me. Boozer. Yeah. Sorry, I'm late. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I jumped. <laughs> no, what the fuck? Just you're... before I ran out of bridge. I saw yeah. the truck. No, no, no. I felt the blast wave. Even under 10 feet of water. Now that was a ride. <laughs> 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 Why? You didn't think I'd blow myself up, did you? Then who'd be around to bust your balls? I would. <laughs> hey! Oh! Hey. Little sister. Oh. Yeah, yeah, long story. <laughs> so, um, I hear someone's been looking for you. What? 
kind of wouldn't shut up about it. Yeah, don't listen to him. It was really <laughs> more his idea than... Oh, Ricky, Eddie, which one of you is driving me out of this shithole? <laughs> It's all yours, brother. So I hear that you're staying on to rebuild. Not all the colonel's ideas were bad. Just the batch of crazy ones. You're the second person to tell me that. Who else? Corey? You know what? Fuck that dude. Hey. He left us here to rot. If it wasn't for him, we'd all be dead. Whatever, man. And I think we'll try this again without all the army man bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> hey. You're gonna miss my speech. Nah, I wouldn't say I'm gonna miss it. Deke, hell of a fight. Yeah, that it was. Manny, oh shit, look who's still breathing. Nose down. Nose down. Keep it on your face that way. <laughs> Not bad for a drifter. Brother, we did it. You did it. Ah, oh, man, you know, I gotta uh, admit for a second there, I thought that you were, um... You gonna blow myself up? I told you I got shit to do. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Give him hell, brother. Yeah, here goes. Chuck would be proud. We did it. We did it. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> See? Good things happen when you stop and light a candle. Well, this is sort of more of a bonfire, but... Right. Yeah. <laughs> never seen you give a speech before. Oh, come on. It ain't gonna be a speech. Okay. Ma'am. Oh, shit. That's enough of that. Uh, what does it mean that they're all getting quiet? Oh, yeah, they're waiting for you. God it's your cue. God. Son of a... I know we got a lot of rebuilding to do, so I'm gonna keep this short. Look, I'm not a leader. No, I don't care what you say, I'm not. But, um, you've done something here today. We've done something. We banded together to fight. Uh, not because some asshole told us to, but because it was the right thing yeah. to do. And you know what? Yeah. We won. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen you struggle to rebuild. I've seen you fight to save lives, to keep people safe, keep people fed. I've seen you sacrifice everything that you have, everything that you are to make the world a better place. And see, that's why we're still here. That's why we're still here. Because if we don't have hope for a better life, or for a future that matters, yeah. the hell are we fighting for? You know, Iron Mike, he, um, he once said to me that, that we make the world what it is by what we do. Yes, we do. Hell yeah. Huh? What did we do? Huh? What are we going to do? That's right. Yeah. That's right. 
See this? This is the first step. I thought you weren't going to give a speech. Yeah, I screwed up. Uh, how the hell was it? You know, it was, it was all right for an outlaw biker. Outlaw biker, huh? <laughs> Are you ready to ride, old lady? I don't know. Depends. Where are we going? Wherever the hell we want. 